why is it fucking hello? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, why what does the that shit? Fuck? What's going on? It's like like what? flash. It, yeah, did you see that? Yeah. It was no, like why is it upside? Oh, because it is upside down to them. I was, yeah. trying, I was like, whoa. I put why it that way. Map upside down? I was like, you guys, yeah, yeah Ethereum's upside down. No, sorry guys. Hi, how's the gravity's it going? still right though. It's we're right. premiered Arcane Arcade today yep. because uh, we're pre-recording this on Wednesday because I don't know, we're we're doing stuff on the weekend, I guess. So, but you know, that's good. For, it's fun for us because we get to we just we just played Ice Dale a few days ago. Now we get to play again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I do have an important question though. Yeah. Are you actually recording this one? Right there. Okay. <laughs> right <laughs> there. I mean, sure to do that. That was <laughs> actually really <laughs> good. <laughs> Smart. I Fucking, just wanted to double check. That oh my god! I can't believe I did that. I was so upset. <laughs> that happened, and then also I recorded a video with Logan while yeah, he was here. Yeah, what happened with that? The SD card like fully malfunctioned. Yeah. I downloaded sketchy. Pro I was at the level I was downloading sketchy programs in order to try to get it to work. Damn. And every time it's like, oh, and I was like, it was like, is this wrong with it? And I was like, no, it's this. Oh, this? Okay, it's broken. And I was like, okay, I'll use a different <laughs> program. They're like, it's broken. And I'm like. What yeah. happened to it? What did they do? Yeah, because Logan and I went to lunch before they left, and he was like, yeah, you'll see it me on XP to level so, three. It was so funny, dude. It, it was, was so dumb. <laughs> we literally just, we didn't even do anything. We just passed the camera back and forth and just made shit up, and it was, <laughs> it was he was like, yeah, my character's name is a uh, beam, uh, beam, like a bimbus, the critical wingus, or something like that. <laughs> like it was, just, and we were just going back and forth. It was really dumb. But and I'm just in the background looking for something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're just moving in the background. <laughs> yeah, it was dumb. So I'm sad I lost that. Couldn't find my switch charger. <laughs> it's important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna every day keep trying that SD card to see if it works, just in hopes I can get it. So no, we're not losing any footage today. No, nope. you're gonna see tonight's game. Um, but thanks everybody for joining. Um, we, uh, I'm gonna start doing our schedule before the game because some of you guys hang out here and wanna know what's going on instead of figuring it out at the end. So we're gonna be doing uh, even fall next week on Friday. I'll make sure to let the Discord know. Uh, a week from yesterday is when we're gonna do even fall. And then a week from today, we will have a new episode of Ice on Dale as well. Uh, and then the week after that, we'll also be doing uh, even fall on Friday. Um, at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, and then the next day we'll be doing uh, Fallout. So we'll be back at our normal schedule by next week. Um, These past two weeks just been a little wonky, and you guys are the easy script to get together, and also this game is fun. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. but before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, <gasps> Beetle and Grimms. Oh, guys. If you check out the the Spencer, yeah, <laughs> sounded like he said my name. Uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna talk about Beetle and Grimm, Spencer? They've got cool stuff. They like, do. Look at this map. That right there. Can't get it anymore. But I'm, they have cool ones. I always feel bad. <laughs> Can you not get this one anymore. No, the unfortunately, thing. this the Icewind Dale set is sold out, and uh, but after, I am only just showing you the potentiality of what you could get with one of their in stock game, sets. Yeah, we're gonna play uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, and. They've got really cool maps and minis is that and set little still trinkets. Craig, yes, can it you is. Move your head a little bit. That's why over I said it. To show what's like what's right one? behind your oh, head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a little, 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 little preview little back peep. there. The, the Look at witch that. like carnival. A little witch like carnival. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Oh, oh my bad. I didn't go that way. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a little witch like carnival poster back there. We did an unboxing of it on the on the main channel, and that set is so cool. What? You guys are like, we're gonna unbox the game that we're actually playing. I didn't retain any of it. I just saw magical face shit and was like, cool. Even in the even like pregnant, I don't remember. Even even like even like five minutes into the video, you guys go, sorry, Colton. Yeah. Like, don't worry, dude. I'm not gonna remember any of it. I think you might be able to still get the. The, the silver the, box? The trinkets from this game. Oh, oh right. this game? Like this right one. here, this is the uh, Arcane Brotherhood uh, yes. pin. We'll hold that up to the whole thing. That's fancy. I love that thing. It's so Because they're really cool, cool and they'll let you buy individual things yeah. from their boxes so you don't yeah, have to spend yeah. as much money you and can, they also have really cool shirts. You can even get, uh, if you want to go back to the carnival, you can mm -hmm. get uh, Igwil's Cauldron, I believe yes, they pronounce it. Yes, yes. And it's about this big. It is awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have They also have home. shirts and they have a lot of cool stuff. So go check them out. Link down in the description. Stuff. They're they really hats. cool. Love those guys. Uh, without further ado, you guys ready to get started tonight's game? Where's I don't have to do uh, tonight. Let me just go home. Dice of Destiny! <laughs> Colton. It's been a long time since sure I've had to do I've a recap. Sure has. I've a while. Uh, what happened last time we left right, off on uh, Icewind Dale? Wait, wait. wait. Bluetooth connected. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa? 
<laughs> Alexa, Sorry. play old time with us. We play a game in our house, or I play a game in our house about uh, how softly I can say Alexa or how loudly I can say it without her responding. <laughs> Just That's because a fun it game. like causes Craig to have panic anytime mm-hmm. I say. <laughs> yes. Also, sorry for any of you that are listening and have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we have one right, right. there. So I'm surprised it didn't start playing. The song. Usually, if you say her name in a sentence, she doesn't respond. That's mm-hmm. good. That's good. Colton, last we left off on Icewind Dale, oh, the Frost Man. What happened? We uh, got Velen out of the cold and into the cold. Mm-hmm. Rested a bit, went back to the grove. We were like, ah, shit, looks like uh, Dazan has already made his way towards, e- uh, towards Ethan. So let's go deal with the drow first, I guess. We went, uh, d- murdered those drow. Uh, they were loth drow, so they would have murdered us if we didn't murder them. And it wasn't even a close fight. It was uh, a bloodbath. Yeah. I got some cool stuff, like a space heater and, <laughs> uh, and some poison swords. Um, went back, rested a bit, uh, decided to test fate and uh, grab on to a, uh, the spear of a uh, dead giant legend, mm-hmm. um, more specifically Immolation did. Uh, the magic from that spear has caused Immolation to grow to 25 feet tall. 21 feet 21 tall. 21 feet tall. What's the difference, really? Well, yeah, at this point, <laughs> it could have been 30 and none mm-hmm. of us would have been able to tell the difference. 21 feet tall. Um, effectively becoming a giant. Um, luckily, these caverns uh, were made for giants in some ways, and she was still able to go with us to Ethrin, um, or for some reason, Necropolis. E- I don't know. <laughs> and, don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't don't sure. Don't ask. <laughs> Um, and, uh, going down into Ethrin, we found a, uh, a jail, um, or what appeared to be an old jail, where we rescued a doppelganger whose name is escaping me, but I'm sure is in my notes. Zerophon. Zerophon. Uh, he was like, I'll be your guide, and Lazarus was like, this guy's dangerous, keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And he is hopefully going to guide us around Ethrin as we try to figure out how to get through that. No, sorry. To get through the green force field, we need to go do eight puzzles linked to the different uh, schools of magic. And then that will allow us to get in and hopefully find whatever it is that's going to let us get rid of the rhyme. I just want to point out that that is, I think somebody mentioned that. Um, no, uh, he, n- you guys currently don't have a concrete, evident way on how you're supposed to get rid of the. Uh, the okay. The then thing. should we? Because he, because the guy, we said, how do we get rid of it? And he said, you got to go find the four, the eight puzzles. Yeah, that he will called let you, the, He straight up called them right of the arcane octet. And if he, okay, he did tell you that. Yeah, there. He knows that there is something that has a lot of steps called the right of the art arcane octad that can remove the force field but he doesn't really know how to do it right. so it may not be puzzles yeah, yeah. it's just there's i don't know if i told if, if i said anything else last game if i did sorry that's as much information as he would have told you is that there's a right i don't know how to do it that's as bad as much okay. as we get there um yeah and we kind of ended the game with Lazarus sort of peering upwards and seeing the distant, uh, lingering uh, skull of um, some right. sort of undead that was watching you as you guys entered into the city and uh, uh, began to move your way along. Uh, just for the sake of, of timekeeping, which I'm going to be doing, um, uh, I won't be asking you guys everything, but I'm just letting you guys know because uh, we'll keep track of it there. I have a map where I'll be tracking distance and how far you guys can move. You guys currently move 200 feet every five minutes, um, which is kind of a cautious sort of rate because you guys are um, not running through the city or anything. If you want to run through the city, just let me know. Um, and uh, currently, ever since you've arrived, it's been one hour. It's currently, um, uh, we'll say it's currently 10 a.m. at this point. Is that good? Um, once again, to sort of recontextualize what's happening here. This city, if you, would you mind flipping it, Colton or Mia? Thank you very much. All the way or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just flip it all the way so we can see it. Uh, just move it up a little bit. <clears throat> this is a vast grotto enclosed in gleaming ice. Consigned to the frozen sepulchre is a fantastic city, sculpted by ancient magic and illuminated in a haunting way by green and purple lights that shed no warmth. 
The city is slightly tilted, and its spires leaning away from you as though it recoils in your presence. This would be in the perspective of when you were on that, um, on that little ice uh, sheet. <clears throat> the uh, streets of these cities, there's not really streets, it's more just like what you guys have described as districts, are lit by um, street lamps that have magical flames in them that emit that sort of green and purplish glow, giving the city an almost corpse-like look to it. Yet, things still stir, things still move. The city is not dead yet. You guys have just left the prisons uh, with a uh, a recently discovered doppelganger that was sequestered away by, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, Sequestered away by um, uh, the, uh, the, the guards of that prison, the mages of that prison, who wanted to, uh, he had told you we're trying to extract some sort of way to create like a potion that could uh, transform him, uh, 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 that, not, tra- the way that he transformed himself to create a potion. Um, he gave you guys some information about Ethrin, told you uh, uh, that he would love to get into the spire of Arialarthus in order to uh, reap any bounty that could possibly be in there that's been stuck in there for so long. Um, you guys leave the prison. Because there, you know, it's about 10 a.m. What are you guys going to do? Still want to head to that park? Yeah, I, I feel like that's one of the things that stands out. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know how much time I've really dedicated to this space. But maybe we should investigate the space we have now. But these buildings seem kind of disjointed, or I should say, maybe more uniform. I wonder if we'll get more information from something that's a little bit more standoutish. Maybe, hopefully, I, I don't really know. But I would like to add that to the docket at least. Okay. I think we have to start somewhere, says Valid. We're going to find information around here. We're, there has to be a way to get past that force field. If this right is the way that we have to do it, we have to start somewhere. I think There's so. someone at the door. It was a delivery. It was. <gasps> Sorry. I, I think we should look at this park mm-hmm. or anything kind of like it. Okay. Definitely the districts, of course, but I, I feel like we can tell a lot about people and what they like to do in their leisure time. Mm-hmm. There's lots of towers as well, as Valen looks around, a lot of them glowing. She sort of points around from where you guys can see, kind of off in the distance, you can see uh, a number of distant towers that have um, uh, different glows sort of coming from them. Um, two of them sort of coming off the edges of these, uh, of this. Uh, are these towers? There's those towers, yes. Um, and uh, she sort of points at like this one. This is like a big tower that has like a green, uh, blue glow kind of coming out of it. Sorry, that one right there? Yeah, no, sorry, this reflection from the light. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then she points at this one right here, which has like a, a, a yellow glow coming out of it. And those are not in the force field? Uh, no, those are not in the force field. Um, and she just sort of points at them, she says, there's those as well, but there's lots of things. There's also a giant building over here. She sort of points at it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's lots of places we could start. Although a park does sound very interesting. I don't know how much would have survived, though. Well, where is the park? I mean, Why don't we go to the park and then over to the yellow glowing tower? Yes, the land will tell us a lot. (coughs) So, uh, what um, happens if we get to a place that's Uh, small? I will stay outside. You're going to stay outside? Or crush it. That's Your choice. Don't a, don't do that. Okay. Well, then I will stay outside. You have more of the. I do. I do. She she sort of like, she uh, holds her little mittens together <laughs> with her sort of trembling hands, and then sort of turns and then looks back and she says, "Emulation, uh-huh. you need to be very careful. There's a lot here yeah. that could." 
I would hate for you yeah. to break something right. that could potentially be very, very valuable. So yeah. just, you know, keep an eye out. Okay, okay. I think in order to help me with that, she's going to reach down and she's going to pick Bella and I. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I would remind everyone. You go down, like, like you know, it's still, you're still the size where you have to use two hands. Yeah. So, like, you go and you pick her up. She's like, no, oh, oh, perfect. Oh, oh. Why don't you just sit up here and tell me if I'm gonna step on something? I'm oh, already on fine. your other shoulder. <laughs> this is all right. Yeah. I, 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 um. I think that's the perfect place for you, though. This is. Ter I don't like this Are you afraid at of all. I, 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 I just, I, I like to be. I like to be in control of where I'm going. Right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, how about this? Then I'll put you down, and you let me know if you see something valuable. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, yeah, I will. Yes. You put her down. She's. Uh, and the uh, 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 Zerophos. Is that his name? Zero. Zero. I think it's Zero. Zerophon. 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 Sorry. Zerophon, Zerophon is just sort of watching as this happens. Um, I'm probably done somewhere. Yep. <clears throat> and he just sort of does that and he says, where are we going? This park. The park. He just kind of gestures forward. Who's leading? Uh, uh, I think one of us. Yep, I can't go up. Mm -hmm. I will. Should we swap out the mini for whoever's leading the mini? Sure. I I think you're, we could, but I think your miniature actually shows up better. Oh, yeah, it shows up better on the map. Gotcha. Yeah, I think yeah, we should yeah. keep using I, I, By the way, as it, as it would be. I'm going to put this mini down um, instead. I, oh, yeah, I, 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 I am cover um, obscure too much. I am on Immolation's shoulders. For the <laughs> okay, that's fine. And, uh, Velen, I'd like to remind you that a uh, several creatures that can detect <laughs> uh, magic users are just running about, so uh, don't don't wander off. I wasn't going to wander off. We have to well, stick together. You've already wandered off twice. When? Well, I wouldn't say necessarily wandered off, but you have taken the initiative of going into a place uh, first, twice now, and you've never done that in the uh, in the time that we spent together. And I think that was <laughs> incredibly smart on your part. Um, so just want to rem remind you that... Uh, that you're smart. We would just like to clear the room first, and I don't want to clear the room because I'll just clear the building. If yes. you're if okay. you're ex exercising caution on immolation, yeah, you should exercise caution. Just with until these horrible de we can creatures. confirm that they're all dead, because if they're hunting us, they're probably hunting us because of you, because you are the most uh, versed spellcaster here. Yeah. I understand. The most poet on here. Yes. Can you imagine how exciting this is, though. A whole civilization, be, like yes. treasures. Wouldn't it be pretty great if whoever that is just like Emily's just trying with, very hard to relate. <laughs> and she and the what you get off of yeah. just like a passive insight yeah. is that she isn't taking kindly to you forcing that onto her. She's like, <laughs> yeah, I worked very hard to get here. Yeah. Okay. I understand that, and I would hate for you to die before you can get what you want. Thank you for your concern, concern. Of course. All right, lead the way. To the park. To the park. All right. You guys make your way over, which takes, I think, maybe like five minutes. You said... Actually, it is the width of this. <coughs> it's the length of this. Oh, wait, wait. It's the length of that? Yeah. Now let's, 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 let's try something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. I, These are 200 foot intervals. I have... I, that's perfect. <laughs> and if you ever want to measure something, you go for it. <laughs> I, I have I have roll 20 up with the, uh, with the tool. So... Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's perfect. <laughs> I have it ready. Um, all right, so uh, <laughs> you, but hey, you got your own little measuring tool. You we ever want to figure out how long something is? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it's almost it's <laughs> almost exactly two hundred. So it's gonna be about like four minutes for you guys to walk over. Um, yeah, of course. What time is it here? It's uh, is that funny to you? <laughs> Ten fifteen. No, okay. not at all. You don't walk in a straight line. No, that's you not. Go not around things. Thanks. Thank you. Do you think it just opened roll 20 into a straight line? It was like, yeah, it's about 200. No, no. <laughs> that's not why it's no, funny. That's not why I'm laughing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone you guys, should have a measuring. You guys. <laughs> Some people have different sizes. It's about how you use it. <laughs> Remember what you said before we started? That sometimes we're like toddlers. Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to think you guys make your way over. I'm more like a teenage boy. Yeah. 
you head out of this uh, this sort of district where there's like it, it's embedded into the uh, the very ground of the the magical stone that was carved uh, for uh, this place. All of it completely uh, uh, black, um, slate sort of texture, but no um, markings. If anything, it's just covered in a bit of frost and rime. Some of the buildings, but all of the buildings are like either perfectly smooth or um, um, uh, or have been uh, magically shaped in a certain way uh, to to almost look impossible to have been chipped away uh, by anything. Um, and it you guys, hasn't been. Hmm? And they haven't been. Like, no. The buildings are still pristine, effectively. Uh, they're all, some of them are, are uh, in, in this place, a lot of them are broken. Some of them are destroyed. Okay. The area you guys are kind of in kind of survived a good amount of the fall, but um, you do see buildings in the distance that are uh, destroyed. Um, gotcha. As you kind of make your way up this, uh, uh, out of this divot of this district, you look down and over and you see a canopy of excuse me, a canopy of golden leaves uh, crown the trees inside uh, the sunken basin. The trees grow in stark contrast to the bleak surroundings, their branches swaying even though the air is deathly still. Don't like that. You guys make your way over and do you descend downwards? The canopy up above the basin is so thick that you actually can't see the, the base of it. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of just like that, actually. Is it, a, is it at an angle where it would be difficult to get back out? No, there is what looks like, as you get, uh, you guys are seeing it from a distance, as you get closer towards it and you look around, you see all of the trees, it, it just, it goes so far down. Like the trees rise up to yeah. the to your feet level. You look over and you see what looks like a divot, an entrance that goes downwards, that leads down towards the bottom, but there's leaves and whatnot that can, that sort of obscure it as you make your way in. This is not then what I expected. you see around you these vents um, that are surrounding the entirety of the basin, and you watch as they <laughs> and gray sort of mist <laughs> comes out of them <sighs> and like expels out uh, around the entirety of the thing until they go upwards and form above uh, the tree line, and you watch as it <laughs> just begins to rain on top of all of the trees. Mm, that's cool. It rains for a few moments until eventually all of the mist above sort of like disperses and there's just a few drops left that sort of drip down deep into the trees. And it grows silent once again. Do we Can think? I, I'm sorry, are we, are we like next to this divot now? Like the, I mean, yeah, you guys are like, okay. yeah. I didn't know how Can close you wanted to get. Can but, I stick my hand in it? Yeah, you go over and you you stick how, your hand in it? How much of it does it cover up? Oh yeah, you're huge. Yeah. Um, okay, so your arm, Immolation's arm is what? Like a few? I mean, your arm's about half the length of your body. Half the length, okay, so you could probably reach, what, 10 feet? Yeah. Do you have a range of 10 feet now? Probably should. Yeah, your range oh. is 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah. I think giants um, do, don't they? That matters for opportunity yeah. attacks. Yeah, um, most giants have a range of 10 feet anyways. Hell yeah. um, all right, so yeah, you reach down, um, do you get all the way on the ground to try to reach the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. You stick your hand in. You feel like the immediately the wetness of, of the of the leaves. Right. Um, they feel uh, like sort of like fall leaves, sort of crispy, but they um, but they're still in the branches. They don't feel like they're going to fall off anytime soon. You reach downwards and you just feel the side of the stone wall. You don't seem to be able to reach the bottom. Touch ground. So it's more than like ten feet or the length of my arm, whichever is more accurate. Hmm. Yeah. Well. That is something. I mean, uh, I could go down there. No, uh, I, we should all go if we can, okay. assuming emotion is able to. Um, I just wonder if it'd be more of a fruitful journey to go in one of these towers instead. We now, could. I was expecting like a small park with some stuff, and this is Very this, large. this is this is different. We could go to the tower first if nothing. I think so. Good there, maybe, maybe something can explain what this is. Right. I worry about this being like a, a, uh, a very nice cage for something. Uh, I'm gonna have picked one of the leaves off the tree mm -hmm. all the way back up, and I'm gonna give it to Lazarus. I'm gonna say. As you go well, over, because you understand nature. Sorry. Stuff. As you go yeah. over and you pick one, uh, you do you like turn and do that. Valen's picked five already. <laughs> And she, 
What? Never mind. Put, put them in between the pages of your book. How unsanitary. It's how you preserve them. It's... This is a leaf. It is. Do you know uh, what kind of tree it is? <laughs> uh, I'm from an alien city that crash landed in a tundra. Right. It's probably the first like real tree I've ever, ever seen. Right. It's, just, it's like a pine. I... I I'll... It's a little weird. Lend me your peep and it's eye. Not, it's not, it's fall like and crispiness, it but like. Can I do a nature check? Mm -hmm. Tiny clouds come out of the ground and yes, water can. it. Uh, can I, can I cover all your peep and eye? Yeah. <laughs> it's an eight. You can uh, have it with advantage <laughs> if you eight. use a peep and eye. Oh. Peep. I'm just doing it for the meme. That's, uh. <laughs> Much better. 16. Um, so this type of tree is some sort of, uh, it, it's, it's a hybrid between like a birch and an oak, um, and it has been specifically hybrid, uh, uh, created in a way to create golden leaves. So these trees aren't sick, they're actually very healthy. As you look at it, the trees have been surviving down here. Um, it's, and it's likely because of the climate that they've been existing in this basin has been able to withstand the, uh, the coldness and the fall um, uh, that it took from all these sheer, sheer amount of trees that are here. But you know that these kinds of trees um, uh, have to, um, uh, they have to, they're, they're special in a certain way. They, they have been, they are maintained typically by a, by a gardener of some kind. Even though most trees can live just on their own, these ones are a bit too healthy. Something in this area is likely keeping them alive more than just the magical rain that is uh, preserving over them. And as you think about it, you think um, about your past with Ethrin as you look around this place and you remember, um, you remember that there is, there is a tree at the heart of this, um, I can't pronounce this word, Arboretum? The heart of this arboretum. A nether oak. Ooh, nether oak. For centuries, netherese mages crafted their wands from this oak. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I guess it is a tree from an alien city. Um, I guess I am familiar with it. It's a, I guess they're cross-pollinated in some way to manufacture a tree that's resistant to the cold. Um, okay. But I, I don't think that's the only thing keeping these things alive. They're... The dryad? Or something more sinister? It could be. I mean, it could be sinister. I don't really know. I do know that at the center of this, um, this landmass, this arboretum, is a, a special kind of tree. One in which a lot of the wizards fashion their focuses from a tree called a nether oak. Seems to be at the center of it. Fascinating, <coughs> says Mel. Seems to be maybe something worth investigating. But doesn't seem like there'd be a massive monster that they're keeping in. More a gardener that we'd have to deal with, maybe. But a gardener that lived this long in yes. the cold. Yes. Hopefully a dryad. I, I would hope so. Maybe this dryad will also know you. We could go down and investigate this nether oak if you'd like, but um, do we think this is related at all to our mission? I'll look at the doppelganger. Uh, the doppelganger sort of um, uh, is is sort of back, arms crossed, still in that sort of human-looking form mm -hmm. um, with the, the, the black hair and the gray streak, sort of wiry-looking. So he looks over and he just says, I have, I have no idea what this is, to be honest. There's a big garden, a bunch of trees, a little park. I could. These mages were very um, uh, weird and secretive. Yeah. Okay. Nether Oak. All right. Nether Oak it is. Nearest tower. Oh, I see. Right? Sure. Uh, we'll do the one that Bell was pointing out. This one. Or wherever the hell this massive stronghold goes. So you guys are heading in? Uh, we're, we're gonna we're vote. vote. Yeah. Okay. So one's the nether oak, two's gonna be this, this tower. Uh -huh. Alright. Okay.
Go. Ready? Uh, I yep. can't decide. Well, you have three seconds. One, two, both? three. I choose both. <laughs> you get one both, Ellie. I'm, I'm with, I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> I choose the nether oak because then we'll get to do both. Well, I'm fine with nether oak. Well, I think there's an option to do both either way. Yeah. Either yeah. That is Which one we're doing first. I, I was just yeah. wondering if the tower would have some more information about this I mean, thing. If we're, if we're going to do both anyways, we're already here. About. Wait, we'll, we can go down and see if there's nether oak. Uh... Meet you at the bottom, I guess. Yeah, um, I'm gonna let you all get in there first and see um, if you'll fit. Yeah. All right. All right, boss. Uh, should one of us go first to make sure uh, it's not a yeah. poisonous down there? We don't gotta that. breathe. That's true. Lo- Stay. Well, to walk down. I'll follow. Mm-hmm. Making sure uh, they don't need to. You know, I'm gonna get poisoned or poisoned from breathing bug in or anything. Or so you well. two are going down? Yes. Just, just real just, quick. Just, 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 just for like ten feet, maybe even a little further, just to make and you're sure. You're telling Valen to stay. Yep. Just to a make persuasion. <laughs> I, think I have a negative to that. <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's, uh, eighteen. Two nods. Just a quick second. Promise. Let's go down real fast. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll stay up with you. Okay. Uh, Kassira and uh, Lazarus, you guys make your way down. Yes. And as you descend downwards, you go over, it's a small sort of stepway that um, has some leaves on it, but it slowly becomes more and more covered with tons of leaves as you, as you get towards the bottom. And uh, you go down and down and down. It's about 25, 30 feet um, until you get towards the bottom. These trees are about 25, 30 feet in height. Um, and as you get towards the bottom too, you just there's just leaves everywhere. It's about a foot of leaves that you're like walking through. It's not enough to be difficult terrain, but it's enough to be like, oh, you can't even see the floor of this place. It is ancient. These trees have been here and have been growing and growing and growing out of control. Some of them grow into one another. Some of them uh, harbor tons and tons of leaves. Other, br- there are just branches everywhere all over the place um, as this place has just been left alone to just grow for hundreds and hundreds of years. You, as you look at this, Lazarus, it's a bit alien to you at this point. This doesn't need, this place has definitely changed. It wasn't always like this, and it's and it looks like this now. Can I get like and a- There's just this deep golden glow that just sort of peers through as you look up above the canopy of the leaves, um, which you can barely see through, but as you look upwards there, it looks like a night sky is actually above the tree line. And then you watch as it shifts to like a storm. It's like it's like cloudy up ahead, and then it, it immediately switches, and it like glitches back and forth, as mm-hmm. if like this um, this arboretum had some sort of like uh, uh, overhead sort of like uh, uh, illusion that allowed the sky to look differently, but it's broken and it's like glitching back and forth. Uh, is there anything that I know it's alien, but anything like too alien, like like. Eggs on ground, no. alien. It is. It so is. Now, it's gonna suck on their faces and kill them. <laughs> it is. It is uh, not even really like covered. That's kind of alien. I want to. It's a bit humid and, and a little bit warmer. It's still really cold. Um, the trees aren't covered in rime of any kind. The tops of them maybe a little bit, um, but uh, there. So far, it is just a forest, a, a yellow forest. Cool. Okay. Do you? Uh, We're gonna give up about two minutes. You, you got a sense here. You got. A, and yeah, can I uh, can I look around for like uh, disturbances in the in the leaves? Mm-hmm. Like, does it look like anything's made a trail? Sorry, uh, does it look like anything's made a trail? Or roll survival. Nineteen. No. No. N- in fact, nothing has step. You are you two are the first people to step here in hundreds of years. What you see? Nothing. Like that's nothing. why. That's honestly why there's so many leaves and so many branches. It's just been undisturbed. Whatever's taking care of these trees is doing it. Uh, either it's staying in the trees or it's on some type of system. Okay. Well, let me go fetch them. Right. I'll, I'll bring them down. I'll keep an eye out. Make your way back up the steps, can and I, you make it to the rest of the party. While he's on his way back out, can I just? Do a little quick divine sense. Is he again? A little, little smell. Divine sense! <laughs> Nothing. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay. 
seems to be all right, and seems to be largely left alone. We may be the first people in here again. Just be careful. It's mm. pretty covered down there. You'll you'll get what I mean, Velen, in a second. I, I don't want you falling in like a pit trap or something. Just be careful. I uh, I will. Have fun. <clears throat> uh, she starts to make I'll, her way down. I'll I'll, I'll stick with Velen. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, uh, Zerofas will also join. And he follows you guys down as well. Should be, uh, should be enough room. The, the, the trees seem to be tall enough to you can fit under. It's like as you descend down the stairs and like you go down, you get like a face full of leaves. So you kind of have to like push. And then as you get down, you're like, oh. And then you like step down. And I mean, you're still towering over everybody. And you're like the tips of the trees. But it, I mean, if you just hunch a little bit, you're perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what she's doing. She's just mm-hmm. hunch a little. Mm-hmm. Hunch a little. Um, really and you guys are all sort of at the base. Felon looks down. She's like, this is very here. strange. Something's been preserving all of these trees for a long time, but hasn't moved around into it. Kazira thinks that the thing, whatever it is, either is native and lives in the trees or doing it through other means. Right. It doesn't seem like anything's disturbed the ground. <sighs> Normally, this is um, foreboding. It means we should be dead already. But it could just be that there's nothing down here. We should take a look anyways. Well, let's try and find that center then. You guys start trudging through the leaves, pushing and making your way through the forest, pushing best. Um, there's no direct trail. There, it is just like you were bushwhacking it through uh, uh, these, these pieces of wood. As you push past them, they're sort of cold to the touch. It's still cold down here, but um, you don't really see much down here until you get towards the center where the, uh, what you could not see above. From above, it was just a canopy of leaves. From the center, there's this hill that rises up towards the center. There's leaves covering the entirety of the ground, and there's that very thick sort of wet wood-like um, natural smell, you know what I'm talking about. And um, in the center, there's this great oak. Uh, dark, pretty dark wood. Um, uh, it's contrast to the rest of the trees, which are all sort of like a birch, like a white color. This one in the center is like this deep, dark brown. It has um, uh, uh, ages of markings um, and uh, cuts around the sides of it. Oh, it's still this large, um, uh, healthy looking tree. As you look at it, um, as it, it goes up maybe like 20 feet up towards it where no other trees surround it. Um, you swear you see into the center of the tree's face, like the, the side of the, um, the, the bark, a gnarled, brooding face. Motionless. Head. It appears like its eyebrows are furled downwards, its eyes uh, squinted shut, and a scowl on it. Sort of towards the top, but unmoving and then you hear a pitter-pattering of, of, of rain up ahead as you, um, uh, uh, bits of drops of water sort of like fall down into the, into the um, arboretum. So this tree has like a face on it. Mm-hmm. Is this the one that... I have a read, I'm saying it right. Is this the one that they would use, Lazarus? Yeah, that... Well, it's different than the others. I can assume this is what it is. How or why or... I don't have answers for that. Any idea about the whole face thing? I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's foreign to me. Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe this is the person Helen? protecting this, these She's trees. She's just looking at it. Can you, do you have... I feel like we've asked you this before. Do you have the ability to detect whether or not something is inherently magical? One second. She does. Well, she, she does. does. Cool. Um, she she had, says, she had yes, I can. magic, but not identify. I didn't have to prepare it, though, but I can ritual cast it. I'm, I'm curious to know if this is just like an illusion or... Yeah, sure. Of course. She uh, goes downwards and she pulls out her book, which has a few leaves on it. She, like, brushes it off. <laughs> And you watch her say it like, she like cleans it with magic and then she opens it and flips through it. And she just begins to sort of like recite words under her breath. And then uh, um, uh, Zero Foster goes over and leans up against the tree. So 
a real, different real, one, real right? fascinating. It's a different one, right? Not the one with the face on it? No, yeah, he just walks up and he's just, no, yeah, cool. a different tree, cool, 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 cool. just nearby. Eventually, over the course of a few minutes, she finishes casting the spell. She looks upwards and her eye just begins to glow. She shuts it um, and she says, oh yeah, very, very, very magical. This tree or all of them? Not all of them, just that one. What, what type? Um, That's what I'm curious. Uh, uh, one second. Because if it's like illusion or what's the one where they like build things? Transmutation? That one. Yeah. Then theoretically it's just a face. Could mm -hmm. be. But if it's something else. Maybe, I, maybe we can talk to it. Uh, deep, deep transmutation. To a person. Turned yeah. into a tree. Possible. Interesting. Would you like me to speak like to it? Druid? Uh, let me, let me just, I'm gonna try, maybe. I'm gonna look at the face. He's gonna, hello there. I'm gonna say that in How close do you get? Uh, it's 10 feet, and I'll frog. say it in Sylvan. You, okay, so you get about uh, uh, towards the hill. Pretty close. Um, Velen doesn't stand next to you, but, but she, she's behind she me. inches up. She <laughs> yeah. gets closer. She wants to know what's going on. Um, and as you get closer, you just sort of, in Sylvan, you say hello there. Yeah. Um, Sylvan may not matter here, but it makes maybe sense. as old yeah, of a tongue as... It makes as sense. Look, every time I take Sylvan and it's useful, I feel like the worse. The tree up above begins to shake and you watch as the leaves begin to fall downwards and you watch as uh, the wood begins to like shift and shift and like and move and uh, you hear like the groaning and creaking of the wood itself as the face begins to move until you watch as the two eyes open up to wooden eyes underneath as the eyebrows look upwards as it stares down at you and it just says, what? It says in common. Oh, in yeah. common. Wonderful. Lazarus, this is your deal, right? You awaken me. Why? John, you want me to handle it? Well, well, you've got a better tree? chance than I do. Okay. You work with like trees and like animals and stuff. Okay, we, we really <laughs> gotta work this after this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Grove Guardian. Who are you? Not near. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm Lazarus. I am the Nether Oak. That I do know, Lazarus. Why have you Nether. awakened me? Oh, uh, I'm gonna point to the doppelganger. Um, we're seeking assistance and information. I am not a library. No, but you are alive. And that's 100% more than I can say in any other district we've visited. Are you here to craft a wand? No, but I could have someone do that, if that's something you'd like to do. What is your intentions? Well, to understand this place, I guess. Find out what happened. I don't know if you're aware, but the city has fallen and has been buried under a thousand years of snow. Good. Valid. <laughs> We're all on the same page, though, on that. Very good. <laughs> Accurate. We're just trying. You want a wand to discover information. You know? Sure. Sure, yeah, that sounds Foolish fantastic. Foolish need for a wand. You would awaken me for this. Well, I mean, I'm I'm more of a... Uh, the ground oh. begins to rumble slightly. Valen, do you, would, you, would you need a wand? Uh, would you like a, a, a... Would you be willing to part with some of your wood, a great nether oak? He says, what are your intentions? Um, to, uh, the study of, uh, the study of magic. Of course, the study of magic. What kind of magic, you fools? <laughs> she sort of looks around and she says, this tree's kind of grumpy. Yeah, I mean, we just woke him up from a thousand year nap. Um, to, uh, to, to, uh, to kill mages with it. And the ground sort of like stops shaking and, she, <laughs> and it says, to, to kill mages. She says, uh, yes, to kill the, to destroy the mages of Ethrin. Oh. You know, you did. You did mention. In what ways? I I would use this wand to 
to tr turn their minds against them so that they would uh, 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 undo themselves and, and, and kill them. And, and the tree just, very, very good. This fucking oak goes hard. <laughs> you may partake in my wood. She looks around at you guys like, she, just, she runs up the hill very quickly. She's like, um, uh, mm, mm. Uh, is there a... <laughs> just, 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 just pause wood. I, 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 pull on it. I can't just do it with my hands. I don't, and I the tree's just like, there is a tool. She's like, there's a lot of leaves. And she's like, and she pulls up this like, <laughs> she, yep. there's a rusty, like, old, like, piece of metal. She's like, um, uh. And she's like, hurry. She's like, do you, you have a dagger? Anything? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah, runs yeah. down, she grabs it, she goes back up, and she's like, uh, is this going to hurt you? And she and he says, the pain is good. And he's like, she's like, oh, okay. Oh. And she just starts like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're witnessing something we shouldn't be. Yeah, do you want us to turn around? Yeah, that's yeah. kind of Do you want some privacy? She's partaking in his wood. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she snaps off a piece. Hell yeah. Uh, Thank you, great nether oak. Do not thank me. Go, go with my blessing. Oh, I Burn them wood. all to the ground. They... Enact your will no, no, upon no, no, no. those people. That's not. Do they no. enslave you? Do you want? Do you want? No. Me? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I yell up. It stops. Do I have to? And then not it, you. You. The tree sort of turns and looks at you and says, yeah. "What?" Did they enslave you? Is that why you're so mad at them? <laughs> you can take, you can take I am the a guardian of these wife. trees. I have long served the people of Ethrim right. and their mages. Yeah. What I, did they do that would make it to where you would want them destroyed? I don't care who you destroy, Just mighty wish. wizard. I only care that you use that wand for evil. She's like, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well. Go forth and burn. And she's like, thank you. We should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Go goodbye, Nether Oak. Thank you. Sleep in Nether Millennia. If you wake me again, I will put you in the ground and you will feed all of my new children. I'm kind of gross, but valid. Okay, we're moving and we're moving. And <laughs> you start moving. walking away. You want me to calm emotions? No. Like no. No. no, no, no. Okay, okay. I, I don't think it's emotions that he's feeling. I feel like it's trauma. <laughs> we're moving. Uh, you guys make your way down and away, and Velen sort of looks down. She's like, I have a cool magic piece. Do you think this is like special in some way? Velen, did you? You just carved that off of a talking tree. You think it's special? Yes, it's special. It might be horribly cursed, but special nonetheless. I would say that at this point, you could even leave and have come away with <laughs> way right. more than what. <laughs> I'm not saying to leave. I'm saying, like, <laughs> that's pretty massive, right? I love his massive wood. Why she, you she does this. She does wood? this. You say that. She smiles. She puts her hand on your shoulder, and she goes. <laughs> and then she puts it in her back. <laughs> I mean, you'll be the you'll be and the then only. she's like walking away. <laughs> you'll be the only mage in the world with a nether oak wand. Well, I mean, they all made them. She turns and she makes this face. She goes, <laughs> and then she keeps walking. <laughs> she's got so much sass right now. Ellen, lead the way. We're going to the tower next. I swear, lead the. This is like this is like. The, the levity moment in a horror movie where it's like, all right, Valen, lead the way, whatever. And then we walk through, and then we just see Valen go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she got, she got magical wood. Valen, I, I will say it was kind of interesting how how close to the, the forefront of your mind it was to kill mages. I didn't know that about you. I thought she was just trying to pee the tree. She was, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to kill mages? You can, considering us non-mages. When your consorts and friends are fellow wizards and those of arcane study. I Power mean, and betrayal is often I, at right. the forefront. You our, don't typically find good wizards. Our current mission is to kill, kill one no, of them. Look, I'm, I'm all about it. I'm just, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize. But perhaps was, two. You can use that to kill someone. Okay, we'll get this wizard. Walk. Have you been fulfilled the, to kill the things. I'll be a good or whatever. <laughs> this is probably a good time to mention something important. She like turns around. She's all saying that probably. like once she turns around. Oh, good lord! The Arcane Brotherhood has a rule. 
We're you not do? allowed to fight. I, I move around <laughs> the way of like the. That thing. that is not <laughs> that that is not gone very well for you, has it? You kind of broke. I haven't fought rules. any of them. Uh, no, I'm talking about the Brotherhood. No, not it goes very well. Them. You were expelled if they if they find out. Hmm. Well, no. Are, are you are you saying that if we find Dazan here and he attempts to fight us, you're not gonna? Do you want to go back to the Arcane Brotherhood? I don't. I don't know, and I've been thinking about that a lot. Okay. I mean, I, none of us are going to tell on you if no. you kill Dazan. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't, I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of them. I was just okay. curious if it's like a... I don't know how this is going to end up. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen when I leave this place, and if I don't have anything when I'm gone, I do want to return back to the Arcade Brotherhood. Right. Yeah. There's two options. I can't find any of them, or we have to be thorough. Thorough hustle. If the Arcane Brotherhood never finds out. As in, oh, he tries to kill Dazan Basically, and, and, uh... Avarice. Uh, thank you. If, if she's here. So both have to go if we kill Dazan. Yes. Cool. A-OK. -okay. Yeah. yeah. Ditto. Dead mages. Uh, so what, says the gnarled oak, whatever. From what I've heard, Avarice is even worse than Dazan. Yeah. Uh, she silently turns back around and continues walking. Really gonna be, she, she gonna make the, I'm confused. I mean, she to, be make the wand to, to, be, to be completely honest with you, like, is she gonna like carve it? If, if Dazan and Avarice, like, if we don't run into them, by all means, I'm not gonna hunt them down. No. I'm gonna catch back up to Velen, make sure she yeah, 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 okay. get got. I, I might be willing to do that. Uh, you guys make your way out and uh, kind of ascend above the tree line once again, and you are back in the main city of Ethrin. Okay, I think the next place is that tower. Agreed? Yes. Yep. Okay, this tower here. All right. Um, so that was about 20 minutes. Okay. And then walking from there to that tower is seven minutes. So it's Love been it. about 30 minutes. We'll just cool. say that. Okay. 10.45. Good. 10.45. 10, 10, 10 we're, we're making great time. We can have lunch soon. We can yeah, hang out. We'll go get it's about 10.30. Off. We'll go on the teacups, and then we'll be able to... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> round out the day. What about a roller coaster? Uh, okay. No, no, no. I, I like those, yeah. You guys uh, walk through the sort of uh, uh, open sort of pathways and you pass by that large building um, that is uh, right above you, Bryn. You see that shit? You see that big building right next to the canopy of trees? You know what? I'm going to look at it that way. And it's yes, easier to see that than this? Uh, the reflection is. like look, look at it from my angle and you'll see what I'm talking about. From my point of view, the jet Oh, I'm <coughs> sorry. That's horrible. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you can't do anything about it. So I kind of have can. to... That Whoa. now we look <laughs> like we're in the dark. <laughs> kind of cool though, actually. I'm gonna do this. I wanted it to be kind of dark, anyways. That okay. helps a lot. I can do this. And say, okay. Yes. Oh, um, th this building. No. No. Left. This one. That one. Oh. There's a big building with like four points, yeah. right there. Yeah. You guys walk past that, and uh, as you look oh, at walk it, past it, not you do. Okay. Um, it it's a colossal building that has many loft lofty turrets in, in a state of disrepair. The ground below littered with their rubble. A giant-sized door at the base of the structure stands slightly ajar. Standing near it, uh, not even standing, sorry. Uh, as you guys walk oh, past shit. it, you see something else walk also past it, sort of uh, perpendicular towards you, a few hundred feet away. Oh, no, 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 like, like 10, like 50 feet away. I'm sorry, so beyond the, the as in like we can peer through a doorway and beyond in the no. thing? No, or uh, behind outside the, the structure? You guys are outside. Yes. Um, you're heading towards the tower. There's a big, uh, sorry, this way. You guys are heading over. Uh -huh. There's a big uh, building right here. Yeah. Right. And you're heading this way over towards the tower this way. Uh -huh. There's somebody, there's something walking this way. So parallel, not perpendicular. Yeah, it like kind of like turns, a, sorry, turns a corner and is where, uh, uh, w like towards We're you. going to be crossing each other's path. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, what does it look like? Yeah. Divine sense. I'm dead. No. Oh, okay. Uh, do we get a glimpse of it? Or is it just kind of like a Yeah, it looks like a, uh, a being humanoid six feet in height, uh, raggedy white looking hair, oh. corpsey looking face, black oh. leather. Does he look like the Printos? the other one we know? Printos. Printos. Oh shit. Do I see Dazon? No. 
Do we and all he's just le he's just very leisurely walking. And then he sort of turns and he notices you all and he just stops. Krintos? He's like 50 feet away. <laughs> I can't hear you. Right. Krintos? <laughs> Krintos? What? Where's the song? Sure it is you. Long story. Is he dead? I don't know. You lost okay. him? Well, if it's a long story. Yeah. Didn't you have we one have job? Long, we have a long Just walk. Don't. You gotta give him a call. He slightly walks closer. Um, and he's he doesn't look afraid. He just looks a little, like, uneasy yeah. for an undead. And as he gets closer, he just sort of says, He, uh, told me to leave. Oh. Where is he? Was he? I don't know. He left. I see. Left here? No, I think he like he yeah. left him like 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 a dog. He's like, I'm gonna go in. You can go about your business now. No. What happened? No, he thinks I'm trying to kill him. Oh, he's become a little paranoid. I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know where to go. You could come with us, I guess. <laughs> I see you want your whole. He's been waiting for you. We? He was, he was waiting for you. Oh, yeah, where? yeah. What was he gonna do? He woke up and. He didn't seem well, and then he he told me to leave. Well, the last time we did see you, he did have that thing assault his mind. What? In the cavern. He he fell to the... You were there. We, yeah, we fell to the creature. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was a little different. I don't recall. Oh, okay. Well... Oh, have your can, memories been Can I have insight. Like on that? Yeah. yeah. I'll give insight. an insight. I don't know why he would lie. Because he was but. very aware... Four. Not insight. Can I roll history? For what? I'm try. I want to recall if he was also caught up in it, and if he has any mm -hmm. memory of this, because mm -hmm. I feel like that might have been something that happened. Arcana. Twenty-seven. Uh, seven, plus three, eight, ten. Twenty-seven. Yeah. No, he was there. Was he caught up in the? No, but he he knew all of that. So he so this so him not recalling is very strange. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Modified memory. Well, what do you want to know? Is there like a, a spell that would make him forget something like that? Yeah, there's tons of spells that can make you forget things. Okay. But he seems he seems to not remember most of what has happened in the in the in the past few. You would know days. at least from Arcana that he's kind of incapable of lying, and that if he's telling you he doesn't remember something. Something probably happened. Okay. But you don't know exactly what it is. Krintos, what do you remember? We waited for you on the outside of the Caves of Hunger. Dizon memorized some new spells. Waited. He casted a few spells. Um, and then he was aware that, uh, that somebody was with you. He didn't give me all the details. Right. He said that we had to be cautious. We went into the caves together, and um, everything seemed fine. Do you remember going into the caves with us? Yes, we went together, and then we ended up here, separated. Okay. Do you remember what we were going to be doing in the caves? Why we had to stick together? I think something happened while we were here in Etherin. Okay. We went somewhere. Dazan was attempting to investigate something in a tower. He turned us both invisible to avoid some beings that were on the inside. We stepped through a magical gateway, and we talked to these women. They told him that they would allow him to leave if they took something from his mind. Mm, I see. When we left, we didn't know what it was. Okay. We have to assume it could have been how we got here, but it all seemed like we just got separated. Okay. It could have been something completely different. Alright. Do you know tower? He looks over and he points uh, at the, the one you guys are The yellow to. one? Okay. okay. That's good to know. Well, that's something. We left. He wanted to wait for you. In the tower? At the tower. No. We, um, there was a building nearby. We, uh, hit out and I kept watch. Did, did, he slept. Did this just happen? Past 
eight or so hours. I see. And okay. then he woke up and told you to leave? He woke up. He was unwell. I, I did as he commanded, as he always has, yes. as I have. He seemed unwell, and then he, he accused me of attempting to kill him, as if I was following him, as if I had done my entire life. He told me to leave. Okay. I cannot disobey him. Val I don't know where he is now. Val, and what are our options here? Is he magically tied to Dazon? Uh, how, how, what he is, is that? Any it, commands that Don, Dazon gives him, he has to follow. Because what? Because he's indebted? Is he... He's a thrall. Via magic? Yes. Can, can you change similar, that? Can, can you enthrall him instead? Kill him? Is it what, similar you to kill your kobolds? Him. It's like any other kind of necromancy. The kobolds that I summon, any undead that I summon. I'm sorry. Krintos isn't like you. No, no, I, I, I follow. I was trying to figure out because Dazon was dead Krintos before is the no new more Dazon. Than some animated corpse. As soon as Dazon knows that we have him, he can turn him against us. We shouldn't trust him. Oh, no, 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 I meant more like, could, is there any way that you could... Oh, because when Dazon, taking control of him. when Dazon wasn't alive. Yeah, because there was no Dazon at some point, so who was concentrating on the thing, right? I mean, he was still Dazon, right? The no. Crone? Well, I, I guess, I, I don't know the deal of Simulacra like Crone, but possibly, possibly. Um... There's no way you can handle it without. I think that's our best option. Well, why don't we send him back to the mouth and just tell him to wait. And we'll figure out what's going on with Dazon. Well, what about this? What do you want, Krentos? I live to serve Dazon. Yeah. Right, but that's if no Dazon longer... no longer wants me, I will do as he asks. Perhaps it's best you make your way out of the cave. What will you do once you're out? <laughs> so he's like, all right. <laughs> Dazon did not tell me to do this. He told me to leave. To leave what? Him or leave the caves? I don't, I don't know. Well, why don't you leave and go to the mouth, so we, the mouth, mouth of the of the space and we can find you after we've talked to him. It's better than you roaming around aimlessly and we won't be able to find you again. Yes. And then he starts walking towards the angel. Oh. Bye, Quinto. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's done anything to me to... He's very that. slowly, too. He just kind of meanders yeah. his way over. That's good that maybe these, these things leave him alone. So hopefully. So that, nice. that, that could change our thing, though. We could beeline into the stronghold, or we could go deal with potentially what's on now in this uh, this room full of women. And creatures, he said? Perhaps the Nothics? Could be. We know that there are Nothics here, right? We know that there's something here besides the, the faceless things. Sure, you know there are nothing. Oh, okay. Up to you guys. We just I at least know at this point that there's something dangerous in that tower. Yes. Yes. But that it, can it, alter it, your memory. A gaggle of women. And it sounds like the Zon may not give us an option hags. if he sees us. I mean, well, that what have you doing down here? Do you have scrying, Melon? I do. Wait. I don't think she did. I um, think she was aware. Of well, the, the only, the only. A uh, group of magical women I can think of no. are hags. Well, that's true. I do not. Unless there are a group of. Uh, and our reputation is bad. I do have arcane eye, though. What does huh? that one do? Oh, I can, one did. It is bad. It I is bad. See? Yeah. I, I forgot Away the fact that we myself. came back and killed her. Yeah. Okay. Unless it's a, a group of very, very elderly <laughs> uh, wizard women. <laughs> but, Which makes, is possible. But, does, but does it make sense that they would trade? He said he steps through an, el ed ed an extra dimensional space. And then right. made a deal with his memory. Sounds a lot like a finger. Sounds a lot like a hag. Yeah. Okay. Do oh, we want to even interact right. with this thing? We're going to find danger no matter where we go here. Just don't go through it's the It's not going to all be here. sunshine well, daisies and talking trees. Uh, no, I mean... The talking tree, the talking tree was kind of... Five. Not neither of those things. I don't like the fact that Krintos is not with Dazon. I think we at least had 60 feet of awareness if he was with Dazon, and now Dazon is yeah. just hidden. Well, he, we can't he, make him go back. Yeah, no. he is also weaker without him. That's in a true. Way, so. And he's become paranoid. Who knows what kind of madness he's going to get into here. Okay, let's go talk to the hags. Maybe, maybe we can ask what, what they took from him. Maybe we could figure out. Can you tell where portals lead when you do your? 
Um, I don't. I can only tell where where a portal. Te- yeah, I can only tell where a portal is. Okay. I could. No, no, I, I, okay. I can't do that. If we go to that building, I could potentially track Dazon from there, but. Okay. Fingers crossed. Yeah, let's do it. We're heading to the tower, the tower with the yellow light. So you guys get closer, you watch as Velen, um, uh, as she goes over, she takes her sort of trembling hands, holds them upwards, um, uh, uh, draws a sigil in the air, and as she sort of breaks the sigil, um, you watch as this, uh, uh, the, the remnants of what seems like a bluish sort of force field surround the entirety of her body and then dissipate. <clears throat> Good idea. Yeah, a, I just learned that one. It, oh. that you look great. Um, looks and like that, that major armor. That's, major that, that, that's good preemptive defense work that we were talking about to go into these great dangerous places. Mm. Yes. Okay. I'm very prepared. Good. I have no doubt, though. You're just important now to us. So we don't want you to get squished. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> or fireballed from a distance. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time with you away, being attacked by dragons. And Dazans and giant uh, birds. Giant birds. You're With now a little bird just, on you're the here. Dragons. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch out for you. But it's hard to do when you're climbing through crevices, to slapping up invisible bodies. No, we're fine. That's good. I appreciate. It. Tower, tower, tower. You guys, make your way over towards the tower, and as you get closer, you see that it uh, explodes and you all die. <gasps> Uh, the there tower, is no appeal. See you next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the tower is engraved with interlocking circles of stone. Yellow light spills from the topmost window, and the faint sound of brooms brushing on stonework drifts through its broken doors. What the fuck? Well, it's tidy. I like tidy spaces. Yeah, okay. All... Are we close to it? To the yeah, door? Yeah, it just has like an entrance um, and uh, it's open. You guys look like you could walk right in. Okay. Are you fine if there's a portal around? I can't do that again. Oh, you can't? No. I already did it once. Okay. Yeah, I can do it tomorrow. Okay. I knew the, uh, the portal I got access to last time was in the tower. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, from that interaction, plus I forgot Velen casted, spent 10 minutes and casted uh, Detect Magic. That's going to be the end of that hour. It is now uh, 11. Okay. Uh, do we want to try and stealth in? Yes. I can attempt. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Pass all that trace. Oh, that makes life so much easier. It's not easy being tall. It's, oh. Yeah, wait. How are you going to It's not easy is being it, a green is giant. Is this even someplace I can fit into? Damn it. Missed out on a natural twenty. One second. I don't know if I got higher than Brand, but I doubt it. I feel like I'm in competition though. That was a pretty good uh yeah. well. Um you will have to scrunch to get into the doorway, but it's not hard. You just get down and up and you can stand on the okay. inside. Um, everybody's rolling stealth? Mm-hmm. With uh, pass without trees. Got it. Uh, I am gonna give you disadvantage, Emilation. No, that's fair. <laughs> Ellen gets a uh, 24. Ooh. Ooh. 22 with disadvantage. Perfect. 27. Nice. Uh, 21. I Thirty-five. Holy shit! Uh, the five of you begin to make your way over, and uh, he- and as you step in, it looks like an empty sort of the bottom of a tower, and there's a stairway that goes up to uh, to uh, that spirals all the way up to like the top floor. You guys ascend. I'm gonna switch from my bow to my gun. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys make your way up as a slow bit of uh, yellow light begins to sort of fill the entirety of this tower. As you make your way all the way up, glowing, um, uh, you, who's leading? It's our marching order here. I guess. At the very back. Me. Can you just put your minis in marching order? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, there she is. She's <laughs> all right. Where am I? Where are you at? <laughs> um. Behind your laptop. Velen is Karen definitely not in what? front of what? immolation. Oh, yeah. Where, where is she? If anything, Velen, no. Right behind. There you go. There, right there. <laughs> she doesn't get picked up again. Oh, 
She okay. One person in between oh. her is fine. Nope. Mm -mm. She's like right. She wants a Kazira's distance between them. <laughs> 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 oh. Do you not have yours? No, uh, I don't. Mia doesn't have hers. Oh, I um, also don't have mine. And I'll figure out like what we what, what, what we do. This. Sorry, guys. Here, I thought I had one. Emma get those out for you. I thought they were all still out, so I told Emma not to get them. <laughs> That's the floor. <laughs> I heard the floor is really good at catching things. It is. Mm -hmm. It's great. Um, all right. Okay. So That's the marching order. Perfect. You know. Lazarus, as you, as you ascend the stairway first and look upwards, um, you see glowing orbs that are set into the walls of this 30-foot diameter circular chamber. It's pretty small. Four giant hands made of shimmering force hover in the center of the room. And they look to be, um, uh, they, they just sort of, they're sort of just like this, like one, two, and then three, four. They're just glowing blue hands. Um, and they, uh, in the middle between them is a, is a uh, pedestal, and on the pedestal is a tiny ornamental tower that resembles the tower that you're currently in. As you make your way up, you sort of like stop before you head upwards because you guys are stealthing. Uh, Bryn, you're able to come up and see this exact same thing and um, uh, the rest of you just know that the group stopped. Are there things that would represent those hands outside of the tower? Uh, what do you like mean? Like outside of our tower? Because there's the four hands. Oh, no, no, no. There isn't, there isn't also four big hands on the outside <laughs> okay. of this big tower. I don't tower. know if that was like no, some no, no. trick. Okay, but there is a representation of this tower. Mm -hmm. That maybe the portal. Oh. Uh, and are the hands like, <coughs> like mage hand sized or like Bigby sized? B uh, exactly, Bigby sized. Okay, that's, that's what I was saying. Oh. Just, just for myself. No. The, 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 the hand, the hands are like this. No, I hate that. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Can I see Kazir if I turn and look back? Uh, yeah. But Kazira can't see into the room. No, I would like to telepathically ask Kazira to skulk up on the walls and get up here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna go up on the walls, up and around, and get uh -oh. up. Uh oh. And then. Uh oh. You, <laughs> and it was no longer because there is distant. And then when you come over, I'll be like. <laughs> Can I look at him? Uh, yeah, you go up and you peer over. You see the yeah. you see the room. It's not a foot away. I know. Oh, what are you trying to do? I'm meaning that I'm peeping. Do I? I'm can stupid. I? Do I know what they are? Or are they like? Uh, oh, you, you want to roll to find out what they are? Yeah. yeah. Your minute roll I, I, I think that's arcana why. Check. An arcana? While this is happening and uh, uh, Kazira moves, Valen is going like this. Yeah. Oh, looking at what? Okay. She keeps looking back at Immolation <laughs> and then looking forward and then looking back and then looking forward. 22. But she, like, she, she appears as if she doesn't realize she's doing it. <laughs> the... Immolation is uh, so, like, self does not come naturally to her. She is concentrating so hard at being stealthy, <laughs> she does not notice. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like making sure. <laughs> um, it's, li it's like a leak in here. Like, your sweat needs to go like, <laughs> What'd you get? 22. You are, you are even aware of the spell known as Bigby's Hand. Okay. Um, this is a, a, a conjured hand that is controlled by a mage that can be used just like a giant hand. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, this, uh, you've heard of, of uh, spells being able to uh, have so much concentration and energy that they become uh, a living embodiment of the spell. These are four living Bigby's hands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which is a shimmering, translucent force in the shape of a hand. That's of not a what hand. I thought. Magic. And they are just sort of floating there, a bit of blue ethereal smoke sort of spilling off of them as they hold, as they just, just await. They're a bit see-through as well. Uh, magic hands that are alive. What the fuck? Uh, yep. Okay. What's going on? Are they hostile? They could be. What's up there? This is Bella. Yeah. I'm going to telepathically yeah. link to her and tell her what I know. And then she responds back. She says, oh, that's not good. You I think we could... I don't know if they're hostile. They're definitely hostile. Can we take them out? Okay. Well, let's the the manifestation. For a moment. Let's, let's try, we have the advantage. We could surprise them. We could 
Mm. She goes into her spell book. Dispel them, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I've never fought a spell before. <laughs> We're gonna have to improvise. Can you dispel magic? I don't know that one. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll return back to your zero. It seems that Val thinks they're for sure hostile. I guess we should handle these things. It's like a joke. I laugh out loud. Oh. <laughs> the hands go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They grab me and just rip me apart. Kizir <laughs> 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 like, goes, grab me and trick me like a dog. Just <laughs> 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 go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I broke my uh, neck. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Um. You want to just shoot me? I can't not use my gun now. Oh. You want to just? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll. Guess I'll sidle up like a fucking Skyrim sneak. I'll just okay. kind of like. Perfect. All right. So you guys will <laughs> zoom get in and slow. Uh, there was like. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, and then yeah. inevitably it misses somehow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then the dark um, girl's like. <laughs> perfect. Let's. Uh, if we can go ahead and remove the boards, I have a map for you guys. We will get that going here. Um, while while we're getting ready for that, uh, Mia, have you heard about Beetle and Grimms? No, I haven't actually. Oh. Mm. I'm I'm I'm, what no, is I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not saying it. Are they sponsored? Beetle? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are they, they have these really cool maps? Uh-huh. Are they the ones who made these? They are. These exact maps? Those they're ones. They're such good quality, guys. Wow. Whoa. The best. I totally I also... didn't ask out of you to talk to stall while I, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm stalling. <laughs> I heard that they also did some really cool stuff for magic, too. I Ooh. also heard that. And Pathfinder, if that's your thing. Ooh. Ooh. Critical Role as well, yes. I'm really? so hyped about Critical Role stuff mm-hmm. right now. Because so. uh, of uh, a, sp- a spell jammer? Yeah. I think that comes sp- out sp- sp- soon. Sp- 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 right? I mean, next month when the book comes out, mm, so probably the month after. done. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a good one, too. The spell jammer? Yeah, mm-hmm. the spell jammer mm-hmm. content didn't mm-hmm. exist before, really. It came out like 85. There's not a lot of books. It's the first time we're going to have really anything related to spell jammer. Like, cray, cray like in physical been, form. Craig cray so. has been begging for spell jammer. Get your shit. They'll so. give you all the boats you need, too. Would you mind adjusting All the miniature little spaults uh, and ships and spaceships. What's your doing? The spell but jammer I mean, without the spell jammer? Yeah, <laughs> get it. It's a small price to pay. What or you, you could mean, not you pay, because they'll probably break them down like they do normally. And you could wait and get small little boats, maybe. Small little boats. Or all the really cool dice they have. That's the art I've been meaning to show you guys. That's Ethrin. Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. I'm bad. Kind of cool. I'm bad, at, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I thought those were palm trees. I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Palm not, trees. They're not palm trees. Kinda, what are we, LA? Okay. All right. No, no, no. I just okay, need to actually, like... That definitely looks like a hag's house. That's all I'm saying. Just a hag's big. house? That's not the right one. House. A hag's hut. This one. This? A hut? Can we win? Hut, hut. Uh, hut? It's, what's that? I, I, what's that you know, saying in uh, Witcher? Oh, the hut. Uh, hut, hut. Yeah, the little... The little the, it's okay. you, didn't t- you didn't tell me yeah. anything. You just oh, said, uh. I just feel like I'm like, oh, I, 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 I don't know. know. Did, did you say hut hut? <laughs> tell me if I need to move the, it up or down. The little hut because I had little chicken legs and walked around. It's season two. It's with Yennefer. And yeah. yeah. Oh, you're just talking about the show. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about the game. I wish. I wish that was in the game. It's I was not. like, what are you talking about? No, the, the, show, the show has it. When did they ever say hut hut? Yeah. Yeah, he, no. Carol, he gets down and he's like, hut, 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 hut and he chucks a pigskin behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> go far, Roach. Yeah. Roach <laughs> is on the roof. Off. Yeah, oh. I only know because uh, Lacey was obsessed with it. Yeah. And we watched it like two and a half times. Oh, well, she oh. watched a lot more than that. No, yes. she watched it many, many times. She watches times, it but... too many times. She's a simp for uh, Dandelion. We're really Anne yes. and, and, and uh, Geralt, but yeah. she's really a simp for Dandelion. Yeah, she listened to that guy's band. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She has yeah. dug deep in the, uh, the amazing devil. In the annals of history. The discord. The about the Dandelion? amazing devil is actually or no, an incredible about the show. band. Oh. so good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Lisa always wants to talk about some whack out shit she's hyper fixating on. Oh, of course, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. that, that that's that's my. Months. That's yeah. black sales right, right now. now. It's Valheim. It's not black sales anymore. Oh, no? she it's moved on. Just switched, and I don't want to say what it is because it's gross. Oh, right. It's right not now. gross. It's just uh, she's she's really into Loki right now. Not the oh, show, no. but someone brought her on this. I don't know what kind of kick. She's watching all the Marvel movies by herself. Yeah. And she's like, why didn't anyone tell me Thor 1 and 2 are like good? And I was like, because one of they're, they're, they're not. Thor 2 is good. They're not, but, but, she, but she's like, no. Loki's really yeah. cool. And I'm like, oh. Loki is very Thor 2 cool. is oh, no. better than Thor 1. She's, she's going to be like that Tumblr girl, Lo- Loki. Yeah. Like, I can fix it. 2015. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she's, she's seven years too late. Did she watch <laughs> the show, though? Uh, she's she's going to probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, now it's, right now it's heavy, uh, heavy Valheim vibes yeah. with Unfortunately, uh, oh, yeah, I understand her, like, and then I watched good. the show, and I was like, I, um, yeah. I'm changed. Yeah, I'm a changed woman. <laughs> I'm a better person. <laughs> I'm a better the person. Other side. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Get, get yeah, she, 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 she may not like that, considering he falls off himself. He does. Yeah, yeah so I don't know. We'll see. But she is, that's her kick right, right now. now. She's been going through a lot of Marvel movies, and she's, you know, I, always I think, slowly becoming obsessed with Loki. This always happens. I I wind up in like the last half of her hyperfixation, and so we never finish the, the stuff. She might finish Black Sails too, <laughs> but I think right now she's going through Marvel movies, which is, which, no. knowing her, she'll watch like the entire, like series over and over and over again. She'll be there for months, yeah. rewatching Marvel yeah. movies. So who knows? Whew. Unless she finds something else. Yeah. 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 You know it is. Okay. Almost got this ready. Sorry, I had to adjust it. I have it. my own. I, I had to whip out my Photoshop. Own. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think mine is... We have Lacey at home. I, I guess, do. I guess <laughs> mine is technically armor right now, which is weird. Yeah? Yeah. It's a weird thing to call, like, my current obsession. Yeah. But, I mean, I've been playing the game for, like, nine months. I'm almost at 400 hours, I think. Yeah. Lacey does a thing where she'll, she'll finish all of her work, and then mm-hmm. she'll just isolate. Like, zero contact. Mm-hmm. She'll just absorb content. That's all it is. I can't do that. Is that mini? Yeah. Is that mini size? Uh, oh, here. I, oh. I'm sorry. This probably would have helped if I left a person there. There you go. Hey. Perfect. Uh, yeah, perfect. put you guys by the stairs. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, this, actually, just so it's so a little So we would have been one. Uh-huh. I'm going to hit you all. I'm going to hit you everyone. I'm on, the, I'm on the wall, so just I'll put, put you me like right there. there. Potato around my wind. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Let's see if I can see what I'm talking about. Put Velen. Yeah, you got Velen? Okay, cool. That's what the hand's going to do to me. Yeah. Zero <laughs> <laughs> flew around the town. As you can see. Beautiful. Yeah. She, 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 she's like this. She's like wall sliding it. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, hang a down. Hand. Oh, God. It was a sword. <laughs> Oh, oh. God. Armor physics are the best. But yeah. <coughs> That's kind of nice. Thank that, you. You're so sweet. Well, he's setting that the physics in oh, this I game are the head best. Red and throbbing. I also have to feel like I have to fix the record. Lacey never, oh. like, her hyperfixation runs out because I'm slow. Oh. <laughs> the physics in that game. So it's not, it's not a her thing. I don't know about that. I, I think she has a she has a timer yeah. of, like, human interaction, and that dwindles. And after that, mm. she has to recharge it over, yeah. like, five days. So it's yeah. hard to interact with that when she's like, I'm going to hyperfixate, I'm ready to hang out, yeah. and she'll want to hyperfixate together, and then they'll dwindle, and then oh, she'll yeah. do something else. Nah, it works out because that's about my timer, too. But that I was just going to say, it's not... <laughs> that is a fist. That is a fist. You like that? A uh, no. fist? No? But that is a mm-hmm. fist. Oh. Maybe. Uh, all right. That's Maybe the cool. next, next I like game. That we, uh, we have four Ooh. different hands that actually makes it work. Future Now, is, this is what they actually are looking like. Like how I believe they are supposed to be large, but I'm fine with them being that size. But it's okay it, because they're huge. What I, what I mean to say is, like, well, is this actually what the the positioning the they stance. have is? Is mm-hmm. this? No. They're, they're all like this. How, how are they? They're all. They're, they're all. Doing, they're all doing, doing that. that blood Sorry, they're all doing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lazarus, <laughs> would you get? This. I didn't oh, right. Roll. I need to roll initiative. Roll initiative. Yeah. Roll. roll initiative. So, 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 oh, oh my God. I rolled a natural done? 20. Oh, my goodness. Me too. Oh. Oh. Wow. Really? For a total of? Uh, 28. Well, fuck uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> 19. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Immolation. 21. Yeah, you just went in. God Actually, damn. you just roll yours and need to be on your good. Right. Oh, my God. Everyone's you also got a 20. Holy fuck. Uh, okay, surprise round. Britain, you're first. 
Immolation, you're on deck. How do I Blazers, kill? After How do I kill a magic hand? Yeah, figure it out. Catch it. <laughs> I'll go in. Sorry. Before you do a thing. Okay. They are ten feet up. All right. Good they're thing I have a whip. They're floating. <laughs> good thing I have a whip. It's good. Indeed. No. Just making sure you guys know that. I will go in. Is there anything else oh. in this room? No. A right, quick. Other than the tower on that pedestal in the center of the room and those four things, there are b- yellow orbs ar- around the top of the tower, and that's about it. And the yellow are the yellow orbs where the light is coming from? Yes. Okay. And they're up there? Or they're, they're like 30 feet up. Okay. Uh, I will attack with the whip, I guess. It's, it okay. is a magical, you know. Sounds good. Which, Which one are you attacking? We'll jump and go. Uh, the orange one. Okay. Um, since it's surprise round, do I have an advantage? Um, hmm. I don't actually know how that works. <laughs> I mean, I think so. You attack. Because I think if you obs- attack something that you can't, you, you it can't see you, I think you have advantage. Because it. Any, anything that is heavily obscured, don't you? The issue is that it can see it can see her now. Oh. Is aware of your presence. Uh, well, I was stealth. You were. And then you get out and you walk over towards it. And it's like, hi. It knows you're there now. It's just surprised. In the surprise mode? Okay. Yeah. And then, I, yeah, I don't know what the surprise would, condition does. The surprise condition just makes, it gives them the surprise condition. Right. What is if that? If they're, they can't act during the first round of combat. And they can't take reactions. But okay. The, but... If you are obscured and stealthed and you attack, they don't they aren't aware of your presence, then yeah. They can still be aware of your presence during the first round of combat. They just can't. Gotcha. I can look okay. it up. That make no that makes sense. Surprised. 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 <laughs> Surprizzle. Hmm. Mm. I think it's called Unseen Attacker. I wish any of y'all would update their combat thing so I could see what initiative he is. Yes. Unseen Attackers and Targets. Here it is. I don't know where I am. Oh, cool. The Rick and Morty rules. (laughs) Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, combats can often try to cast availability, lurking darkness. When you attack a target that you can't see, you have disadvantage. This is true whether you're guessing the card's target's location, Okay, okay, thank you. When a creature can't see you, you have advantage on the attack rolls against it. If you are hidden, both unseen and unheard, when you make an attack, you give away your location when the attack hits or misses. So my argument is that as soon as you come into the point where they can see you, which to me is like, you can't make a stealth check in there. They are, you, you guys got away with a stealth check because you're in a stairway, because they can't see you. They're, they, you're no longer an unseen attacker. But if Lazarus shoots from where he is, from his, from his, from his, is where this, well, is this not an open doorway though? That's where my confusion it's is. It's not so an open doorway. The right way, sorry, the way I was describing it was that you were like coming up into the floor. But the map is is different. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Understood. You're at floor level, so like you you guys are peeking under the floor is like what I was imagining. But if you jump up and run over towards one of them, there there it's no longer they they know you're there. Understood. All right, I'll just do my two regular okay. attacks with the Go whip. for it. Watch. My entire character. Two, two attacks is 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 basically. Adv- <laughs> my entire character relies on getting sneak attack. Um, fourteen and fifteen. Fourteen and fifteen. Um. <sighs> Uh, unfortunately, those are going to miss. As you go over and uh, make your way upwards towards uh, towards the the hand, you take your whip out and you <laughs> strike in, strike over towards it twice, and your whip like <laughs> passes through it. Mm. Does it seem like I missed, or does it seem like something weird happened? It seems like this thing is incredibly difficult to hit. That it's not just the hand. There's um, like a, there's like a sweet spot. There's type like of a thing? sweet spot. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Immolation. Um, so I guess I will uh, move into the room. Okay. Um, uh, just like Bryn, as soon as you move into the room, you're no longer a, yeah. uh, an unseen attacker. That's fine. I'm, I'm, 
I'm very large too. Cause you're so Can big, I? and cause yours against the wall. I imagine you're like trying to shimmy, like, and he's just like. Oh my God. You're like, like <laughs> his eyes are like. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just very eager, and then I guess stuck to her back. I have like, like 21 uh, feet tall, right? Yeah, the ceiling is 30 feet high. 30 feet high, mm-hmm. and these creatures are. You're like looking 10 down feet, at them. Right? Yeah, they're like, 10 feet up. Perfect. So they're your torso. That's exactly. Bonk. <laughs> Go for yeah. it. And you cr- you have a range of 10 feet while you're this big. 10 feet, and mm-hmm. I believe what you said last time was that um, my sorry my weapon does. Um, it, the die rank goes up by one. Okay, so it's not 2d10. It's just a d10. Uh, oh, I also, no, I did say that. I, I had the die rank go up by one, and then you got so big to the point where it is it is now two instead of one. It was 2d6. It's an extra dice, and it's a rank above. Okay. So if a, nor- a normal quarter staff is a d8, you currently do 2d10. Perfect. Uh, 15 to hit? 15 misses, unfortunately. Okay. I have a plus you, 11 to the, oh, that's a natural 20. Then. There you go. That's so, a 31 Same thing as Brynn, like Brynn like, like swings upwards yeah. and like it goes through it and you're starting to realize that like the hand is not the part you want to hit. There's some magical essence in it that you have to hit. So you sort of like, you swing and miss and then you like go forward and you go right into the center of it and you, like, you hit it and it's like, it's like, oh, like it goes inwards um, and you, you manage to hit it. So go ahead and roll damage. Okay, um, so 25 plus 7 is... Um, Are you hitting the red one? That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay. that one right there. That's fine. Uh, 25 plus 7 is, what, 30... Sorry, 32? 32? 32? That's just... That is just... Um, no worries. Uh, weapon damage. Right, because you roll... Well, that's... Yeah. Um, two, three, four. I'm just going to do first level smite. Go for it. That's an additional 17. Additional 17. You uh, go into this creature, and as you go into the hand and you just like stab it downwards, I almost flavor it as like you take your staff and you pin it down into the ground, and it like, it's going like this, and it is like dissipating. It is nearly dead. It is mortal. Good. Good. <clears throat> Stay down. Stay down. Um, Lazarus. Kazira, you're on deck. Uh, can you move me just to the left of Bryn? You got it? Sorry, I should have said, there you go. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Uh, and I guess I will attack the one that is, the, I guess the orange one. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, the first one, I'm going to use my planar warrior. And the second one I'll use, to, actually, I don't know if I get an option. Let's just, just, just do the rolls first. Da, 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 there we go. That will be that's a natural one, so no. Ooh. And then here's my second one. Uh, that's a natural two, so no. Uh, natural two. So you uh, and a couple more rolls, gun. I'll totally hit. <laughs> Which one are you shooting? Uh, I shot. I shot at the. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the orange one. The orange one. Um, uh, yeah, the first shot, uh, just right in the dead center. Mm-hmm. You're using the gun, right? No, I'm using my bow. The bow, <laughs> the arrow just sticks into the middle of it, and then the second one like, goes through the finger. Dang. <laughs> uh, how much damage? Did you hit, you hit with one of them, didn't you? I rolled a one, then I rolled a two. I thought you rolled a natural 20, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, you just completely yep. missed. Um, <clears throat> uh, I can put about fighting all his hands. Kazira. Uh, I'm gonna scoot along the ceiling okay. yeah, above that right. uh, that red one. Okay. Yeah. As soon as you enter, as well, you're no longer an, an unseen attacker. I'm, I'm chilling. Um, uh, I'll uh, I'll try to stab him. Hmm? Try to stab him. That little red one. How are you getting above him? Can I not crawl on the ceiling? You can. The ceiling's, the ceiling's like 30 feet. Feet, top, 30 uh, feet high. Yeah. Hmm. Then I will uh, do nothing. You do nothing. Uh, unless I crawl on emulation, which he wouldn't do, I cannot reach. There is one on the ground. When did it go on the ground? Uh, sorry, my fault. I, I had flavored it, and I'm, I'm letting it be on the ground. Emulation hit it so hard that she pinned it onto the ground. Oh, okay. So there's one currently just on the ground, so which is just five feet from, from uh, Immolation. Cool. So here? Yep. Yeah, there you go, yeah. A 21 and a 23. Both of those hit. Roll damage. Cool. 
you go over and where like immolation is holding it down, you're like, oh, that's where you hit. And you, just, you stab into it. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, both of uh, you, as you uh, take your sword and quickly slice into it twice, he watches the magic on it dissipates, and the hand disappears as if it was never there. Uh, Velen is going to kind of move up a little bit uh, into the front of the room right there, and she is right going... Right here or forward? Uh, right there is fine. Um, and, uh, well, no. Technically, she'd be right next to you, Brent, because I said it was in the floor, so she has to be right there. Um and she is going to, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, she's going to use, uh, she's gonna cast Chill Touch on the orange one. Can you remove the red one that's in front of um, uh, Immolation? Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna hit with a 21. She's gonna do 12 necrotic damage to the orange one. Uh, sorry, give me a second here, guys. And then she's going to use her bonus action to cast... What level spell is this? Is a, um, she will use the third level slot, and she will cast Magic Weapon. And she is going to cast that on, she would cast on you, Bryn, but your weapon is very magical. Um, so she will uh, cast on Kazir. Um, as a bonus okay. action, she goes over and she um, uh, she takes a, uh, you need to cast this. Oh, just vocal and somatic. She just um, utters these magical words and he watches your, your blade just sort of like, like glows a bit and strengthens um, in, in magical resolve. Your blade is currently plus two. Sheesh. Um, oh, damn, that's cool. And is magical for the purpose of overcoming uh, resistance. Um, all righty. Top of the round is Is red. that just a hit or is it also a good damage? It's a uh, hit and damage. <clears throat> all right. Um, I want to see what's up with this. With this. Emulation, you're on deck. I want to see what's up with this little like replica. Does it seem like it's like on, is it on the ground? No, it's on a pedestal. It's on Pedestals, a pedestal? Does it's it seem a, like it's like locked into range. the pedestal? Or? Uh, you can't tell. It's just sitting on the pedestal. It's thi like this big. Oh, it's small. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to, flavoring it as an attack, grab it with the whip and pull it towards me? Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Go ahead and roll uh, an attack roll. And I'll aim to make sure that I don't accidentally break it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> like, eh. Uh, 23. You whip it around, you're gonna pull it towards you? Yeah. Um, what, what do you do as it's flying towards you? You gonna grab it? Yeah, I'll kind of pull it towards and... As, as you, uh, you whip it, it flies towards you as you pull it off, and as it flies towards you, you grab it, and as soon as you grab it, in the back of the room, a uh, doorway oh. opens. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, that's a way to go. I don't, I don't know what I expected, to be honest yeah, that's with a way you. To get something. A magical portal open up at the back of the room. Oh. It's about, it is that big. That's cool. And it's... All right, it I'll use my These second... These spell effects are cool. I'll use my second attack to attack the uh, the orange one again. Okay, go for it. And just hold the thing in one hand. Uh, natural 20. Natural Ooh, 20 will cool. do it. Pew, pew. Sheesh. All, right. All the damage. <laughs> you not do double... I do. Six. Ten. Twelve. Whip a gun. Twenty-two. Yeah, that's an enemy, I think. Probably. Probably. Who? Who? Has, somebody has a whip gun. Twenty-seven damage. Look Twenty-seven damage. Whip to gun. the orange one. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh. Whoo. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it is. It is bloodied. As you go over towards it, you. You just whip into it once. Um, the magic on it sort of like shatters away from it, um, as they're barely still able to react. Um, immolation. Okay. Uh, did you run into the same issue I did, Craig? I typed in whip gun. Oh, uh, that's another natural twenty. Oh no! Wow, Sheesh. nice. Uh, which one are you hitting? I'm down by the I found nothing like that though. One. The blue one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought I thought, yeah. I thought that was maybe me or Ruby. All right. Uh, uh, roll so. roll big damage. One two. Big old three. damage. Oh, that's probably what you think. You're probably thinking of Ruby, the the sight yeah, gun. Yeah, I am. No, 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 I'm not. There's I've seen whip gun. Whip gun? That's a thing. Seven. I have no idea what I you're talking I've seen whip gun. I, I know something a little bit about whip gun. 25 plus. plus. I know sword gun. 
plus 24. Wow. Yeah. Three hit points. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that, though. You oh, just wait. Wait. Let whack me hit into it. it. It's looking let me bad. It. Let me hit it again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, no, we're going to get that's a... a natural one, so. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you wham hit it once, and then you're like, you're like, you, you feel good, and you're like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, the dice give it. Lazarus. Dice get dice taken away. away. Yeah, that's how it always is. Uh, I will try and do the same thing to the same one. Okay. Well, let's see if I get it. Go for it. And the first one will be a, a 15 to hit, which is a miss. Yep. And then something, a 22. That will though, hit. That one will hit. Yep. Uh, that one will get f- not favored foe. I'll leave because I have to hit it first. Mm. Uh, let me see. We'll check. Uh, not favored foe. I'm sorry. Um, what is that called? It'll get Planet Warrior. That's all that really matters. We'll do this one. Planet we'll Warrior. At, look at that later. Nine plus eight. So it'll do uh, 17 points of damage. Dead. You fire an arrow oh. into it and it like, and it dissipates. Goodbye. Uh, Kazira. Mm. Have a grenade or Are something. any of them on the ground? Uh, no. Well, Can I'll you remove wait. the orange one for me? Thank you. I'll wait till one's on the ground. Oh, you're going to ready until one's in range to do a melee attack? Yep. All right. Uh, Velen uh, looks over at the portal. She says, what if it closes? Oh, no. It's not going to. How do you know? Don't. Because it's not I'll going go through to. with you. There you uh, go. Pairs at least. Pairs at least. Uh, she's going to. <clears throat> she's going to walk over towards it. You can move her 30 feet towards it. She's not going to get in it, though. She's just going to get right next to it. Uh, I imagine she'd probably go like around the. No, they're 10 feet up. Oh, that's fair. Okay, true. Yeah, I guess they can't attack. Um, and then uh, she will turn around and shoot some. Whoa, did you break some? No, I think it just the uh, the little pieces that reach over mm-hmm. for the electrical outlets mm-hmm. uh, reach out a little bit, and I think my shoe got caught on it. She is going to it do some. She's going to cast the new spell that she learned from the uh, from the mm-hmm. the book. Uh, <laughs> not that book. The 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 um, the Code of Seal of White. Frost fingers. Frost fingers. Yep. Frost Kills out her fingers and <laughs> frost just begins frost to fingers. explode out of it. That, that spell is also. Renamed. It's called Frost Fingers. <laughs> That's it's what we it's called. Don't make fun of it. It's Frost Fingers. It's a God, serious don't spell. Make my, don't make fun of my Frost Fingers. We're casting big spells. Uh, the Big Beast hand gets a seven and a one. Um, and take, uh, she's gonna cast it first level. You're casting big spells. Um, and they're gonna take some six damage. Both of them take six damage. It's a cone of frost that comes out. And, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but that spell is also, uh, like, it came out with Icewind Dale. So it didn't what? even exist before this came out. Uh, the blue, one is, the blue one is dead. Blue one is Good. deceased. Blue one is gone. Deceased. Ex- dead. Communicado. And uh, <laughs> one of them finally gets a turn. No. no. Um, Terrible. Oh, God, because I forgot we rolled so high that we were stacked on the top of them for two rounds. Yeah. No. I forgot about that. Uh, that one is going to take its fist, and it's going to go directly over to Bryn, because you grabbed the thing, and it, it just goes zoop, and it plummets down as a fist directly into Bryn. Can I stab it as it goes along? Yes, you can. Cool. Perfect. Let's go. Um, AC 23, and not high enough to hit. Uh, a 23 will hit. Cool. Eleven damage. What's up? Eleven damage. Eleven. Okay. Um, and uh, it flies inwards. Kazir, you strike at it as it passes by you, um, and then it's going to uh, punch into you, Bryn, with a twenty-six. Uh, yeah. Uh, defensive duelist isn't going to do anything about that. Sorry. Uh, that's going to be twenty-three force damage. Oh as it oh. punches into you. Do I have the ability to have that? Is that a thing that I have? If yet? you're level six, I think. Rogue. rogue. Check and yes. see. No, my rogue's only level four. Uh, then no. Twenty-three. You said. Uh, I think. Twenty-three. What's it called? Uncanny and then dodge. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think Uncanny it's level dodge. Six. I think. 
I tank. I don't know for sure. Uh, bonus action disengage. I promise it's a promise. Might be level six. And I'll I'll pull seven. Uh, seven. I'll pull. Seven. You know what? It can I'll be pull five. Velen in with me. You both go into the portal. Uh, yes. I'm recognizing this might be a mistake, but I didn't consider it, so I, I didn't. So so uh, Brendan, think of it. I take the little model with me. I don't know if that does anything. Uh, nope. You go in, and uh, the two of you, uh, you, the I'm going to just shift to their perspective. You jump in, and you watch as they uh, step towards the portal. They don't just disappear. You watch as they're pulled inwards, and they like spaghettiify. Yeah. Go, <laughs> And like the portal still glowing there, it's, it's this kind of, sort of, kind of, of uh, kind of yellowy color. Uh, can you, can you go ahead and move them? Um, I, it, them off? I just have a question now, so that I don't have to keep asking it later. Yep. Just in the ethos. Uh, my interception. It says a creature other than me within five feet of you mm-hmm. of an attack. Is that because my range was five feet? Oh. Or it's Would okay if I, they have to be within five feet. Read it. Uh, when a creature you can see hits a target other than you within five feet of you with an attack, you can use a reaction to reduce the damage. Yeah, it's going to be five feet. Because sure. you could no have worries. a reach weapon. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. I had to um, ask. <clears throat> it's my job. Uh, let's see. Let's see. That's Bryn. Immolation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay where I am and hit this thing. Okay. Just over Kazira. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to having range. So. Uh, you don't have to take out that bow anymore. <laughs> really? No, you don't. That's another natural one. Ooh. Jeez. Oh. oh, but that's a 22 to hit. There you go. Don't do that. The amount of times you could have flipped your coin just now. <laughs> <laughs> if I had bothered yeah. to use it you at just all. Spam it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. 9 plus 7. 16. 16 of damage. 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 Bloodied. You put. You uh, hit it. Um, <clears throat> Lazarus. Uh, this thing's. Is this thing next to Kazira? Like five yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. I'm sorry. And can I? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move. That's fine. Yep. You're tall enough to stand over the pedestal as well. Perfect. Yeah. I'm just. Trying to it. Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. One oh, moment. Oh, with, with weapon attack. Okay. So instead, that's fine. I thought it was. A range weapon attack. I will just. Uh, you know, if I had a nickel for every time I had run a pre-written campaign, yeah. and in the uh, last, in the last area of the game, there was a character who could get really big, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. <laughs> it's it it not very much, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm getting Chena flashbacks oh, so no. bad. Except she wasn't permanent. She would just be get small and get big. <laughs> uh, I'm just this big all the time. I'm just like, all right, here's the encounter for Omu. Oh, and you're a fucking giant. Okay. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Is it a 16 hit? Nope. Okay. Sorry. Then, uh, what about 19? Unfortunately, that misses. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm hanging out. You go over towards it and uh, you just <laughs> try to stab into Natural it. Natural twenty might be the only just, way to hit it. It's like yeah. it's going like this, and then goes. It plucks my eyes. It, 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 and then it goes, ah. Ah. <laughs> no, it's grabbing me. Oh, it's it grabs grabbing you like this. me. Grabs you like that. Oh. Um. Because oh. you're. Uh, can I move to flank? Can I get ready? Keep moving. Like, yeah. Whoop. You, strangely, can flank this creature. <laughs> Doesn't have eyes. All hands. All hands. All hands. Oops, all hands. Oops, all hands. It it, it kind of is. It does have directional vision. No. So I have to pretend. Because it it doesn't say. It it just says it has dark vision. It's it's like this. It has like little muppet eyes on the It's immune to being blinded, but it has senses dark vision 60 feet. It doesn't have like blind sense. (laughs) I'm so confused. yeah. Exactly like that. I thought about that. When I read this here, I thought about that for like 15 minutes. I'm like, how how does it see? I, so I, have to, I just know? have to pretend that it has a magical eye on its palm that you oh. can't m- m- blind. That's kind of neat. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Which is why I was like, they're standing like this so they can see everything that comes in. It's the dumbest shit. All right, sorry. Give me one second. It's no like worries. Pan's Labyrinth, that guy. With oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. No, it's like Ubi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Tom's on to that. Yeah. I'll take this that. one's gonna go like Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Stop doing that. It makes me sad. Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it gouged my fucking you know eyes out. 
<laughs> it took my fucking eyes. Oh, wait, no. I have the plus two from Velen, right? Yes. 21. Hit! The other one Hell does not yeah. hit. Oh. It's Poop. too low. Um, These hands are those hands that I know that uh, certain people like. 12. They're kind of veiny. Well, I don't know who that would be. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know who that would be. A veiny hand be at all. grabs you. Yeah. <laughs> Because his hands are all looking off uh, a little off masculine presenting. Yeah, luckily okay. Velen is he still concentrating. Oh, good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not dead. Uh, would you, uh, What's all these how much damage? Twelve. Twelve. <clears throat> okay. You stab it. And it's looking mortal. Good. It's Velen's turn. <laughs> it's the it's the hand's turn. Ah. Uh, the hand is uh, going to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. grab Kazira. Give me a little uh -oh. pat on the back. Yeah. Roll the dexterity saving throw. Oh, uh, I'm not very good at those. Little kiss. Little, was, oh, oh, hey, but a uh, plus four. Oh, so sweet. Oh my God, your aura. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. It like goes over to grab you, and you're just like, Bleh! and you just move out of the way. It does not grab you. Um, and immolation. I I hit. Please do this. Don't I only do one it. thing it's to kill. I'm a killer now. <laughs> the skin of a killer, Bella. That's a fourteen. That's not going to be enough My to kill. My sister just sent me a picture of uh, Marcy. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Is she she's okay? She's something. <laughs> yeah, she, she, uh, sorry, guys. She's like this. Can... Oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like... <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, 25 to hit. Hit. AC 20. Perfect. Yeah, you were like 15, and I was like, I'm sure that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 to hit. Dead. How do you kill it? Uh, I just pinned this one to the ground, too, in front of the zero. <laughs> Turns into dust. Shit. Absolutely gone. Ooh. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, for you. I we are going to go into a little bit of a weird thing here where we're uh -huh. kind of going to go back and forth. Oops. Oh. So <laughs> before we decide, because this is different than this, uh, right. what are you three destroy all of the Bigby's hands. Yes. What are you doing? Going to the portal. Yes, we'll walk you to the portal. walk over towards it. Am it I? is swirling and shimmering in front of you. It looks like... Um, it's like it's like a golden sort of color. It's sort of sparkly a little bit as it swirls before you. Pick up Kazir and chuck him through. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, I guess I go. I go in. You step forward. What do you go? Foot first, hand first, face first. If, my, I mean, my feet. Oh, um, <laughs> you, <laughs> put your, you put your toe in first. <laughs> yeah. As you touch your toe in, because you're hesitantly like, I guess I'll. You guys watch as he's like sucked inwards and just like. Stop! Oh, and he cool. makes that noise. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess you're up next. I'm gonna do a backflip at it. <laughs> <laughs> you backflip into it and like you're, you're upside down as you go into it, and Lazarus is kind of like, he like hits it, like, like oh, splats no. into it, but like. And he's like. Bleh! Ew. I'm gonna, You're gonna show up on the other side upside down. I have no idea <laughs> oh, what size of the room I'm gonna back. be going into. Okay. So I crunch myself down first. That's crunch right. yourself down. You army crawl like, into it. Like, 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 army crawl. <laughs> and you sort of like put your shoulder in first. Yeah. And as you're the last one through this perspective, yeah. you push inwards and like it envelops all of you <laughs> and you feel your body begin to stretch and the world warps around you. You feel like you're upside down, forward, backwards, like you're spinning through like a water current until eventually it all ceases and you land on the floor. As you land, you can feel multiple creatures <laughs> underneath you as you land <laughs> downwards. Who are just like, <laughs> I probably should have gotten through first. We're going to cut there and we're going to back time up. Perfect. Oh, because we would have done something while. You, you and, uh, and uh, Velen uh, both jump into the portal at the same time. Same with both of you. The world around you shifts and spins and you uh, feel like you're tumbling and hurtling until uh, you both fall onto a ground. A solid surface underneath that's, you. That's nice. It doesn't hurt when you fall, but it, uh, you can feel a bit of uh, wood underneath you. So it's a wooded area. Yeah, and uh, you there's this horrible smell, like cooking meats. Like meat smell is typically pretty nice. It's it's like food. It comes, it's comforting. Uh, hang on, 
but it, this is just your immediate senses. But okay. it's sort of like a, it's like it's like sour. It smells kind of gross and um, uh, uh, strange. And as you uh, look around, um, you uh, appear to be in some sort of like a, a small hut. Um, like a small enclosed room, um, wooden walls. There is a, a chandelier hanging above you that has a candlelight above them with wax. It's been dripping down for what looks like a long, long time. Velen is right next to you, and as you look behind you, the, the, the portal is still glimmering behind okay. you. Um, <clears throat> but there are also three creatures in this room. Three old-looking women who look down towards you. Long horns, long gray hair. Uh, they have deep purple skin as well. One of them sort of taller um, uh, with, uh, with yellow eyes. Another one more squat and uh, uh, pudgier with like long braids. And the other one with uh, ragged sort of greenish hair, deep purple skin still, much taller than the other three. Um, the, the other two are sort of tending to like a cauldron, which this smell emanates from. Um, but the rest of them... Uh, 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 the the other two, uh, the the one sort of like peers down towards you and looks and a bit of smile sort of comes across her face. You see pots and pans and candles and and jars of things everywhere, but you do not see what looks like an exit to this place. Besides it's just con a confined uh, uh, like square room, um, uh, just covered with wood. And these three individuals look down at you, Velen sort of silent as she looks down. And she says, "What do we have here?" Guess my, my, my! She gets closer towards you and peers down. Her, um... Can uh, I step, kind of like sidestep the portal? Because I, I do know that uh, that my friends are probably going to be coming soon, and I don't want to just... So you stand <laughs> up. You're I'm, yeah. Currently, I'm imagining, like, on the oh, ground, you've all no, taken this yeah, in immediately. I would step up. Would step um, up you, you step up, and as you step up, she sort of, like, steps up to, like, look at you um, as she kind of turns her head and sort of peers inwards as Velen sort of kind of stays on the ground and then sort of realizes that you've stood up and then she sort of stands up um, and the other two in the cauldron sort of like... I will I will position myself <laughs> to be ahead of Velen, to be in front of Velen. Right. Um, and uh, 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 this uh, old woman sort of goes over to you. Two skulls down on her side sort of clack together mm -hmm. as she looks at you um, and she says, Where might this curiosity spawn from? And the other two sort of... <laughs> <clears throat> I heard that an acquaintance of mine had come by. An acquaintance of yours? You are not the first visitor we have had today. No, no. So I've heard. No, no, sisters. You sort of, Jesus Christ, chill the fuck out. Um, uh, and she sort of... <laughs> She looks over at each of you. She goes over towards Velen and she like grabs her face. Who's just like, Ugh. she's very, very uh, uncomfortable. And she just says, you're looking more like us. You on the other hand, she throws it to the other, uh, to the side. She says, much more ripe for the picking. As you begin to speak to her and you begin to look around the room, you <laughs> notice that there is what looks like a bit of text and writing. Mm -hmm. engraved on the wall behind her. Can I tell what it's well, like? There's like stuff all over the wall, but there's like a clear part. Do you speak Draconic? I don't think so. You know that it's Draconic, but you do not know what it says. Let me check. Let me confirm. I do not. Okay. <clears throat> um, and she uh, then uh, uh, looks at you, um, and she looks behind, and then she looks back, you and she in says, deals, right? E3. You come from the ancient nethery city. Well, kind of. She comes up towards you. Does she look at the at the draconic? She kind of like looks back and looks back at you, yeah. Did, okay. And then uh, you watch as she begins to hold her finger out towards you, as if to like touch like your head. I'm just going to put one finger up. You put one finger up. She says, yeah. as she's doing it, she says, will you be joining us for dinner? <laughs> Depends how esteemed a guest I'll be. <laughs> Kazira <laughs> appears in the room. You see the same thing. Uh, she I step away. <laughs> you step away. Um, as uh, 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 as uh, you see the, these three old women, um, this like uh, 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 it looks like like just like a hut interior, but with no exits or entrances. Um, and you look around and you see Bryn is currently talking to one of these what you know as a night hag. 
<laughs> who then turns and says, more friends. Yep. Yep. Got more coming. I, uh, you might want to step away from up. the portal. I'm just going <laughs> to uh, let you know that now. Take that as a free bit of advice. <laughs> Lazarus appears and falls on his ass. <laughs> on his back. <laughs> yes. You definitely oh. want to step away from the down. <laughs> and then out of the room. <laughs> there, is, there is no appeal. She's the entire room. Oh, Emilation God. appears and, and you hear the hags like, <laughs> as like She like nearly crushes all of them yeah. downwards as you are just this enormous being in this small, tiny room with uh, Kazira, you are currently underneath Immolation. Uh, Lazarus, you barely had time to get up. You're just immediately crushed. Um, uh, Bryn, you sort of put Pushed to the back, but you're squished up against the wall. Um, Velen is currently like <laughs> under your foot. I as told she's in you the back. this was a bad idea. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a bad time to tell people I'm claustrophobic. Um. A head, a hag's head comes out um, and just says, "What madness!" She's gonna reach out. Can and you grab fix the hag. this? You grab her. Yeah, I just grab. You the grab hag. her. And she's. Ah! No! You pick her up and you hold her over oh. towards you, oh. and she says, "Put me down." Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm. I, I don't know where to put you per se. You. You. Wah, you. Can you make the room any bigger? Can you make yourself smaller? <clears throat> right now, no. Okay. You know what? Can I you can, fix this? I, I look up at the hag. I can. I can. I can leave too. She looks around as you say that. She sort of calms down for a moment as you're just holding her, and she just says, "We could." I'm not not for a deal. The deal that you're getting is that your hut isn't being destroyed anymore. <laughs> you hear the other two. I, I use. I have actor. <laughs> so I have actor. I have not gotten to use this this entire time. I'll replicate the laugh. Oh fuck! You just laugh back at them, and they sort of like they, it surprises them for a moment, and they sort of wait as you do it. And they and then they just sort of waited out and, the, and, and she, she looks just at me. Smiles. I just, I just, I, I just look at her and I just wink. Wink, wink. Yeah, as you're just holding her in her hands, she uh, says, "I'm gonna start unearthing people." Actually, I'm just yeah, gonna yeah. put them on my like lap. I guess oh, you get a Lazarus out, but you like his arms stuck underneath you still. I'm sorry, that's fine. <laughs> Um, and as you sort of begin to put them down and sort of like begin to get into a point where you're not like on top of everybody. <laughs> you're like sitting in the corner. <laughs> the other uh, the other hags sort of like gather up together as the three of them look over, one of them carrying like a big spoon that is like <laughs> sort of falling off the bottom of it. Um, and she says, you've been cursed? No. <laughs> uh, te technically, no. No. It's more of like a blessing, yeah, but it's yeah. kind of it, it's, it's both. To be honest, honest, if she likes it, it's fine. I I yeah. have I have a way to remove it. It's fine. You do? I'm a paladin. Why haven't you? Because she likes it. Well, and because I had just slept. Who wouldn't like being in this, this big, big and squashing people? Do you know where I was? <laughs> you, you should write a recommendation of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How long? How long? Only for like. You, they can still hear you. Just, 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 you just, just sound just, like you're just, at the just, bottom of a well. Just exactly that. That sentence. Mm -hmm. um, the the like, three oh, hags yeah. begin to look yeah. around oh, yeah. and they say, "Will you be joining us for dinner?" What's the cost? What does it cost? One of them steps forward and says, "The cost." My dear. And the other one sort of surrounds around you as well. And she just says, you will be joining us for dinner. And the three of them look around you. And one of them sort of like, sort of licks their, like, uh, a fanged teeth. Joining for becoming. <laughs> and then one of them gets real, real close to you. And she just says, unless you'd like to leave this place. Huh? Oh, the Zod's on that? <laughs> what will that cost? <clears throat> She sort of steps back and she says, not much, just one tiny memory plucked from your mind. Is that right? Do we Unless you think you can contend with her coven, which none have. I mean, she did just almost squish, you. squish the three of you to death squish. without even trying. You. Very consider. humorous. Yes. <laughs> Not impossible. Uh. So you guys deal in memories? Not in, like, flesh? 
One of them sort of walks over um, and goes over towards you and she says, we have no need for such cruel matters. She goes over to you and pinches your arm. <laughs> kind of like Yoda when he says, not this cruel matter, but she does it as a hag. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda's still worse. Um, exactly. yeah, and yeah, she yeah. goes over and she says, your memories, your dreams, what makes you you? That sounds like a lot more than one one small thing. And she goes over and she takes her hand and she like runs it down yours towards your uh, towards your elbow and she like grabs it and she says, "I'm anti pinch." Pinch. This is anti plunder. And anti pillage. <laughs> what did I you? I feel like uh, you got the bad end of that deal. What did you take from our acquaintance? Plunder, much cool. What memory? If you That's have none it, of your know. concern. Do we get to decide? It helps us know. It helps us know how good the deal is. Our you deep. seem to think you are in a place of power here, but let me let, let me tell you. You're in our home. You we decide if you leave. Do not try to bargain. We have given you our terms. You opened the discussion. You invaded our home. Now unless you'd like to join us for dinner. You did open the door for us. It would be That's impolite for us not to. The shorter one sort of steps up and she says, We never open that door! Oh. What about this? I can promise you that no uninvited guests will return. Hmm. No more guests to worry about. You can bring them in at your own leisure if you let us go. We are not one to host guests. Then all the better that you don't get these unexpected ones. How would you do such a thing? This seems to be how people have been coming in. And I hold up the thing. Is that so? It is. I touched it and the portal opened. I'll give you this. You don't take our memories. You walk right out. Oh. I see. Hmm. Hmm. And then no more uninvited guests while you're feasting on Dazan's memory. Um, they turn and look at one another, and uh, uh, she says, with so many of you making your way into this place, you may buy your freedom with such an offer. Alone. The rest of you. It's only one memory. No, absolutely not. Because here it is. <coughs> yeah. How big of it? How big of trouble are we in if we fight these guys? Uh, <laughs> roll. What's my uh, what's my uh, danger meter at here? <laughs> yeah. Danger meter at? Is it at like a like a Dang. nineteen or like a seven or like? What's a, a Defcon at? What's your what's what's the some might call it a CR? You could <laughs> CR roll a. Actually, challenge rating is bullshit, anyways. So. Arcana or history. Plus our coven, so the higher. Yeah, that's true. Do I have advantage? Uh, they, the have they have coven fiends? actions. Yes. Lure actions. Yep. What if we check one of them through the portal? Yeah, we're only we're not. That'd be funny. Like <laughs> like we're not super weak, but we're not super strong 18. right now. Um. Hmm. Uh, Dangerous. Uh, you know that these hags can do what, an ability similar to what you can do. They can enter the ethereal plane at will, which is why they're there. You already know why their hut is here. They they don't need it. This is an extra dimensional space. They can go into the ethereal plane and go wherever they want, mm -hmm. and that's likely what they do. This is just their base of operations, um, and you know that the three of, uh, one of them. You're pretty tough. You think you could take one of them. The group of you could easily. Mm -hmm. Three of them, you're not sure. You know that they have the ability to cast spells. You know that they, um, as, a, as a coven, are much stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, with three of them, they have shared spell casting that grants them up to sixth level spells. They have an incredible amount of power being together. Not only that, but they likely have uh, uh, in their possession, being a coven, uh, a... Um, Sorry, one second. Um, a, um, you have a thought. They have a thing. They have a hag eye. Yeah. And they also have a heart. They have a heartstone and a soul bag. Mm. 
They got some cool shit. Um, where, where is Zero Fawn? A Hearthstone right is a black gem that allows a Night Hag to see into the Ethereal while it's in her possession. So you know that if they're a coven and they're a coven of Night Hags, your Etherealness just is is useless. They can they can see into it. Um, and a Soul Bag is that whenever um, these these Hags have the ability to invade dreams, mm -hmm. and if they kill somebody while they're invading their dream, their your soul goes into their Soul Bag. Hmm. Wait, wait, zero fun you right die in your dream, you die in real life? Yeah. No. As you say that, you look around, he never entered the tower. The other day, so that's, right. oh. that's fair. Well, um, not great. How is, what is, okay. what, how is Velen looking? Velen's looking at you guys. Oh. She, she's actually waiting on Bryn saying, you think we're going to trick these guys? And Kazira says, Kazira said, not a great chance, <laughs> effectively. Felon says, can we choose the memory? And the hags, uh, they, uh, they sort of, they, they smirk, and uh, Auntie Pinch sort of, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the no-go, absolutely yeah. not. Mm, okay, okay, okay. If death is what you prefer, It's, it's my, so I'm going to open it up this way. My companions have nothing to do with entering this. They came in following me. That's my fault. If you'll allow with this trinket, three memories from me, and they go. Deal. I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't like that idea. either. I just want to uh, remind you about the song in this moment. She holds out her hand towards you. Woke <laughs> up in a very altered state. What no, you, not what, hang what, on. What are you two doing? I mean, hang on for you as a okay. person. Like this is happening Yeah, as... yeah, yeah to you as Colton, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I mean... Immolation is always down to throw down, but if our resident monster expert Chicken, is Can like, you remind me what type of hag uh, chisel bone was? The here. Was her name chisel bone? Yes. That was a was year it, ago. Was she a, was she a, wasn't she a green hag? I don't remember what type uh, of She's a sea hag. The sea sea hag. Okay. Look, look, you guys gave me a chance to become myself. I'm not going to let them take away you. Right. If we just take away them. I don't right. trust that if Kazira doesn't. It's like a toss up, right? This is the first time Kazira yeah, has but... given us that when it comes to fighting something. All right, Velen. Hello. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, what is the first one? The first, first, one is the like first ones we sacrifice poor old <laughs> Bryn here. Actually, there's a role for this. Roll insight. Roll insight. Roll insight. Oh, I'm terrible at. Oh, that. there is a role for that. You're yeah. right. Mm -hmm. That you can use it in the player's handbook. It says you can attempt to communicate with uh, okay. with your companions uh, without speaking by rolling. Insight. I think it's an intelligence check. Is it intelligence? I think it's an intelligence check to like for language. You oh, can try oh, to yeah, discern what they're trying to tell you. Can I also interpret you? this? Yep. Yeah. Can I have advantage because that thief's no. Uh, dirty 20. Hmm? 13. What's yes and what's no? Uh, one is sacrifice for Two is we kill, kill these fucking bags. <laughs> hey, you guys know that. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Do you want to roll? Sure. You roll, yeah. roll. I was going to say, everyone should hopefully. Do I roll intelligence or insight? <laughs> it's like, can you just imagine? Because you're going to be like, I don't know. <laughs> just a number. 14. Okay, you know. Okay. okay. I'm going to go. Hang on, man. Hang on, hang on. Real fast. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. One, two. Oh, wait. I forgot. First one, sacrifice Brent. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> now you're trying to remember yeah. your own So I have to roll for my own self. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Felon? The hags are like looking and they're just like, what? Are you deciding? And Felon's like, I don't know which one is which. Felon? <laughs> Felon, throw it. Trust throw the hand. Throw the sign. Trust me. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody roll persuasion. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. 
I'm terrible at persuasion. <laughs> me, me and you are about the same over uh, here. Can I? No, that, that's cheap. Never mind. I might need my device. Oh! 15. 24. 17. 18. 15. She's looking around at all of you as the hags are increasingly getting more and more anxious and like, what are you doing? And she just... Ah! All right. Munch up. Can I hold the thing up? Oh, yeah. Oh, the, to the hag? To the hag. Immediately. She grabs your hand and you watch as all of your friends <laughs> disappear. Oh. You guys <laughs> appear back in that room. Oh. Um, Bell and two? Yes. Oh, and yeah. Good. <laughs> I was making sure. That's where we're going to go and break. So we will be back in a few minutes yep. uh, with holy fuck, what the fuck is going on? Um, but before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to our patrons who are supporting us over on patreon.com slash arcade. You guys are so sick. Yes. You are supporting us even though we weren't fucking streaming at all. What are you guys, cool or something? Fucking awesome. So awesome. I want to give a big shout out to Chin, Nos, Skyer, Dubmill, Augusta Ada, King Countess of Lovelace, Small Town Eye Care, Beanus, Barden, but oh no, the new art is hot and cool, but there was no life ping. Can't believe this. Oh, Majestic Whalecorn, I do be peeping, Cyber Reptar 13, Pimp the Hood, Ajax and the Cult of Kurt fan club, Mama Love and Papa Joy, John Hunter, Duncan York, Dormammu wishes to know when the evil Sir Nominous adventure will be coming. Also, welcome back. Josh Travis, Fear of Owl, Fallen Order, had a character named Grease, finished the joke. A Nigerian prince, only no one answers my emails, so I must instead oh. spread my wealth through Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Time, so Red sweet. Storm, Roar and Verlaine, K. Zachary Neese, The Diabetes, Notorious Thief Supra Ultra, Amazingly Awesome, Protected Tub Full of Icy Men Naked, Thorin Schmidt, I've watched the first five Tesseract episodes. I'm switching to Dragon Eyes. <laughs> Reptilian Daedra, how are you guys doing today? Good. One, two, three, four, I declare Thumb War, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> Casting Smite will win debate. You know, I don't know how I'm doing anymore. Jesus H. Crust, Big Hoss, Argus Fallen, Shark and John visiting D&D movie locations in Icewind Dale before it's even out, Abraham Guy Dell, Abraham Guy Dull, as in Guy and Dull, and more, way more importantly, oh my goodness, hi Marceline, we are all so happy to meet you, Copper Hide Wolf, uh, Gravity is the best defibrillator, I stand Kazira because he's a spooky vampire boy and I think that's, <laughs> that's neat. neat, Chris okay. G, probably too late to make, uh, to make the break, but at hospital with my wife and secondborn, yep. both are great. Good. Alice Lilybottom, hi, the Pinky Life, Ethan Collins, if you read this, you're gay, <laughs> Mystical <laughs> Combat, Angriest God. Bird God, Zach has 99 caps, but it's only one load, Mimi H, Bob said hi, you made his name overly long oh, to make the cast reading for no reason other than his own amusement, Chris Cliff, Certified Chalky Milk Addict, <laughs> uh, Pure Osmium, yes, Tom Michael, Rodo Baggins, Red Beard, <laughs> Muriel Stahl, Jenk Pinkerton, thanks guys so much, we'll see you in a few minutes.
Hi, we back. All right, so. They took my hat. <laughs> they took my fucking eyes. Yeah, they took, took my fucking eyes. Who took your hat? The hag. <gasps> How could they? They took your hat? I think it's right there. Know, they, right? They, they exchanged our love for Beatles and Grimm? <laughs> for, no. 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 I like how quickly you claim that, though. Yeah. You're just like me? I did. I did. Oh, that's Look, okay. anything that's negative, mm -hmm. it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, left off with you guys. Speaking to the hags, making a deal, voting. Lazarus and uh, and Immolation not being very happy with the vote because Velen didn't know what was going on. That's right. Um, That's right. <laughs> in the end, trusted Bryn and we're, Kazira. We are uh -huh. democracy. Yeah. That's how it works. Um, Look, as soon as it was us two, I was like, she's not voting with me. It's fine. <laughs> we were talking about that in the car, actually, on the way back from dropping off the baby, um, about how many, if we, if she has Stardew hearts, yeah. like to, at heart, which one does she have for each party member? And it's just funny. What the answer was to that, and I was just well, like, "Oh yeah, well." Mm. Malicia has minus one. You have two. No, that's sweet. That's something. And not minus one. No, two it is zero <laughs> for a while, and then it maybe got up to two because you've had some nice conversations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, um, <laughs> four, two. When you gave her those books and that gold, oh. four. <laughs> Nobody's got above four though. <laughs> it's your birthday. Unfortunately, she's not a marriage candidate, so you oh. can only max to ten. That, that's fun. Yeah. That's ten. But four and Jeez, one. That's a lot of work. Is bigger than two, two. and two. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so. Fuck that. It's a lot of work. Anyways, um, what about now that he's got that that sexy jaw and everything? Yeah, I'm like. Is it five? Whoa. Mm -hmm. No. No. Like Velen. <laughs> Careful, Velen. Velen's Villain. been a necromancer the whole time and just thinks you're very weird. Uh, <laughs> you know how, uh, you know how like uh, Vax catches Keyleth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, Velen, <laughs> don't worry about it. They both blush. She's gonna be like, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> you're undead, but you don't listen you're to me. You have such a beautiful eye. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, the portal 
disappears. Oh. And you guys watch uh, just before, sorry, just before it disappears. <laughs> you like, guys uh -oh. watch as Bryn <laughs> falls out of it. Okay. The portal then <laughs> disappears behind you. Okay, do you know who we are? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but who are we? She could have just. Kazir. <laughs> no, 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 no. God no, no, damn it. No. Don't try to play games. No, no, no. <laughs> Divilation, Kazir, Lazarus, Velen. I actually don't feel like I lost anything. It's weird. Well, I door. mean, you don't yeah, remember yeah. what you, you lost. You don't know what you lost. Yeah. Hmm. True. <clears throat> Anybody see that writing on the inside? I did. Uh, well, I mean, if I did, I, I know it. I don't know what it said. <laughs> I do know what it said. What is it? Oh, good. I speak Draconic. <laughs> same. <laughs> same. A heart. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured as much since LaRoss is written with a Draconic script. Mm -hmm. Obvi. Oh, that makes Obvi. sense. Obvi. Yeah. Obvi. That's why it's so hard. Yeah. For me. Totally I knew, knew that you one. Know, yeah. You know, Bellin, I know those really nice, like, uh, diner down the street in the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think the food's very good anymore. <laughs> it's magic, Bellin. That never oak or whatever is still good. What did it say? It said... Um, Damn, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> it said... It, it, it said second... Summon a flame in the palm of your hand. Huh. Okay. Second. Like sec second, summon a flame in the palm of your hand. Huh. I think it's the second thing you have to do in the rite of the Arcane Octet. Oh. oh mm, you're that's really important. You're incredibly smart, though. God, Velen. Smartest member of the party, maybe. Sheesh. I wouldn't I'm go that far. Write that down. That's important. Oh, okay. okay. I like having that Where title. Where am I put that? That's fair. Right here. Was it the ritual? But then the again, I can't cast spells. Yeah, I can't do that. Second, summon a flame in the palm of your hand. No, so what's it? The ritual, the ritual of the what? The octet. The arcane She's octet. She's so Um. Can you summon maybe. a flame in the middle of your palm? Octet. Palm of your hand. She would, she would know immediately. Jacob has to look. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, is that what I know? She says, uh, no. There's some sort of summon a flame. What's it say again? Summon, summon, a, summon flame a second. In the palm summon of your a flame hand. in the palm of your hand. What if we get kneecapped because none of us are wizards? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I figured that's why you need me. But um, there are many things we need you for. Exactly. I'm not supposed to do these things. Do you remember when I found you guys in the. Um, in the uh, dwarven fortress. No. When we let you out. You don't. She wasn't there. I, wasn't I found you. I got out. Found you. Well, you wouldn't have got out without our help, but yes. That's when I knew you were capable. Yes. And we learned that you were capable about uh, ten hours later. <laughs> you made me like fly and stuff, and you were shooting you spells. And you, oh right, you, sorry. You, they t oh, they replaced Alinstra with you. No, no, no. You oh, you try to bring Alinstra back, which we still very much appreciate. Yes. Yeah. Just sometimes those things don't work. We didn't replace. I you? thought about not killing the drow. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was the one that thought about that. None of you did. <laughs> well. Valid. We did let one leave. I mean, we went across, we didn't let both leave, and then the one we let go yeah. shot the other one, so that's kind of not on any of us. Oh. Yikes. That one that you cut the head off, though, that, that's definitely on us. But you had no connection. And I think a lynchster would have killed them anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it means a lot that you held your hand because of a lynchster. Also, I don't know what the the ghost of Alinstra is saying she totally liked dragons just saying she had a she dragon did. thing she had a dragon, she had a dragon thing all right she had, just was a dragon thing i remember that much i think what, what type of thing I, the other ones have I think spider she served things a dragon. she has a uh, dragon thing i think she served a dragon that was smoking somewhat she, she spewed smoke everywhere it was shadow i don't know she, she really talk about it a lot no she was she, oh. she Alinstra would never vape <laughs> Don't that. you dare disgrace <laughs> her! Like, she would never. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Leave those no, fucking incest be, boots be, on her be, body. Be those <laughs> long suits. <laughs> oh, the. She drank wine at most. Yes. yes. You guys great. had a hookah. 
We did have a well, hookah. Well, we didn't use the hookah. We sold it to, to, to... When I first found you guys in that Dwarven Fortress, you were just four lost little adventurers with a hookah. We were. We were. And some sandals. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And some sandals. d Gort changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Really. I mean, that, that money you have is probably from selling the hookah. It probably. Yeah, that hookah paid for your spell book. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Summon a flame in the palm of your hand. Okay. The, <laughs> oh, that illustrious hookah. I don't think I can do that, but I guess I should check, huh? Sorry, That's I keep remembering based. that if I summon uh, Billy. He's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Maybe. I can't do any of that. Yeah. I got If none of us can do it, maybe we can do it the old-fashioned way and, like, spark something in our hands. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. I can start a fire. We yeah, should probably same. find out what's first, though. I don't like fire, though. I can put it in my hand. Your hands don't feel, so... I imagine we need to explore more. <laughs> yeah, can I see <laughs> the Minus map one heart. Again? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Can I see the map again? We need the map. a cold dead moss. Oh. You know what? <laughs> you have it. I have the map. Um, map. I have the ability. Is that... Is Xerophon with us? No. No. We should, we should go he down. Dipped? Can we go? Can we go down to the base of the tower? Apparently, he never entered the tower. Oh. Can I go look? Remember when he entered the tower and I said the five of you go up? No, I don't know. I, I said that. I'm just saying <laughs> I he never went in. Well. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. I didn't like him anyway. Um, okay, so we're here, right? Uh, yeah. No. We're in we're, the we're yellow tower. Eighth one. It's no. behind it. Oh, yeah, that's one. Thing. That's sorry. where you are. What is this one? That, oh. That's that crazy thing we passed. I the have a theory. Okay. In these towers or the... Arcane Octed. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We've got the second one. Yes. yes. Yep. There could be a number of steps to it. Uh -huh. I could theorize it could be eight. I think uh, so, Eight too. schools of magic. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one, Conjuration. Conjure flame. Okay. Right. Makes Conjure sense. flame in the palm of your hand. We went through a portal. Uh-huh. I think the other towers symbolizing the different schools of magic are going to have similar themes and could tell us the the right of the arcane content. Okay, so what are the schools of magic again? <laughs> oh, the schools of magic? Abjuration, conjuration, Abjuration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation, illusion, necromancy, and transmutation. Wow. Those ones. That answered a question for me too. Conjuration's the second one. Right. If you alphabetize them? Indeed. Mm. Yeah. I see. You are So the first one's probably abjuration. That's the one we should go see next. Hmm. Oh, is that blue? Not blue. Wait, are there multiple colored? Are there? Yeah, are there colors? Uh, mm. Colors associated with the song? Yes. Magic Divination's orange? blue. Uh, you, what color no. is conjuration? You don't, you don't know. <laughs> does, does, was, does she know? Does Valen know? That was, that was a question. I don't. Is wizard lady? I, I, <laughs> there's not colors associated. There's, it's not. It, it's a very complicated art that is written in a language that has to be translated over and over again for many wizard discoveries. It's not got color colors. associated I with it. I pull my prayer colors. book it, and it's all color coded. <laughs> well, of course. That's, uh, you, you worship the divine. It's just as easy as going, oh, yeah. yes, please. Just as easy. Just as easy. You're right. So how do you tell when, when, you, when you can tell something's magical? How do you tell what type of magic it is? I always just assumed you saw like a color or something. Mm, yeah. Is it, is it like a script? It's... <laughs> Green, if I could attempt to describe this to you in a way that I would... Please, please. Do. I have my listening ears on. I got my peeping eye on. <laughs> Let's go to the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify real fast, Jacob. Is that also one? Is this, is this one too? It's kind of hard to tell what the fuck these towers are. Is that a tower? Does it look like a tower? To be honest, these all kind of like, like towers. Like, 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 is yeah. this like this? Is this distinct from this? That's what. Is this also a tower? Give, give, one second. Is this a? I can't see the map very well, or is this? No, I need like like these are distinct yeah, different they're towers. There's so so th this towers. is also a thing that has like yeah. that light. Okay, so this yeah. one, that one, this two one, little towers. that one, this one, this one, this one, that one. Is this considered Maybe a tower? Maybe this red one. This eight. one has red. Okay. Or is that just red one over here too? Oh. Also, this one has like a little logo on it. Because I was thinking we should, we should yeah, go back. That's what I'm saying. This one also what, what, kind of has a logo on it. Hey, what is this logo? And I point to the little logo on the... Oh, shit. They do have logos on uh -huh. On the blue one. Oh. Enhance. Uh, sorry? Yeah. Enhance. 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 En
There's a little logo at I'm the top peeping. of the blue at the top of the blue tower. And also on the this this. Yellow. Does that mean anything? It is a horseshoe save a shaped window. A horseshoe. Uh, Damn it! What I was about, hoping, okay, what about I was hoping it was one? a school of magic. No. Uh, what about this yellow I think one? Hmm. The yellow one? Yeah, I was hoping that these looked like the like schools of magic like? or some shit. Because they, they have shapes associated horse with them, magic. right? But oh, that's like a horse girl. True. Except, yeah, I see. Transmutation. Turns no, you into a horse. you're right. Ooh. You're right. Um, the it, the the shape Ooh. the the as you well, you guys are currently in the tower. Yeah. Well, you I don't see. have this map. Right. That's fair. Okay. Oh, we yeah. we <laughs> we do remember that there. I there thought we wait, wait, wait. So let's do this. Didn't we you get? Guys, did you we guys, not get a map from no. the one dude? No. You guys head down. He's naked. Why did I think that we got? You yeah, much nothing. I gave you a map, but it's just for, for well, your perspective. I, I, for some reason, I thought that the, the characters got a map at the end no, of last game. No, he said that he could take us. When places. you guys so, head down uh, at the bottom of the tower, yeah. and um, you see uh, Xenophar uh, sitting on the ground, cross-legged, huh. uh, currently picking his teeth as he looks up at you guys. Uh, you look around, you can see the different towers. Yeah. Um, now, they, they kind of stand out as you notice them. And as you look over at some of them, um, uh, Avelin goes, huh. The windows are in the shape of the sigil for the School of Magic. Love that. She looks up at the top of this one, and it has like this upside down V sort of shape. She says that's conjuration. The blue one is abjuration. The, all right. Okay, yes, they have colors. <laughs> She's going to hold up her prayer book again. I, knew it. I can't I knew see it. the rest of them, but, 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 but yes, yeah. the ab abjuration is blue. Well, let's and go to abjuration, because I think that's the first one, right? Is this one over here? Is that a symbol, or is that is just that a, a glowing tower? I'm going to say you guys can't see that far. Okay. That's fine. Then I think we'd go to the blue can one. Go if to we the blue one. Blue one is. Okay, can we do, but can we do like a history well, check you know what, or something? Actually, since we were over there? Sure. You know what? I will... You're, you guys are talking about the one way off in the corner. I mean, could, the top left. Could we have seen yeah. it? Top left corner. Considering we were... Just I will like let you guys the, see it. The it's base fine. of it? It's not that big. I don't know why I'm not letting you see it. Because um, we were next to that... Oh. Arborito, whatever. Ar a burrito. Arborito. Or yeah. A burrito. A, a burrito, burrito, yeah. 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 A burrito. A point, burrito. Pointing at it again? Chipotle. What are you talking about? Is this, this, one. this thing right here? Mm hmm. Is that, a, is that a school magic or is this just a glowing tower? Velen looks at it and she says, uh, That silvery light seems to be the symbol for divination. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Do you want to do that one first? Or we the one, and then one? the one behind it. The one that you guys were pointing at that's near that big dome. Yeah. She looks at that and she says, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's like a finger. Okay, that sounds like a good sign. Okay. Yeah. So, well, what if we. What if we. Move over to Divination and then clear this way? Yes. Okay. Just, just, just run out the double back. Yeah, do we, well, do we want to go up to the top first and make sure that that's not one? Yeah, we can do that if you want. Okay, so uh, where are oh the camera moved? Can you can you shift the camera over? Oh yeah, back? that's right. We okay. moved it for the. Is this better to see? Go right. Now it's worse. Okay. I like. I have you, to kind of like. Twisted it. What are you did? doing? I'm you moving. Just turn it. <laughs> Buddy. How was that? Bad. <laughs> Go down. Yeah, to, I have to pull it to do yeah, that. You said yeah, twist yeah. it. Twisting well, it. Now it's sideways. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, what if I just... And then you, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring, we just cheated that. Way, that way. There you go. That's okay, enough. we would like to go from here, Jim, <laughs> to... Your, expl here. your explanations. Are yeah. To here. Got it. You guys want to go beeline? Yes. Uh, I mean, if we see something interesting along the way, let us know. Yeah, of course. Indeed you do. You see quite a few interesting if, things. If I see, if I see uh, what the fuck those things called? The little one-eyed freaks? Uh, no. <laughs> Thalud. Uh, no, no. The, th no the, the Thalud have no eyes. The faceless ones. The little one-eyed freaks? Yeah, the little one-eyed freaks. Oh, not <laughs> not they not are little yeah. one-eyed freaks. If I see a hey. uh, Nothic breaking it down sexual style, you let me know. You see in the distance, you see a Nothic. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> He's just twerking. Good for him. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, good for him. Uh, a Nothic dance party. You guys are gonna beeline it. You beeline it. It's gonna be about ten minutes. Ain't no party like a Nothic party. So uh, let's determine something real quick. Yeah. So it is now eleven. Uh -huh. uh, eleven o'clock. Like PM um, or AM? Uh, 11 AM. 
Okay. Um, you guys are uh, have at eleven o'clock. You guys got to the tower. Mm -hmm. You went up. You had that combat. Talk to the hags, all that stuff, uh, and then you're going to walk over. I'm going to say doing all that, walking over, and arriving at that tower is another hour, so it's going to be noon now. Perfect. Okay. Love that. Um, <clears throat> so as you guys make your way across, there's a couple of things that you spot as you're walking along. Um, the first one is, and bear with me as I'm going to have to cross-reference a few times. Yeah. You see that giant building off to the left? Here, let me go ahead and mark it for you guys. Oh. Wow. Jacob's gained too much power in his arm. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you're telling me about it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Mostly gamma. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you see uh, this extremely large building, yeah. this extremely large building, then you guys sort of cut through here, and you notice that this is sort of like uh, an open, almost like uh, like marketplace. Oh. Um, this building up here looks to be like a bazaar, oh, okay. and this building right here it has these little drapes on it. You can see that? Ooh. Yeah. Has like little, little tiny drapes right there. Uh, here I'll zoom in for people to see. It's kind of hard to see, but a little bit in there. Um, it looks like like a fancy little store, and as you guys pass near it, you can see that there are six individuals standing outside. Whoa. Of it. These individuals float in the air, are barefoot, have long, like long ornate looking robes, no. and deep green skin. Green. Deep green skin. Um, and they stand nigh motionless on the outside of that building. Um, I will get you a picture of them right now. Explain to Spencer what just happened. Uh, we're at like a bizarre area. There is bizarrely um, <laughs> Shut the yep. fuck up. six six uh, <laughs> six shoeless individuals floating in the shoeless? air, shoeless? floating in the air, Check in ornate robes, style. and they have green skin. What? Yeah. They have oh, green skin. they're they're they're. I don't. I'm sorry. Know. Do you know something? Why is it green? Why I it think green? Craig knows what they are. Why? To be honest, I don't. I just. Do they, do, do, do they look kind of alien? Are they just, just for me. They're just floating green individuals. Are they like a type of loth? Oh. I was thinking about those, those, those like look, green skin. I just, I I just want... Here I, is, I just want the gift. I understood. <laughs> I appreciate it. What are you talking about? I just want the gift. Not the gift. The wicked. gift. Wicked? Mm -hmm. What's wicked? Whoa! What the that's, not a, that's not a loth at all. That's oh. just a, he's, he's just a shoeless <laughs> man. That's a, that is a large... Put those grippers away. Are they no. all... He uh, said, they're, look at my left they, they're, all, they're all bald. They're six of them, bald. they're all bald. I like the idea they're all like this, but the toes are like... No. <laughs> they are identical, all six. What? They look identical. There's six of them standing outside of a building, and they just remain perfectly motionless. Are these robes like the ones you saw in your yes. vision? These are... Ew. Oh. Is, is, that, is that what I look like? Yeah, is that what? Oh, did I see the the, the guy's like face? Is that what a fucking? Mm -mm. No, it was like shrouded. No, 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 no. Oh. no, the guy you saw looked more human. This this thing this is a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mutant. He's a little freak. Yeah, yeah. Do freak. I know little, what he what he is? Little freaky little, little, little uh, X man. Unfortunately, none I of you can roll an Arcana check except for Lazarus. Okay. Okay. You got I'm this. gonna try, and I'll use my. This thing is a very unique to well, ether. Use my thing. That's good because I wasn't going to anyway. Well, it's Netherese magic. <laughs> no, no, you can't make me. <laughs> well, I won't then. I'll roll this dice plus a d6. Oh boy. Oh, that's oh, pretty good. Seventeen. Seventeen. That's exactly what you need. Oh, Ooh, brain blast. <laughs> These are what you know as Mogan. Mogan? M A G E N. Like Majin. Mogan. Oh. Wait. Um, is it, oh, I'm sorry. Spell, spell again? M A G E N. Okay, E N. Like Ma Majin or Mogan. I think it's pronounced Mogan. <laughs> it's Megan. <laughs> <laughs> is it spell, spell, spell the same way? No. No, M A G E N. Oh. Switch the A and the E. Still. Oh. Yeah. Um, Mogan. Uh, these Mogan are. Um, I just don't like that. I just don't like the name. Majin? Yeah. That's you like better. Majin more? I do. All right. These Majin no. are Majin magical I. human like beings mm -hmm. yeah. that are created uh, via a spell. Oh, you know the like spell. There's a spell called Create Majin. And uh, <laughs> if you cast it, 
you can right. create some magic. Um, <laughs> how many? It's like took one or six? Uh, it depends on how much, how, how many, uh, it depends on how many life-size human dolls you stuff with ash or dust and tap with a crystal rod. <laughs> wow. Yeah, These your were rod. the servants of the <laughs> Netherese uh, wizards. In in fact, you probably had a few when you were Vendroth. Oh. Um, and they... <laughs> I mean, look a, at them. A em. few crystal I mean, rods? Look, look at them. Yeah, they're kind of ripped. Mage him. Hello. Though they, they appear definitely. like humanoids with green skin, they're oh. constructs. And their blood uh, appears to look like mercury. Oh, that's Ooh. fucking cool. They, they don't, are... Don't touch them. They are almost more lifeless than Krintos. They exist only to serve. Um, they are created only oh. to serve. Careful <laughs> with the right crystal rods. <laughs> okay, hang on. Stop, stop. We had some magen up on the left. <laughs> All right. It's on the right. Oh, on the right. These these fellas, they're kind of like the simulacrum, but yeah. infinitely stupider. No. Um, it, it's a type of spell you can summon some 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 some, right. some, some magen. And you can tap them with a rod, and they come to life. Any rod? You know, it has to be a very particular crystal rod. Oh, I see. What's so funny? Uh, look, you do need you a crystal to do a, some bring do stuff you like have a, a crystal, crystal rod. rod? I, I did. It was actually quite oh, large. You had, oh, <laughs> I you, remember looking at some major in my time. All right. Oh. I, I've gotten around. I've done some things. With your rod. And and also my major. <laughs> They're kind of together. You put your. Rod I, in I it? Put, no, I put the rod on the mage's oh, head. I see, I see. You have to tap it like this. <laughs> okay. Of course, yeah. These are our constructs. Oh. Summoned through our. Do you still know how to cast the spell? Uh. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm looking at her and go, no, unfortunately not. I, I know some of the components and what, what, what the spell does, but. A crystal rod. Yeah. You think that there would be spell scrolls or something like that here? Oh, I mean, it, it was a pretty popular thing. Uh, I imagine someone has to have written it down somewhere. To be honest, the bazaar would probably sell such a such a rod. Spell cards. So spell. who controls those ones? I, whoever created them, I assume. So it's a lot. It. What happens if the creator dies? Well, I assume they like Krentos. Oh. They wander around. That or they're. Forever standing Down to there. their duties. Maybe they're dead. Maybe the person they they're. Those we, ones look like they're guarding a building. We could go ask. I don't know if they communicate. Do you want to go there first, or you want to go to the tower? Well, now I'm kind of these majors seem to be important. So yeah, there's probably very interesting stuff in that. Well, let's bazaar. go talk to the major. Perhaps they're guards right. for the bazaar. That could be. If That's we take true, anything, they, they might attack us. That's true. We have to pay f with our. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. Uh, do they do they cast is. spells? Um, or do they just I think they have a, pour you tea and stuff? I think they may have, no, no, they can do a little bit more than that, but I don't, I don't know their full range of capabilities. They have a very simple range of capability depending on which one. There's three different kinds. Oh, there, yeah. But you don't exactly remember, you remember that like, wh two of them are kind of spellcastery and uh -huh. one of them is more of like a warrior, that's all you know. Okay. Um, there are actually three types of mage. I, I, I know no one asked, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'd love the, to know. Oh, I'd love to know. Good. There, there are three types of mage. Uh, there are two uh, uh, wizardy like ones, and one that's uh, more of like a warrior type. Okay. Um, okay. So they have, a, they have capabilities. Uh, I don't know how much a threat one mage would be, but six. Hmm. Do you want me to throw something at one of them and see? No, 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 no. There's no need to be hostile with them. They're just, they're just mage. Sure. Let's go see. You guys make your way over, which, by the way, on the map is that it's on the way to the um, to the uh, to the tower. But there's sort of like this marketplace area, and you see this building that has like silk, uh, like drapery out in the front of it, and then there are six of those mage and sort of guarding it. Right. You guys make your way over to the building, and I can actually mark it out to you here. Oh, God damn it! Did you break it? It's broke it again. That one right there. And they're just out front. Yep. Hmm. You guys make your way over. Someone they stand there. They float there silently. Lesser major. Like greater major. Like, Ellen kind of like looks at you and goes, <clears throat> "Okay." Uh, I, I have a quick question. Floating like how? Uh, floating like like uh, how half Essex a float off the ground. Okay. Yeah, like, exactly. Like Essex, actually. Yeah. Just, I don't. Like I'm too good to touch the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I get my toes though. They're like. No. Your toe, their toes are so long, they almost touch. Yeah, they're like, 
Mm -hmm. as, but as you guys actually get closer, these silken drapes that hang from the walls of the storefront, their surfaces swirl with illusory <laughs> images of dragon's fire and twinkling star fields. That's fucking cool. Um, okay. Um, uh, okay, I guess I'll walk up. Okay, you walk up. I will um, follow behind. <clears throat> Hello, Majin. They act as if you do not ex exist. Oh. Can I try... Oh, guarding is in like their backs are to us or their faces are to us? Their faces are to, to us, but they are not standing in front of the doorway. They're just kind of like... They're just on the sides. Spread. Okay. Can I go towards the door? Yep. Yeah, you can so make your way towards like the change. door. Nothing. Nothing. Well... I feel like we should go inside. Let's yeah. do it then. You guys head inside. And as you make your way in... Um, uh, uh, and as you uh, you make your way inside, and you see what look like more um, Majin on the inside. Don't These ones uh, on the ground. And they look like they're wearing uh, a s to a similar aesthetic of the ones outside, except they have like a helmet and armor, and they have what look like uh, I believe swords down at their side. Let me just double check here. Uh, yeah, they have a, a crossbow and a great sword, sort of at their back, Ugh. and they stand in the you know I had to do it to him pose, like <laughs> uh, all around the room, and they just uh, they just stand there as you make your way and just blank staring yeah. Yeah. you make your way inside to see what looks like a small store it's a it's a merchandising place um, and there are the magic silk that hang around all of the uh, the entirety of the interior um, and there's nothing else really inside until you hear like towards the ceiling and as you all look up you see what look like four enormous phase spiders hanging upside down on the ceiling and they occasionally Okay. And they are in this enormous, magical-looking web that springs from the silk coming from the walls. So the silk unravels towards the top and like becomes their web. Oh, so they're the, like making it. As you head inside, there is a um, oh, in in the center of the interior, there are crystal mannequins draped in finery that in um, uh, just kind of all over the place. If you look around, it looks to appear to be like some sort of like clothing store. Can I go around and collect their weapons? You go over to one of the mage, um, mage and try to grab the sword. Yeah. As you go over towards it, it, it grabs it and it looks directly down at you. Or oh. fuck, it'd be, I'd be like this. <laughs> Wait, do you even fit in here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I Probably assume, not. Yeah, I Sorry. I completely no, forgot you're your fine, name. you're fine. Um, I keep you outside. Hang on, I'll hang be on, outside. Hang on. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me see how tall it is. Yeah, no. Um, it's, like, well, well. No. I'll just be, there, I'll You're 21 20. feet tall, not 30. So if you head in, you're like, ah, there's spiders right there. <laughs> is, is there room for her to walk around? Just. Uh, to walk around? She, we'll say, yeah, she's just very tall. She's yeah, just taller just than making me. sure she's not stepping on That's displays fair. or something. That's yeah, fair. yeah, it's a pretty big room and, um, and whatnot, but everything's like not at your height. So you just feel like kind of weird in this giant, in this very tiny space. If it is, uh, if it's that small, I'm gonna just stay still. Yeah. That's okay. what I'm gonna do. Uh, the spiders do not seem to do anything cares? as you enter. They just sort of mind to themselves and stay in the room. Interesting. So it's like a, a good, like a clothing store. Is so like a, like a counter? Um, no, but there is an empty pedestal. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go over to it. I'll go, yeah, I'll step on. As you step on, oh. it glows underneath you, and a it, the illusion of a magnificently dressed human flickers to life before you, and uh, and and begins speaking Laros. Okay. Um, you none of you understand it except for you. I will who translate says, as he says it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, he says, "Greetings. I am Silksmith Mixul. Um, welcome to my emporium." And I assume you're here for our illustrious robe making process. It looks like through you and past you because it's just a programmed illusion. Um, and it says, hold still and think of exactly what you would like to be made upon your body. Our spiders perform the greatest work and you will have the most illustrious designs all of Netheril has ever seen upon your body. Um, and uh, uh, <clears throat> I urge you to imagine any image your heart desires. 
as it says that, almost as if it's like a keyword, the spiders like to begin to come downwards on, on webs and they get around you and you watch as they, they surround you. And as they're surrounding you, they take their little their little uh, pincers and, and arms and they have little pieces of web and they, they begin measuring you. There's oh. like, what the fuck? One wraps one around you and the other one, and then they, they go back up. Uh, Just one more moment and your clothing of your dreams will soon be here. Okay. And, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and it disappears. Oh. And then the spiders come back down, and then in a whirlwind, there is just silk flying all around you. you uh, you're immediately like sort of shocked, but it just spins all around you as, um, as they begin to just weave clothing onto you. What are you thinking of? I'll use this time to make my new outfit. Hell we'll, yeah. We'll shut the new armor be this. Perfect, perfect. Uh, you, uh, and as, as the, <laughs> um, as, smart. Uh, uh, the spiders begin to just weave this around you, and then they pull sort of upwards as they've created this jacket and like uh, and uh, the um, and uh, the intricate sort of hexagonal design that goes sort of uh, down it as well. Um, uh, kind of um, putting pieces of the scarf inwards, and it's sort of got this illusory quality to it, where like um, uh, as like you move uh, uh, like your head, it sort of like shifts and moves in an illusory sort of state, and then they just th throw it over your shoulders and they go back up to the ceiling. And then the, the, the pedestal underneath you uh, stops glowing. That's Whoa. very nice. Uh, you should go next. Yeah, oh. Lazarus is looking uh, swaggy as hell now. He's, he's wearing that. Uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mouth is new now. <laughs> oh. How did it make that? I don't know. Kind of smells funny. Your arms and legs got an upgrade too. Velen looks at you and goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Plus four hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, he's, he's hot. hot. Oh, he's he's trying to hot one. He's he's go ahead. Um, sorry, give me two they seconds. They cured my trauma. No. Oh, I'll get up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. My trauma. My trauma, it's gone. I had a little trauma be gone. They just, whispered, they they spiders. They just whispered sweet nothing in my ear and I feel great. Ooh, sweet nothing. I think I want to marry that. Spider. Um, hell yeah. yeah. 16 kids that way. Two wives. Yeah. Two wives <laughs> and one's a spider. And one's a spider. Oh. You go over Bryn and you stand up on the pedestal and boom, it comes to life and you hear the same like, Ish na pi la fosh na power, dish the quality to the And you have no idea what he's fucking saying. <laughs> that <laughs> was you the, went with the ping Swedish. Ping yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and you don't know what's going on. Is it the same? Yeah, I, I think so. You didn't hear it the first time either. He, he translated it. Oh, you translated it. Okay. The spiders come down, begin to take your little measurements. It was like enormous, gigantic spiders. And then they go back up. And then you watch them begin to craft together the silk. What are you thinking of? I'll just, I'll, I, it's second first, same as the first. What, There's only which, which one, the one difference. These spiders always craft a, an illusory property to your clothing, which is how all of the Wizards of Netheril had illusory sort of special properties to their I... clothing. So that's the only thing you have to adopt. So what do you mean? Like I need to pick something illusory to anything. add to it? It can be anything. It c there could be a design that moves across your clothing. It could be that it sparkles. It could be that it has some cool hexagonal fucking shit going on. I don't know. A pattern of some kind. It mm -hmm. could be that it shimmers, glows, changes color. Um, let me think. Oh, your clothes are also now worth 250 gold pieces. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, yeah. that. But the jaw has um, to go with it Cover girl. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> how, that's, that's 249. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How on it, it has kind of like that, that snowflake pattern. That snowflake oh, on the piece. inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, on the, uh, it's on the outside. It's on the outside? Yeah, on the outside, it's yeah, on the it outside has, like, dark part. Blue. Yep, got it. That's they it. they spin the clothing, which doesn't look too far off from what she was already wearing. <laughs> but as they sort of like put it over you, you guys watch as down at the bottom, you can see a bit of like snowfall, sort of illusory, sort of falling down underneath you. And there's also like uh, these like snowflakes that begin to like shift and move across it ever so often. <clears throat> All right, come on. Uh, I kind of like the clothes I have. Oh, you don't have to change too much to change to change, change what you want. I feel like you have that kind of beard growing. You should you should get some new, uh, just a little get, bit. Get some new stuff. Yeah, just just just, just, just a little, a slight change. Something that Astrid would like. Yeah. No. Something that Astrid would That's like. That's very interesting, right? Mm -hmm. They okay. They make your new clothes, but your 
asses out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ass is out. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Why did you say that? I'm That's sorry. actually the sorry. illusion. I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace because Kazira's dummy thick cheeks keep <laughs> alerting all the Magan. The Magan. <laughs> <laughs> so the Magan are like... Whoa. Okay, look, look, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna defend myself here. It should be Majin, but I, I read this entire chapter with a, with a text-to-speech yeah. because oh. I have ADHD, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and he's always pronounced it Magan. Magan. <laughs> That's weird. Speaking Mogan. of, you, you, you show me how, Mogan. how to do that. I will. I will. Because I would love to read that. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Mog read and text. It's great because it's like somebody else is reading it to me. And yeah. It makes me respect it so much more. Mm. Like, it, it means I can do something else. Yeah, it means I can. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't. Whoa! I have to do both. <laughs> I have to did be you, like, did you do it? Huh? Did you do it? Sure, I'll go. Come on. All right, you make your way up. Same, yeah, same pretty thing. Pretty Second verse, same as the first. What, uh, what, what are you thinking of, Kazira? <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. Uh, I'll just do the 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 new clothes for the uh, new from the new art. Perfect. Um, can I have like a little little spider, like Ooh. just crawling like? Crawling, That's like, fun. I Jacob hates that, but I I think that that's cool. It's my for little friend. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I want I want um, you guys to know I had something really good, but I can't do it. Aw. You you can't you shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck that's up. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, you um yeah they spin your new clothing. It's a little face burner. Not only is it yeah, that's that's far good. more comfortable than uh, the previous clothing you were wearing, Kazira. Um, it's also clean. Feels great. It's not full of holes. Um, yeah. It's not full of holes. <laughs> it doesn't have cuts all over it and blood and shit. And mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, it uh, you've got this little spider friend Question. that occasionally crawls what its way up. What happened to our old clothes? <laughs> They're under the clothes you're currently wearing. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> it's like pull it out. Yeah. Oh, God, get out of here. They have like a little screen. You can Behind. You know what? Yeah, this yeah. one spider comes down, puts a screen. The other oh. spiders undress you, and then they come oh. down and put your new clothes. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, you're like, you're like, thank you for the screen. Oh! <laughs> they they put the new one on. They pull the cock out. <laughs> Guys, hold your measuring tool. Because you didn't tell me they were going to dress me. Or because you're Lazarus. <laughs> you didn't me, tell me. You didn't tell me. Look. Sometimes you're gonna get, you just gonna let a spider. Never mind. Velen jumps on the pedal, pedestal. Oh mm -hmm. shit! Oh, mm -hmm. what's she getting? Um, you guys watch as um, as they the as they undress her. And you're like, <laughs> I, I put my pinky. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, I hand my pinky to Lazarus. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, oh. <laughs> no. As they begin to spin uh, uh, Velen's uh, outfit, what she currently wears is like this very snowy, feathery, uh, cold winter clothing. Um, it's pretty standard, but it still has a little bit of like class to it. Like she's got the little mittens, <gasps> and she's got like uh, she's got a little like uh, fur here now. Mm -hmm. She's there's like blood all over it because it's pure white. Now it's like it's like gross and yeah. dirty. Yeah. But the new one that they spin is much more akin to what could be found here in Netheril. It still is like cold winter clothing, so it's like it's like giving her. Um, more, uh, uh, it's it's keeping her warm, but it's uh, it, it's less of like a I'm bundled up in a blanket, and more of like asserting some sort of like power. It's like it's got like these sharp sort of uh, 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 shoulder pieces, mm. and it's all outlined with silver and like deep black. Um, and uh, she also has also the the eye patch is the same as well. Uh, she has like a new eye patch, which also has this, like inlay with like silver going around it. Um, and you guys watches it like um, all of the silver down the entirety of like uh, of of these robes she's effectively wearing. Also, um, the silver looks like it's constantly moving, like it's made of liquid as she gets off. Um, she sort of looks down and she says, much more asserting. It's a very nice outfit. Okay, uh, I will I don't think that have stuff to cover all her bits up, though. <laughs> Velen Stop. went from like, I'm just a little old lady who yeah. knows how to cast some spells to like, an arch maiden. To like, oh, she's probably <laughs> challenge rating 10. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Arch Megan. Uh, I wish I was challenge rating ten. Yeah. Yeah. How do we? Get you that are. Like You're like challenge rating a hundred. <laughs> no. Hell yeah. Oh, that's just what the sneeze again heard. With the with the with no, the yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty one foot. Yeah. 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 Um, you head in. You can barely stand on it, but you like I, you get your tippy toes on. I it. think maybe we should all turn around. You. The screen's not covering you. <laughs> it, it comes like your shin. You're like. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Lazarus just like, looks, I've and never seen a his arms before. and his legs just, <laughs> 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 just can, I, can, can I take Valen's eye patch and go on the good eye? <laughs> 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 nope. She's like, ah. Um, 
Uh, uh, you, well, well, what do you think of? I, I think of the, entirely new the spiders have, to, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, the spiders have to like crawl all over you. So like, you fail them a lot more and it's kind of like, because they can't just put it on you. Instead, they sort of yeah. weave it over you. Mm. But, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of the same art, except go. um, I'm going to have it kind of ripple of, oh. um, of like, um, almost like sun is rising. Oh, that's cool. It's like bright white, mm -hmm. like radiant flash, and then yeah, yeah, back yeah. down. That's fucking so, like, cool. And like tracing that like sun outline on her chest piece. That's so sick. So yeah, every so often that that uh, the like the it's not it's kind of like a breastplate sort of that you mm -hmm. have, but like it occasionally sort of like flares up with like this light that mm -hmm. um, just sort of appears. It doesn't like cast enough light for you to be able to see, but it's enough to look stylish as fuck. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and as the spiders all go back under the rafters, you're like, ooh, as you feel gross, you're like, oh, I look sick as hell. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you guys, you guys got some new clothes. Uh, Perfect. Don't forget Lathander's Blessing. Oh. Lathander's Blessing, is that 10? That's it's right. 10. I, I, kept, I kept reading that. It was 10, right? 10. Indeed. I, I'm going to be healing 10, because I took damage from that. Uh... <gasps> wow. We long rested before we came in here, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I didn't. It took like 27 damage. I also didn't hit, hit the bottom. I took 23. Oh, if you just heal 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We're at 63 now. So, it seems it. like it was worth it. Unfortunately, the mage and don't seem to be very... <laughs> They're just... Uh, sociable. Let's go. We got we got some nice Yeah, now we can hit the divination let's, one. Exactly. Let's in, not... Let's style. Style. Yeah, yeah, let's not take any chances right. with these. Uh, thank you, mage and spider. Yes, thank you, spiders. One of the spiders goes... Oh, oh. okay, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. You guys make your way out. Uh, moving, um, moving. Okay, where are you going? To this, uh, to this thing now. If you're going over there, Velen's like, that's not the divination tower. Uh, we can still I'm, go there, I'm but so that's sorry. not the divination Which tower we, is I, it? I, I actually it, misspoke. That, we, we, we were investigating this one first. Yeah, yeah. And we wanted to make to sure. Yes. We wanted to, to make sure, this, sure that this wasn't a tower. This, no, this no, no, it's fine. Rod. Velen's just being a know-it-all. That's fine. No, you're right. Um, we, you guys head over to that tower. Um, where you pass by the bazaar off to the left, and then you head over up the up the little divot over towards the thing, where you also see a giant dome on your right, and next to it another smaller dome-looking thing that well. are buildings, and then you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I only said that because I knew I could get cranked. This conical tower is held relatively upright by a ring of arched buttresses. Expressionless buttresses. humanoid figures stand in silence around it. The roof has a large ragged hole in it where something large has smashed through. Out of like what, like like, like the floor, like part of the this wall? The buttresses. The ceiling. In the butt, yeah. <laughs> the butt. Yeah. There are what look like three Galvin Magen, three Demos Magen, and one Hypnos Magen standing guard the outside Hypnos. of this cool. uh, <laughs> building. Do they, do they say what their title is? When they no, nope, I'm yeah. just saying They're it for the, I'm Magen. Saying it for the sake of, of the game. <laughs> A Magen. Hypnos. Magen, yeah. Hypnos. Hypno Magen. You're like, okay, stop. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, As you approach, uh -oh. who's first? I guess. Lazorus? I guess, right. I guess me. You hear in your mind. Uh -oh. A voice, a very deep, commanding oh, no. voice that just says, Leave this place. Hello? I didn't say anything. You oh. are an intruder. Leave this place. And he watches all of the Magen, all of their heads sim uh, in sync, look at you. Oh, we might be. Hey, uh, uh, let's take a step back real fast. Is this a tower? You, as you sort of step back, and you step back, and you get about, about 50 foot distance, they all sort of. Relax. Oh uh, I feel like I need to give it a wide berth. Huh? I, I don't. I feel like someone was speaking to me that was sentient, right? It wasn't like a cut. It was like a. No, it was in common. It was, it, it was like an automated like response. Mm -hmm. It was like an automated response. Uh, it's. It did not. Was sound... it lifelike? No. Oh. Okay. So there's some kind of defense system. Uh, is it a tower? Is this one of our yeah, towers? Is it one of the towers? Do no. we know? No, no. It's, just it's not. It's whole. The hole in the ce there's a hole in the ceiling. Okay. Um, it, it looks like dilapidated. You don't really know what they're guarding okay. either. Unless we, there's unless no entryway. They're just standing outside of the bottom. Unless we can get into the hole in the tower, maybe we should just go. Yeah. Uh, it's up to you guys. I, I, I kind of want to take the guarding, but 
you know, I say it literally could be nothing. Like, it could be like another, like a pair of shoes or something. Like, it could be like worthless. No, I think if you have that many people who are guarding, it's not. Okay. Yes. Divination. Mogan. Okay. Okay, ready? I think it's pronounced Major. Major. Right? Ready? Is divination? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, we are voting again? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't understand. Wait, it doesn't matter one, anyway. Which one is which? It doesn't, one matter. Is it doesn't matter anyway. There you go, Velen. There you go. Okay, so I guess we could shoot them from here. <laughs> but I think that's... I feel like that, that, that's not... These... I apologize. They are standing guard of an iron door. Ah. <laughs> I see. Oh no! I, I oh no! I, I, see I see it now. I see it. Okay. Two of them were covering it up. Do you think you could get? I'm sorry. You said the hole was in the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Um, could I? Could I? All right. This is asking a lot, but it's been a while since I've asked a lot. <laughs> like like two hours ago, I asked a lot. I know, but I'm asking again. Mm -hmm. Is there a pathway I could find to uh, acrobat my way up to the roof? No. And the only reason I say no indefinitely is because these buildings were magically shaped this way. Indefinitely means there's a chance. In, 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 no, there, there might isn't. be a part where it's no longer indefinitely. <laughs> you cannot. You you need to That's fly fair. to be able to go up there. It is about hey. thirty feet in height. What? You know who can cast fly? My best friend. Oh. <laughs> of, which, of which she has two hearts with. Oh. It's true. It's true. She's like, why are you well looking at me? Because you know how to cast fly. I do know how to cast fly. There's a hole in the ceiling. There's a very but. What if there's something? Our good friend in here has also told us that those are spell casters. Yes. They could go boop, no more fly, and you'd yep. splat to the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you? That's why I haven't casted it yet. Ah. You and I going into the ethereal and popping back out. It's kind of a one-time trip. Right? Yeah, I could get in, but I couldn't get out. Yeah, no, same. Okay. And just to clarify, as you look, oh, as you got close and looked over at yeah. the iron door that I totally said was there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell that it was welded shut. So it almost appears like it's a part oh. of the wall. Oh, so, so something not, wasn't there in and then way. escaped. So they, they were guarding a, like a creature, and the creature blew like up a, to the whole No, it's... it's it, or, may, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. That, that's my interpretation. Yeah, that's it, your interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trapped something in there, welded it shut, and it broke out the ceiling. That seems like uh, one of the more likely options. Yeah, are, were those... I, I don't know if you know or remember. Were those prisons? It's these... these uh, those, those previous ones, were they similar? No, these these on the outside. Are these, are these like, little prisons? Oh, I, I could ask. I could ask. Let me... Roll... <laughs> Pearl history. I could ask my 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 brain. Yeah, hang on. Me, 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 me. Uh, I just want people to know that I have a plus and zero to this. Hell yeah. T to history? Yeah. This entire game. Eight. Don't remember what those are for. Um. I don't remember. But you've seen them before. Yep. Yeah. I don't remember. It's it. one of the. No, no, no. You've seen it before recently. Yeah. When you guys went into where you found Dazon in that ups in that upside down tower, that's one of those. But oh, it broke one off. Of these? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, I, I don't know the purpose of them, but we've seen one before. One of those towers has broken off and fallen. And that's where we found Dazon. Mm -hmm. But oh. I don't know what the purpose of them or what. So not, not prisons. No. That one didn't seem like a prison. Wait, no, it was. Wasn't it? It, did have a change, it had a transmutation circle on it, too. Is that where those doppelgangers were? Um. What? No, I, I think it was just. It says Xenomorph, whatever his name is. Let me look, <laughs> let me look at my notes and make sure I'm not misremembering. No, I think it was just some. I think it was a thing that we had Brand want to be one. I don't remember what it was, oh, but. but the, oh, the, it, was a, it was a. It was a basilisk. Zero fun. Yeah. Zero fun. Oh. oh, fuck. Yeah. But that's well, right. good, yeah. good looking out. Emma, uh, uh, put some <coughs> ones on the trigger. Check our battery. Yep, we're good. Those things are outside the city, it says zero fun. Those oh. are spires. Okay. What do they do? Well, uh, I think they guard the city. Okay. What about this thing we're looking at? What was that about? I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like some sort of... Tower. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Well, 
Um, let, me, let, me see, let me see what I can do. Let me see what, what I have available to me. Do my very special meeting. Do you want me to try to fly in there? Well, I don't... Or I can cast it on somebody else. Somebody else is more brave. Can you cast it on two people? <clears throat> First off, Bryn, why would you even guess that? Third of all, I hate that you're right. <laughs> well, or three, or all of us. You, you should pick. How, hang on, first, how big is the hole on the ceiling? Like, how, how tall is it? Like, I think from the ground to the hole, how big is it? Can, can Amlish look down into it? Oh, yeah, that's right, you're 21 feet tall. Let me use my, uh, height privilege. Yeah. Well, I don't know about 50 feet away. You, I guess, you know... <gasps> Try maybe it. I could tumble. Toss me! Try and maybe it. I, I could, cannot tumble. Maybe I could tumble. tumble. Yeah, Throw me. Fine. No, no, no. Me, me, me. I, I, I used to do this shit. Throw us all. This is literally my, my old, <laughs> this is literally my old shtick. Okay. I'll throw a I can land that. Yeah. I'll throw a broom Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Um, it's a really good idea. <laughs> no, it's how, not. How? <laughs> It'll be fun. I, I just can't get back out. But if you throw me in, then I can get out. What? <laughs> Jacob, can I throw a friend? Okay. <laughs> Jacob's like, what the fuck Let me re-describe. It's yes. a conical tower held huh. relatively upright. It's conical towards the top. <laughs> okay. Like that. Yeah. Uh, the, the hole in the top is maybe is not like the whole building. It is like... It's like a chimney? <laughs> like small? Uh, no, bigger than a chimney. But okay. it's, but it's maybe... Uh, we'll say it's a 10-foot diameter. So I could fit in. You could fit in if you like went like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could fit. <laughs> You're you the chapter in the right. Yeah, but it's not enough to where you can be like... <laughs> Sit a hesse and I yeah, like yeah. just peer in. Yeah. But you know, I could throw someone in. You could probably be like, whoop, and then Bryn could hopefully catch it. Yeah. What would what would it be if I wanted? What would it be for me? Well, first of all, you're you're tall, yeah. but you're not tall enough to grab with one hand, which is funny. But like, you're tall enough to pick her up like this, like, this and then fine. be and then be like, <clears throat> like that, and then what just if, be an athletics check. What if? Could I? Could I do a thing where like? Goes, I, <laughs> can I do like a that spotters thing where I'm like? You run and jump, and I go. And you're just like <gasps> super oh, yeah, yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're, we're, we're 50 feet away, so we're going to toss you from here. I would mean, that, would... oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> I mean, no, at that point, you're you want to throw her. <laughs> okay. All right, just throw me. Yeah, yeah, just like, like a disc. It, can, can you do that? <laughs> I can I can cast fly on multiple people. Oh, hey, that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can, can you grab Bryn uh -huh. and, like, I only weigh shot put throw her into this hole? I give you my backpack. Without my backpack, I only weigh, like, 140. Okay, um, so maybe she's like holding on to the person, right? In a, a way that I'm gonna actually be able to just throw them. Mm -hmm. um, so. Oh, cause you wanna like go like that. Like shot yeah, put. Yeah, shot put or like. Well, can I get into like a ball? Can I get like into like a ball? You can like go like this. There you go. Yeah. You can get into a ball and you can like. <laughs> I mean, she's like this big to you, and you you can like heave her. <laughs> roll athletics. What, what do I need to roll after this? Acrobatics. All right. You have coins. I'm I gonna do. flip it now. Go you know ahead. What? Yeah. Advantage. We, this needs to work. Jake, I sent you a message. Can you just can you just make sure that I'm? What a skilled thing. Uh, 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 the natural twenty, which is a thirty-two. The Megan are like, what is that? And you just a ball go. Whoop. <laughs> And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. What? It could be referring. It could be referring to that. It could also be referring to Ariel Lifus. I don't know what that is. It's the, the, it's That's the, a demi lich. The demi lich. Ah. Cool. Twenty-three. Uh, natural twenty Holy for thirty-two. Crap. <laughs> Felon's like, ah, uh, she's like getting ready to like cast, and you're just like, okay, and you guys are all watching, and the doppelganger's like, this is gonna be really good, and you just. <laughs> Throw her over. As you throw her over, all of them, all of the <laughs> they start lighting up They the just sky. Zzz, watch as she goes over, and you just watch she <laughs> goes right into the, the top of the building, and the, all the Majin turn, and they're like, <laughs> and they just oh, start no. moving on you. Everybody will understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, you broke it still. We see you. <laughs> they're not that stupid. <laughs> That's fair. So in the time that it took you guys to come <laughs> yeah. with this plan, Kazira's just deep in thought, sees you toss her, and then goes, 
What did you do? Okay, okay, but Bryn wanted me to. It, it was it was the Bryn. most beautiful thing you've ever seen. <laughs> she just disappeared. I got a, the I, got a, I, got a I got a thirty two. Sometimes uh, Emilia has big jaw. Wait, what did you roll? Yeah. Oh she yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty three. Thirty two, twenty three. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. Got him. Now when I roll a natural one, I'll be able to flip it. Yeah. And you were doing athletics, and I was doing acrobatics. This is yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. It helps that I have a plus ten. Yeah. I have a plus 12. Yeah. All right. Mini size. Is this mini size? Oh, so sorry. Uh, oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, it is pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. That's probably a little better. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I get it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Think it's like a big fucking hope there's nothing like... <laughs> monstrous in yeah. here is a horrible okay. ghoul. You're currently on the second level, though. That's the bottom level. Okay. okay. Um, I'll put you You over. guys, I don't know where the... Oh, there's the door. Over here. If that's the worst place for it, because you guys are so far away. Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to fucking change that shit. You put the door here. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah let's do it on that side. Yeah. That's a little bit easier. Okay. okay. Um, so we'll put you over here right now. Okay. We're, we're like off the map. Is, is the, is the front door... Is, it, is this the stupidest thing we've done in this game? Um, Probably not even top oh, five, that's, that's right? much better. Uh, one, two, three, There's four, selling five, the hookah. Six, seven, eight, there's looking nine, in the box. Ten, 11. Okay, actually... I mean, the box is kind of right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite story to tell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. Let's get my... Oh, the, 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 touching the, 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 the axe. axe. The demon I'm, try, I'm just trying to think if this is the touching stupidest the thing we've done spear. in this game. <laughs> yeah. Touching anything. <laughs> touching the spear is touching pretty high up there. The Demogorgon statue. I love it. I love it so oh. much. No, what was the what was the statue that I touched? Mogan. It, it was in the, the dwarf uh, guy's uh, what? Like bedroom. <laughs> That's a galvan made. It was like a statue uh, of... Did, you know, like you guys are now my new favorite. God or something. Cool, right? I rolled a 26. I'm going to go use that real quick. Okay. Okay. Not allowed. Look how many you got. Yeah, three yeah, we opened demos. a bunch of those. Uh, oh, they're so cool. Those blind boxes and got a we got a bunch of them. A bunch of them. And I think Jacob bought some more. No. I'm excited for when uh, we play. He is in a. In a yeah, we got a bunch of them. <coughs> mm-hmm. oh, Are you okay? Spit. Look. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how to do it to him. He's the. He's in the. I know how to do it to him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that guy. I hate that guy, actually. That guy's being uncomfortable. Uh, I'm going to kill that guy first. <laughs> yeah, that guy's going out first. <laughs> I don't know if I'm championing Emma, but no, they remind me of I Megamind. I thought I got the... Megamind? Did, yeah. That, yeah, that little Megamind. Did they not make the... the the well, looks like That's terrible. They should have. Dude. The art's good for him. I ordered these months ago. Yeah. Like, legit, like, February is when I got all these minis. I was like, I'm going to make sure I have like every I mini for this. I see a blue guy with a shield, but maybe, maybe he's not blue, just the box is black. No. He's kind of I right. have a bunch of these guys he's, though, he's so I might just right. have to use them. On the right? Hmm? Along that wall on the right? The halfway? Go back. Up, 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 stop. That's Is that it. him? That's it. Hell yeah. Oh, he's got armor? You're so smart. Yeah, he's cool looking. Look at him. I know. Uh, I should have three of those, but I only have one. I think I saw one. Uh, we'll put him like right in front. Yep. Hmm. Come on, man. Come on, Come on man. You have a better eye than me. Let me see. Peep and I. Can I help peep? Yeah, I'll peep. Oh, here's one of those guys. And another one. Okay, let me set up the encounter and then we can go. Uh, another one. Supposed to be? Oh. Broken. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Winter's womb? The fuck is Winter's Oh, no. That's bad. There was a mini that broke and then it got put back in here. I think it broke again. Oh well. I don't see any more Mm. Maybe I only got MA. No. I picked three more of the. You know, I had to do it to them, guys, though. Yeah. Um. We have some other things in here. Yeah, let's just get. I'll just get some little just, fighter guys. I don't like those things. That's not baby eggs, cool. Huh? Mm hmm. Oh, look it. She's just so in blue. here. What is she doing? Well, that's, that's not the version anymore. These two guys. As, oh. the, as the other warrior mm -hmm. margin. The Winter's uh, Womb's the last one. Oh, that's that giant crystal one. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, that sucks. Yeah, it broke off when uh, we got it. There we go. Spencer, in uh, on my office by the printer is those little numbered circles. Can you get those? So we'll have that mod. Mogin? Oh, that guy. So we'll have him be the, 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 the Giga one. The Giga one. 
thanks for bearing with us, guys, as I try to find me. Peels and Graham. <gasps> oh, what do you Beals do? Peels and Graham. They're, they're rad. They give you a really great immersive layout of all your fucking games that they provide mm -hmm. for. And they give two options. You can always get the biggest one that's the most expensive. You can get a cheaper one that has a little less and... But good quality? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Quality. And we a here mini of quality. support d d shared expenses. Yeah. You're playing with a group of six, group of four. Mm -hmm. Share it. Put that Share ship. the price because oh, yeah. everyone's going to get it. That's how so, we bought our first one. Yep. We all someone's going to get this really yep. cool little amulet and take it home. Yep. Yep. Someone's going to get some cool papers. And someone's going to get the Codicil Brown. Even if you don't, <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you the experience Brown. the Codicil Brown in person. And that's yeah, what and that's really, you get to get you get to do sit with your players and uh, uh, GDB, uh, not do Beyond. <laughs> sorry. Beyond Red. You just channeled <laughs> Sam Regal a little bit there. Yeah. You've, actually, you've actually given me Um, um, share the load. It come. Share, share, the, share the load. load. Yeah, really. Though. Share the load. This uh, this edition came with the newspapers from all of the towns. It was so much oh. fun to go through. Yeah. yeah, felt like a felt like a real dad reading the newspapers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drinking some coffee. Yeah, I will say it always helps when whenever we play a new character. I don't really know what the the vibe is yet. Having something physical I can fuck with mm -hmm. helps. It helps. So, I didn't know if you want to check out those cool little minis. Yeah. They are very cool. Um, There's only one. You know, I had to do it to him, guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's the hypnos guy. Yeah, he's, a, he's a hypnos one. Uh, we so have one four more thing of ready, and then we are good to go. Veteran leader. Yeah, no, those, yeah. those guys aren't. Those Is this guys, guy one? Yeah, that guy's a. That's the. Demos yeah. Magan. Yeah. yeah. Region. Okay. Um, oh, he's gonna put mole rings on him. I don't see number two though. Oh, I see. <laughs> It's on the codicil. Does it matter which one gets Shut what the number? Fuck up, no. Spencer. Does it matter which one gets what number? <laughs> All right. No, I don't no. think so. No. Jacob. Does it matter which one gets what number? No. Well. Um, I don't have a number two anymore. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I I I watched that one. Plus, it's actually true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and give them give them random numbers. Do we have a nine in there? Is this nine? There, there's nine. That's a six. Uh, is there eight? Okay, here. Yeah. Here's that though. Let's see. Let's see. If we need that. <coughs> One, two, three, four, there's five. Seven. Actually, we probably won't find out that. Yeah, we're actually found those. Okay, cool. I don't know what two went. It's probably on Jacob's side of the table or something. It could be. Okay. Um. Everybody, roll initiative. Yep. That got it. Did I think so? If you're using DD Beyond, you can just go ahead and roll it. It'll put it in automatically. Because Zero, what'd you get? Nine. I rolled an 11. Oh, you got the balls. 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 Where's that was uh, Bell in that one game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. Uh, Brid? Uh, 26. Because I want to cheat and re-roll, I did, I did roll 11. You rolled 11? Yeah. What'd you get, Emilation? Should have waited until you had your thing up. Boop. All right, Brid, you're first. Uh, okay. What do I see? So, you... Uh, are flung into the hole. You don't know what's going on. You just, you end up yeah. in the next room. And, uh... My mini, please. Fragile. Right in the hole. Just keep them there. I just have a picture to show you. Okay. <clears throat> what if something broke in? A large telescope. You land <laughs> on the ground. You sort of slide as you look around. A I large do like the Black Widow telescope. <laughs> Dominates a 30 foot oh. diameter circular. It'll fix itself in a second. Dominates a Please. 30 foot diameter circular chamber at the top of the tower. Okay. Gazing into the telescope's oh, no. eyepiece, it's currently peering oh, out of the hole God. you just flew through, uh, is a hulking frog like biped in wizard's robes that pays you no mind as it mumbles to itself. Oh, good. What is it mumbling? Looks like that. What? Oh. oh. The can you flip them horizontally? There you go. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, look at there him. he is. Look at him. Peeping. I love that the book's like he pays you no mind. You enter the room mm -hmm. and you're like, <laughs> 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 he's like, I don't yeah. give a shit about I that. I don't think that's how normally people enter the room. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a guess. Can I can I hear him mumbling? He's so uh, cool looking. That's a slot, right? I hope not. That, it that, looks like one. That's a thing that. That try to. Gotcha. Yeah, it did. So. 
Apologies. You didn't try it, did you? Uh, <laughs> looks over. She, uh, uh, there are adamantine shields that cover the observatory's windows, Ooh, and a cool. large chunk of stone from another building has crashed through the roof and embedded itself into the floor like a jagged stone knife. The intruding okay. fragment bears a strange inscription on one side. You land, and uh, you watch as the slot looks up and goes back to the telescope. Interesting. Whoa. And just, uh, Are they mumbling in uh, understandable language? That's what you hear. Okay. Sneak attack. No. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't think, I don't think I will. So you, you just kind of uh, sit in the book, room and you take this in? I see that there's books. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, is there anything else strewn about? Or is it? Uh, there is yeah. what looks like a... Sorry. It's really cool. That guy. Yeah. Or gal. Uh, there's a stairway that goes down. That's it? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, do I know this is a telescope? Do I know what this thing is? Uh, Whoa. Hey. Is that, is that oh. her? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's a stairway that looks like it goes down. <laughs> do I know that's a telescope? You know that's a telescope. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Uh, Hang on one second. Let me get you something here. I'm a little shell shocked right now. I did not expect a slod looking into a telescope. I'm gonna be honest. No, neither did I. No. <laughs> Pleasant surprises. Sorry, give me a sec here. A non-hostile slod. Non-hostile. What is it? That's kind of the. Uh, it's fucking huge. But Ooh, that's the room you're in. There's stuff over there. Look. Yeah, maybe like some Look. writing that says. What's over here? here? Yeah, there. I told you there is a there is a a piece. Of uh, there is oh. a the jagged stone. Oh, that's the jagged a stone. The roof is a oh, sorry, I thought, it was, stone I thought, I thought it would be bigger than that. Yep. Can I read the inscription? It's intraconic. God, oh. Oh. fucking damn it. Maybe you could. Maybe you could take a little sketch. Sylvan is useless. You got some uh, paper on the table and start pencils. I'm tempted. Or right, I'll go as if I'm gonna like. Oh, because this could be a thing. Look at it mm -hmm. and see if the slot. The slot doesn't give a shit. I mean, it's huge. You can't put it in your pocket. It's like five oh, feet. Oh, it's not wide. on a table. Okay, I no, understand. No, no. It, it is a piece of stone that fell through the roof, embedded into the floor, and has an inscription I on it. I understand now. I thought that the blue markings were things no, on a table. No, 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 no. It's enormous. Okay, I understand. It is the table. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, it now. is the table. I understand. Uh, you pocket and your character's like encumbered. <laughs> <laughs> can't remember. All right, yeah, let's see what's downstairs then. Okay. As you make your way downstairs, um, I, we can say this is a turn if you want. I went that, and I looked at that thing. I want to tell you what's going on, though. Um, okay. As you go to the stairs and you make your way down, you see what um, you're just kind of like, hmm, don't know what that says. And then you hear like fighting going on. And you're like, oh shit! And you start to move. Oh, actually, yeah, that's where we'll end your turn. You just put yourself on those stairs right there because that's where you are. And I will continue the combat music as we go into the rest <laughs> of the turn. Um, all right. Um, the Galvin Majin C, because I have numbers, not fucking um, letters. letters. So uh, uh, the Galvin ones are the ones in the back, so I've got five, six, and seven. Yeah. So C will be five. Um, that makes sense. It doesn't. You it doesn't. also said that you have numbers, not letters. But you have letters, not numbers. I have no way to, to, to do anything about this. Do you, do you want me no, to try? No, that's fine. Um, yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Um, can you just write it down when you can? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just write down right now that C. Mage in C? Yes. Sorry, put Galvin C. Yeah. Is equal to five. Um, that one it looks forward as, as it looks up and sees Bryn go inside. It just looks down at the rest of you. Um, and uh, the, the lot of you over there, you just did that emulation. Okay. So it is going to. Yeah. Yeah. I held I held a lot of a lot of time. I, I had to strain myself to not say this as soon as you were talking about the rod with the with the magen and that they were servants because it's going to use its static discharge. <laughs> it discharges a lightning bolt in a 60 foot line that is five feet wide. Um, it is going to float forward so it doesn't hit his own guy. Yep, mm -hmm. he's just gonna float a little bit forward, and then uh, mm -hmm. he just zzz, does the does the lightning strike directly at Immolation. Yep. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Perfect. That's Are you wearing armor made of metal? Mithril. 
me through. Is mithril metal? I can imagine it is, but... It is. You have disadvantage. Well, it's an eight, because I rolled a two. Nice. I try to roll a one if you yeah. like. Yeah, unfortunately you fail. I'm going to see if I can get... No, same thing. You're gonna what? Sorry. I was gonna see if I get a one to flip oh, the coin. Oh, oh, oh! You're gonna fish for a one. Yep. <laughs> oh, just flip the coin. That's yeah. like you can fish for a one. You take twenty lightning damage. Okay. <laughs> Bryn, as you are starting to go down the stairs, you hear a and turning around the corner, you see this large blue creature no. with these enormous no. oh, talons. There he is. <laughs> there he is, is the cat. Um, turn around the corner, large frog-like face as it uh -oh. turns and looks up the thing as you see a one. blue slod look upwards. <laughs> and it begins to uh, make its way over to attack you. Can you put that over there? He's Ew. not blue, but he's... He's, he's, a, he's packing to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it oh, Jesus. goes up towards the stairs oh. and it is going to take its claw and um, it's uh, going to make three attacks. It's going to try to bite you and it then might. claw you twice as it, it oh. sort of like follows you up the stairs as it's like attacking you. Um, the bite is going to be a 16. Miss. Right, your AC is 18. Um, and then the, so the bite, you just back out of the way. The claw is going to be a 21. Uh, defensive duelist. Defensive duelist, you block that one. And the uh, second one is going to be a 16. Miss. Cool, you block all, you're just like, <laughs> fuck, 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 as you're, just, as you're just getting attacked. I want nothing to do with this thing. Galvin D is going to be six. D does, okay. <laughs> um, Galvin that D's. one is going to do uh, a similar method. It's going to come off to the side here and it's going to Discharge. shoot lightning at immolation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. That's what they call it discharge. Yeah. A little static discharge. It, like, Eight. that's why it never touched the ground. Because oh. it touched the ground, does this, and it gets up and goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, that's all the only abilities it has is, is it has a shocking touch and it has a has a static the, discharge. These They're are just lightning. Actually, balloons. Is it twenty it's again? Like, uh, oh. It's twenty nine this time. Whoa! Twenty nine lightning damage. Chicken. It is now your turn, Emulation. Okay. Well, oh, go okay. stomp on that one. <laughs> yeah, you can go go. <laughs> <laughs> you can grab and throw. It's, it's, yeah. It's not. Get the fuck out of here. Damaging. Yeah. It's not damaging. There oh. it goes. I was like, why, why I was going to say not? it is damaging her, no, actually. No, absolutely. It's supposed to be, but it, it wasn't. I'm um, sorry. I just didn't want it. No, you're good. I'm just trying to give you some room. Sorry. Um, <sighs> she's probably okay to take a few more of those. Okay. Oh, Don't forget your ten foot reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh. true. Lathander's blessing. <laughs> yeah, Lathander's La blessing. Lathander's blessing. There we go. Um... <laughs> Right here, it's like 10 feet, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's 10 feet. Okay, I, I, I hit. Okay. Bomb. Oh, just to let you guys know, all of that ice, if you dash on it, uh, you will have to make what a if save. we're wearing oh. crampons? Are you? Always. My, my belt in. You're cool. You have crampons? Why not? We've always had crampons. Yeah, unless otherwise stated. Fuck me, then. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just never see a reason we you're would right, take no, them no, out. You're right, you're right, you're right. I like the idea that we'd run and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a reason. Just kidding. Yeah. 17. <laughs> 17 to hit the Galvin Majin. Yes. Maybe in my you house. You definitely hit. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which um, one are you hitting? The, the guy who shocked Six. me. Yeah. yeah. Which is D. Yes. D. It's nuts. Uh, Quint, yes. Okay. D. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to start lying. Oh, you're though. down. <laughs> and then another two. Ten. Eight, uh, so 18 plus uh, 7 is 24? 24 damage? 24? Yeah, you go yeah. over, it, this thing just sort of like shocked you with lightning, you go over and you just 18 <coughs> plus 7? Is that what you said? I was, I said, I, I was doing 6, it's 25, right? No, it's I think more it's, than that. I think it's 26? <laughs> no. I don't know, it's Did you roll the app? I did, but... 25. It, it's but not showing up. Yeah, you're right. It isn't. Yeah. Because I have you it in the game log, but normally I can just see it. Yeah, so, because um, because I, I don't have the 2D10. Got it. Yeah. Um, How's he? How healthy is he looking? Uh, did you do 24? How much did you 25. do? 25. 25? 25. 
he uh, you go over and you um, he strikes you with lightning and you go over and you you hit him with a hit that would kill any normal person uh -huh. and you just kind of like Tunk! it's like hitting like a, a almost uh -huh. uh, he's very very still as you hit him it hurt him something cracked in there but it does he doesn't seem bothered by it as he's just like, he's just, like continuing okay. to fight he um, mm -hmm. I, I hit again that, that these is... things are effectively magic robots that's cool 26 to hit yep God. Um, and then I'm gonna do a third level second got level it. smite sorry got it uh, 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay. So 12 total or 12? No. 12 weapon damage. Uh, and another 6 damage, so 18. Nice. He's now bloodied. As you whack into him again, poof, it goes off to the side. This time he sort of spits out a bit of blood yeah. um, and you just see it spatter on the ground and it's just that like silvery mercury sort of look to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, very shimmery and sort of light um, as it sort of like uh, 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 dribbles across the ground. I think I'm gonna yeah. move back. Okay, so he's that gonna, way I'm not He's gonna in line get an opportunity to attack. Uh, no, because I have mobile. You do have mobile. I do. But those guys over there. Uh, I was within. T I had ten feet. I arranged. Fucking, they, none of them could have hit you. <laughs> what am I, I saying? I don't know what to tell you. You gave right. me this power. The, de the Demos Majin C. Uh, <laughs> uh, who, who's he? It's just me getting mad at myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, the f the highest number. Cool. Demos C. He is going to. Uh, you want the highest number of of yeah? It, that of one's one. That one's fine. Yeah, that one's okay. Oh, the highest being like the first in rank. It, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Whichever one is first. That one's gonna go. It's gonna run up to immolation. Okay. Um, and it's going oh. to uh, take out its great sword, yeah. Yeah. and uh, it's going to make two attacks. That's right. It's gonna uh, it gets up on you. a eighteen and a seventeen. Those both hit. That is eighteen slashing damage total. Um, Galvin E, which is just the last one. Okay. Seven. Seven. Uh, he's going to come around. Like here? Me? Yep. Sorry. Is it hard to... He's actually going to back up. That's actually good. Oh. He's going to go all the way back. Towards this. Towards the... Here. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Here. Ah. To get a line. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get a line. He's going to be able to hit... He's going to uh, hit his bro, though. In the back of, in the, he is going to hit his bro. Give him five more feet this way. Uh, both of you rolled deck saves. You definitely have disadvantage. Uh, plus four. Ooh. Both plus four. That's pretty good. Bzz. 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 A little less of a bzz. Yeah. Bzz. Ooh. Uh, oh, hang on. Okay, okay. Oh, really not hitting its prints. Plus seven, plus uh, huh? 16. No. 19. 19? 19, 19 is a success. With this. Um, with this, dang, you take 14 lightning damage. Oh, I see. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, also take 14 lightning damage. Uh, Lazarus, it's your turn. 14? I have been waiting my entire career as a ranger to do this. <gasps> oh, no. Too much time? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> yeah. six. I'm going to cast Conjure Barrage. <gasps> Dude! <laughs> yes! Yes! He got it's going to yes! hit everyone minus this fool. And that one. What does it look like? You got you got to do your test run. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Ago, yeah. yeah. Um, What's it look like? It looks like. Uh, I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll have him come up and draw the bow, and then in front of like where the arrow's at, we'll have like a special like little bear head come out. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then once the arrow goes through through the bear's mouth, it just becomes like like gray needles. Oh, that's and cool. We'll just it's not even like arrows. Just yeah. <laughs> they're just all going through. Yeah. So dex they saves. Just destroy that area. Um, all right. So I mean, dex I, saves I minus this there. guy and that guy. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Actually, technically one as well. So it's only these four in the center. Okay. Because it's a cone. Two Galvin ones right there. They have Couldn't a plus four. Couldn't you go back four. one more and hit? I don't know if I had that movement for that. Yeah, yeah. Because you were you go diagonal. You could have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they have the Hypnos one as well. Okay, so the Galvin ones will do first. There's the first yeah. one in the front. He gets a they have magic resistance. They do. Sorry. That's fine. Um, get damage in twenty one. Uh, the second one is going to get uh, dirty twenty. No, sorry, nineteen. Okay. Um, then the two um, normal ones okay. there, not normal ones, the Demos ones. Okay. Uh, first one gets twelve. Uh, fail. 
Second one gets natural 20. We're good. 22. Um, and then the Hypnos one. Let's do this. Place them backwards if they fail. Ha natural 20 as well. Cool. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. Uh, I think you take half? I think only, yeah, only one okay. is going to take this. So that'll be four that takes all those. Okay. Take full. Uh, oh, no, that's the wrong one. There it is. Uh, that will be a total of seven. <laughs> or <laughs> four. Serious? Yeah. Well, I'm a ranger, but I hit a. I hit How much damage targets. does it do? 3d8. Three three and you rolled seven? Yeah, I rolled seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It turns out how dice goes. That's all right. Contrabage itself is a wonderful spell. You can use your inspiration for whatever you roll. The damage? Roll the damage? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. All right. This is a very nice spell. Yeah, flip your coin. I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Speed like three. It's 15. Oh, 15. There you go. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, so it takes seven, and then that one will take Four uh, takes 15. 15. Yeah. Do, you re do you recall which one that? Yeah, uh, four's, not, four's not gone yet. Four's so not I gone. I don't know what it is. That's perfect. So four takes, so that one's E. Four that one takes four, 15, 15. And then all of them except for that guy over there take and this seven. Guy. Yeah. And that one, which is the. One. Uh, the one is C. C. So, okay. You must see. Why? Seven. Okay. And the team on chooses differently. Oh. Yes. Yeah, she chooses letters Boop. over numbers. Yeah. Boop. Because you're already going to have numbers and, hip, and, and like HP and everything. And That's annoying. Yeah, Boop. it's just easier to not. Even though this is how they're done. Oops, I don't know. Boop. Yep, you fucking hit all of them. Um, the one that you, the Galvin Majin that you had hit is still bloodied, um, but they all just like <laughs> take all these needles. Uh, some of them, um, as you like pull back the bow mm -hmm. and begin to cast the spell, it's almost like they react to the fact that you're casting the spell via the weave, okay. and they almost like immediately begin to dodge that as as it happens. Um, and then uh, so the one in the middle is sort of caught off guard and does get the brunt of it, but they all still uh, take some damage and look a little hurt. Uh, Kazira, it's your turn. Is your background on D&D Beyond Vecna? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Beyond's fucking rad. I love Beyond. Um, yeah, it's the new Vecna design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, I saw it because I was peeping the character sheet. Yeah, Vecna's cool. I'm, I'm a sucker for digital dice, for new borders, for for new little character like Same. things. Same. Uh, I love the. I love it so much. Me too. I'm gonna attack. Uh, which one is six? Do you know? Uh, six is. D. 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 Galvin yep. D. Galvin D. That Galvin one is Galvin the one that's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> that, one, that, one is, that one is bloodied. Uh, that's a. Uh, I see you thank you for the same thought. thought yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, easy. A 25 hit. and a 15. Both Ooh. hit. Good, good, good. Come on. Uh, could I. Sorry, I forgot to do my uh, my my right. blood rights. My right. My single it's right. It's my right. Time yeah. Bryn had to solo a monster. It's my single I'd have right to have blood. <laughs> No, I've, I've got I've got a backup plan. Oh, <laughs> dang. No, we were just talking about that. It's kind of weird. It's that was a lot. It's not yeah. a lot, but it's weird that Max. it happened. <laughs> um, the first time it happened, six and it was fine. This from, time, uh, my rights. Six damage from yeah. your rights. I'm my way more afraid of trying to solve this. Your rights are radiant, right? right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You really can't be hit. Yeah. You go over to <laughs> yeah. this guy um, as Immolation has just pounded him, and then um, he just gets hit with some Conjure Barrage, and then you just <laughs> strike into him. He's looking hurt. Uh, maybe I can kill them then. Your yeah, crystal rod would be too large. They, they, they have no resistances or immunities except to lightning poison. Oh, Valid. not lightning. The Galvin ones are immune to lightning. Uh, okay. Um, Valid. Yeah, eight, ten, um, eleven, uh, nineteen. Uh, that one is dead. Okay. Cool. You go over to it, Kazira, and you finish it off. You just cut it at one point, and then you stab it right through uh, the chest, and that mercury-like blood just spills all over the ground as it um, uh, begins to fall, and then it, from your sword, disintegrates into a harmless burst of fire and smoke. Just oh, that's and it's gone. Cool. Oh, I hate that. Yep. Hate that it doesn't leave behind anything. Just no. It's gone. Um, <clears throat> is that your turn? Uh, bonus action, two attacks, movement, yep. Okay, um, then the Hypnosmogin, Majin, is uh, going to turn, mm -hmm. and its blue glowing eyes, as it holds its hands down, is going to stare up towards you, Immolation, and you watch as your entire vision becomes it, as you hear a voice in the back of your mind that sounds like your own. Oh, no. It sounds like it creeps forward. That sounds like it compels you to do something, to leave, to mm -hmm. run. And you realize this voice is not your own, but that of your sister's. Roll a wisdom saving throw. 
I was like, this sounds like a wisdom. Is this about being frightened of me? No. Okay. <laughs> I just thought no. I'd have to ask. No, 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 it's all, I'm sure you'd still, it's a different, it's, it's, it's not, a spell-like ability. It's like fear, fear okay. can't chase it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just saying I can't be frightened, that's all I'm saying. No, I'm you, saying you, 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 Actually, you I don't tripped. think that's true. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> not yet, you anyway. You can be adjacently <laughs> frightened. Wisdom. <laughs> you can be mentally scarred. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's basically like being frightened. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you have this small vision for just a moment of 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 your sister looking up at you and saying, "I, I said, I just suggest that you leave, Ethan." Mm. Then I remember she's home safe with my wife. And it all comes back to you, and and that that major just staring at you like. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> like, I, I, just, I just had to do it to him. All right? I, I had to do it to him. They yeah, told yeah, me yeah. to. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing that. He's doing this. And then you go. Yeah. And then he, and then he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 the Demos Mage in E, which is the one that we didn't count yet, but took damage from your thing, is going to uh, go over to Kazira. Absolutely. And is going to make two um, great sword attacks on you. Uh, wow, fourteen and six. Both miss. Yeah, Velen is going to. Let's see here. I hope this little she's got some. She's got some shit. Isn't mad that we killed all our guys. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. I, I just hope they don't. I hope that's not like his know. son or something. Yeah. Mm, I was looking for a cure for my son's madness. He's <laughs> downstairs. Don't go down there. I had to chain him up. <laughs> uh, she's going to get into a point. Could you get her to a point where she can? She has movement of thirty feet. Yeah. She can get a fifteen foot cone on something. On something? Yeah. You could go here. That's two. Oh, sorry. Two. I was thinking for some reason that she could only that's move fine. fifteen She'll feet. Go there. Right. Okay, there you go. Go. Yeah, right here. No, I don't she needs know to be why she's trying back. to get us. Yep. In the she can hit. Right here won't hit. No, because the cone starts on the next base. Oh, I see. Well, she goes there. Then she could hit one, two, and three, right? Is that not and Kazira. Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. So here. Right there. Yeah, yeah. She'll hit those two right there. She's going to uh, hold out, and she's gonna her hands and cast Frost Fingers again. Let's see any. Uh, they get advantage, and they get a, what is it, Constitution? Oh, they're not good at that. Um, it's the Galvin and the Demos. The Demos failed. The Galvin gets a these two success. These um, these are both Demoses. No, it's the one on, on her left. It's not that one. That one's better. Yeah, it's that one. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. No, that's no, no, no. These two. Yeah, I think she can only hit one. I mean, she could have done that. Yeah, just have her do that. That's yeah, fine. There you go. So let's hit both of those. Yeah. Who, uh, they both fail. So they will take... Um, That's C and E. C is one. C and E. E is four. Thank you. She uses a third level slot to cast it. She does 13 cold damage to both of them. Feel that. C and E. Yep. Okay, C and E. e. And E is bloodied. The final Demos Magen will go which is that one, and it's going to flank Kazira and hit him twice, oh, plus no. two. Um, uh, sorry. Okay. Lum, lum, 18 lum. and nine. 18 hits. 18 hits, that's nine slashing damage. Ow. Top of the round, Bryn. Okay. Um, do I have an opportunity to see anything else in the room at all, or is that's all I can see is? Sorry. You know, um, it's because you were like going down the stairs, so I figured you wouldn't. But um, really? yeah, actually, it's completely featureless on the bottom of this of this tower. Really, completely okay. featureless. The only thing you see is the door, which is on this side, not that side, gotcha. because we originally said. Right, right, right. Yeah. Bonus action: disengage. Take okay. me back on up. Take yourself back on up. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to bring myself over to uh, the squad that is uh, studying. Okay. And be like, "Hey, I uh, think you could call your friend off." And I'm gonna dodge. You, as you as you begin to talk to me, like, "Hey, can you like call your friend off?" It turns, looks at you, and goes, and it goes back to the telescope. 
I'll, I'll duck under the telescope then and dodge, and maybe she'll do something about it if this guy starts beating the shit out of Really? Me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to touch the telescope. I'll just kind of, like, get into a position where if this thing's going to attack me, it's going to hit the telescope. So you're just going to go underneath it? Yeah. Just As like, you get closer towards it, the, uh, the, the, the green slot looks at you and just goes... <sighs> do you go under it? No, that's just gonna cause problems. I'll just I'll just keep the dodge up. Okay, you're just gonna dodge. Sounds good. Um, she takes her turn and does nothing. Um, she continues fiddling with the telescope. Um, the Gal Galvin C. Which one is that? Uh, Galvin C is number five. Also, okay. what is Demos three? Well, the guy that just went before. What is his D. Thank you. Um, that one is going to try to get its static discharge back. Does not get it. Instead, we'll uh, get right up to immolation and use two static uh, shocking touches. Um, one of them is going to be an 18. The other one's going to be a 25. Yeah, those will both hit. Uh, all right. That is... Uh, the first one is nine lightning damage. Uh -huh. And the second one is uh, seven lightning damage. So a total of 16. Yep. Uh, the blue slot is next. It goes up to the yep. next level. Um, and then why don't we just use that as the top level now? Yep, that's fine. So uh, put this one up here. We'll just say it's that big. Fuck it. Something it's like that. that. Um, yeah, and we'll put a thing down for the fucking telescope, I guess. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, I have something kind of cool, actually. This is a telescope. That's a telescope, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just put that, Perfect. yeah, right there. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, um, I mean, it'd be pointed more this way because the, it points out the hole that you came through. So, so maybe it's like that. something more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I guess like it would look something more. So you like kind of would go over towards it. It's The blue one's going to come up and it gets right up next to you and it's going to do its three attacks yeah. on you again. Disengage. And the green one just seems to just completely un uninterested. Doesn't doesn't care. Um, right. uh, disadvantage on all the attacks because I'm dodging. Right, right, right. Sorry, I'll keep that one. Uh, I rolled a 13 and a 17. 22. Uh, I think, I don't think I can, yeah, I can't block that. Okay, so that's the bite. Okay. You take, um, the bite hits you for 11 piercing damage. It just sort of like gets on your arm. He's like, ah! And then uh, two claw attacks. First one, it, Jesus Christ. 25. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Second claw is going to be a 14. Uh, that misses. Okay. Uh, the, the second claw that hits you deals uh, 17 slashing damage. Roll a constitution saving throw. You roll a natural. Oh, I was like, you had a coin? No. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. It. Um, do you want me to tell you or do you want me to send it to you? Send it. Okay. Sending it's so much more fun. There's shenanigans going on. Just for the record, um, Bryn doesn't really know this. Yeah, that's She just fine, doesn't yeah. feel right, and that's about it. No. Um, Immolation. Fine. Um, she is going oh, to lay on hands for 44 points. Oh. You're going to lay on hands for 44 points? Wait. Yep. On yourself? Yep. All right. I was at 11, so I think it's important. It's pretty high that you can heal 44 hit points. <laughs> and That's one go. fucking sick. Uh, yep. Um, I don't think she has a good bonus action okay. to use. So that'll cool. be it. Leave. You have a... Uh, Actually, I lied. I'm going to use Sanctuary. Yeah, it's a bonus yeah. section. I'll do that. You cast Sanctuary. On yourself? Yeah. Sounds Absolutely. good. Um, Demos C. Which one is that? Demos C is number one. That's the one that's on you. Has to roll a wisdom save in order to uh, try to hit you, right? Um, it rolled a... Has advantage, but a minus two. Wait, no. But a plus zero, you got a 15. 16. Ooh! They so that's to choose a new target, right? Yep, or lose it's the It's going to go for spell. Velen. 
it will walk over and attack that one. No. Just by five feet. If you could move it, Craig. Sorry, the one right in front of, yep, that one, yep. Uh, natural one. <laughs> Velen feels so cool because she has bracers of defense and mage <laughs> armor, and a 23 still hits her. Yes. She's like, no! Um, and she's going to take nine slashing damage. Uh, and then... <clears throat> Galvin E. I'll show you something later. Could you can, Which one is Galvin E? Galvin E is number seven. Okay, he's going to try to get his static discharge back, does not get it back. Um, and he's way the fuck over there, so he's just gonna move in on Kazira and do two shocking grasps. Uh, um, he has advantage. Yep. Bzz, bzz, bzz. He has advantage. I'm wearing armor. Uh, yes, that is how that works. <laughs> that is how shocking <laughs> grasp works. Yeah. Sixteen. That'll do. And twenty-five. Eighteen. 18 hit, so I think 25 also hits. 13 lightning damage. Okay. Uh, Lazarus, it's your turn. Whatever you're ready. Uh, let me see. I think this fucking dude over here is acting up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to... Fuck it, let's... Let's turn on him. I'll use my gun on him. Okay. I'm gonna try and. Cause you're on deck. Big shot. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Cause I, I'm gonna keep using my longbow. It's probably a better option. Me roll to hit. That's a dirty twenty. Hit. Okay. That's gonna be. And let's do the second one just to get out of the way. Which one are you shooting? Sorry. Uh, number eight, the only hypnos one. Got it. And that will be a sixteen. Sixteen also hits. Cool. Nice. Uh, that's going to be a grand He's total. He's turn. Uh, Is it a one? Oh. Uh, well, it's eight points for the first. Okay. And the second will be uh, only six. So He is bloodied as you fire those two cool. into him. And then I'm going to move like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just a break line of sight of him. Kazira. Um, well, i got quite a few guys on me. Um, then it's a few guys until it's Brent's turn. I'm going to... Attack the um, number four. Number four? Yeah, which is E yep. for you. Um, twice. Demos E? Yeah. Easy. Go for it. Big hits. Natural 20. Ooh! And uh, dirty 20. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Has. Both hit. So, big damage. First attack. Um, six. 11, 12, so 16 for the, 16 for the first. Yep. And 16 damage for the first one? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, 9 for the second. Dead. Cool. You go over two quick strikes. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, if you could remove that one for me. Sorry. E. This one? E. Uh, four. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, the Hypnos one is going to go next. Uh, it is going to, let me see what it can do. Sorry. Just kind um, of eight. Uh, it's going to, one, yeah, it's that one. He's this going one, to, Lazarus. he's going to target Velen. No. With suggestion. Um. He has plus four, right? Yeah, um. What? Counterspell? You can guess counterspell? Redemption Paladin. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's I don't like, know if it's that important, goes, but I'm like, me, 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 me. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, no, 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 no. And <laughs> Helen's like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, okay, just it's her turn. Uh, she is going to. Oh, she is really concerned about Bryn. Um, she is. She's concerned that you're finding something better than she did. <laughs> Make sure your plus to hit is the same. Okay. Um, if not, we can adjust it. That's only I could figure out. And I appreciate it. Sorry, give me a second. I'm quickly reading familiar stuff. It acts independent of you. Okay, well then it'll just go on her turn suddenly. Um, she's going to command her, her, her familiar to fly into the building. Um, and then... Oh, 
figure out what's going on. Then she's going to uh, use her action to see through its eyes, and then she's can going she to get pop into back. It this and time? Hmm? can can the familiar get in? The birds are good. Yeah, it's uh, I, I, I don't know what it's like. Super fast bird. It's right there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's at least 60. Okay. Which is fine. Um, and uh, 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 she'll come back and she'll say, Brin's in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> on it. You got it? Uh, unless you want to go as well. I can cast fly on someone. That's her turn, though. That's all she can do. Um, rock, 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 Demos D. Which one is Demos D? That one? You sure? It's right next to you, okay. Kazara. Can you climb? Oh, I'm sure face the wall. Oh. That's, yeah, that'll be faster. Can we do that? Okay. Yeah. This one is Demos D, right? Uh, Demos D's, yes. He is number three. Up. I'm gonna flank Kazira. Two great sword attacks. Um, <laughs> I'm like double in, elevens. I'm like in between two spaces. Double elevens? Yep. Plus, is that plus anything or? Uh, yeah, seven plus four. Oh, I uh, know. Uh, Brain, it's your turn. All right. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I thought that that one slide might be a little bit of a, a helpful, but that one slide has been nothing but uh, mm -hmm. not help. So I'm going to disengage again. Okay. And fuck that slot, I'm climbing up the telescope. Okay. Oh. As soon as you touch the telescope, the that slot <laughs> gets very, very angry. Um, but you can go ahead and climb up it. Um, so disengage. I'll let, you, I'll let you disengage, get to the top of it, that's as much as you can cool. do. And, and as you look at the hole, well, you see a, you see a Velen's owl without its eyes. And I'll use, my, I'll use my action to dodge. Okay, okay. Um, Once again. Perfectly fine. The green slot is now going to go, um, and it is going to... What is it going to do, climb up the telescope? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do? What is it going to do, huh? Uh, it's going to uh, look, take got... its staff... Point it oh, and cast Hurl Flame twice. Oh my god. It's not cast, it's just Hurling Flame at you Fuck twice. it, it's not even a spell, so I can't even do Mage Slayer. So god damn it. Yeah, I'll let you do it. The Slot is taking Yes. The oh, Slot is taking bold? its staff and it's like... Oh no. That's a cool staff. It pulls out its Glock and it goes... Yeah, it goes... What does your Mage Slayer do? When, it, when they cast a spell, I can use my reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. If you're within five feet. Um, yes. And when I damage a creature that's concentrating on a spell, that creature has disadvantage on the saving throw. It makes to maintain its concentration. Okay. I'm not within five feet, am I? Okay. You're at least 15 feet up. Um, you have a lot going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh... You crit, didn't you? No, I didn't. I'm just like rolling shit for them and uh, so Disadvantage because I'm dodging again. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. So this is the disadvantage. Okay. This one's dirty 20. That still hits. I can't defensive duelist a spell. And that one is a disadvantage? Yeah. 12. That one will miss. Take 10 fire damage. Yeah, it's specifically melee attacks. I can... Shoots two flame at you and it's just going... <laughs> Way better. If the other one doesn't start climbing, then that's way better. Then. Galvin C. Which one is that? I can I can handle a few Galvin shots from that. Galvin C is number five. Okay. Someone's going to try to get its discharge back. It does get it back, and it's going to use it. Uh, it's going to... Which one is that? Seven? It's number... Uh, C is five. Five. That's that one right there. Uh, it's just going to move around immolation a little bit, and it's going to target Velen and you with the discharge. So both of you will... Velen is more. not wearing metal armor, Good. I think. She ha does have the bracers of defense. How far does, does the beam go? This one can be leather. 60 feet. It'll hit three Enchanted well. leather. Oh, right, right, right. It'll just go right here. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> What's up? I said the bracers could be leather. What's the range Enchanted of that leather. thing? 60 feet. Oh, 60. I thought you said 15. No, no, no. I rolled an 8. Let me see what their ability says. It has to be armor, because technically it's not armor. Nope. Um, armor. Valen doesn't have disadvantage. Yep. Is the she gets one, a 16. It is um, the one clothing-based way to increase your AC. As plus a four, that's a dirty 20. As a barbarian. Wow. Yeah. Um, and how, what'd you get, Emulation? Uh, an eight. An eight. Fortunately, that fails. Yeah. 
So you will take, oh fuck, that's some tens, 25, and Velen will take 12. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the blue slot is gonna go next, uh, and oh, it's- Oh, did it? No, it did make an attack against me, right? Because I have- No. Yeah, I have Sanctuary. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, it just did a area of effect. You just ha happened to be in it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, sanctuary concentration? Uh, e e sanctuary, yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, the blue slot <laughs> is going to follow suit and start oh climbing God. up God on the damn thing. damn it, I thought it wouldn't do it. And it's it like it's rickety and hard for it. It's like, <clears throat> like going up it. But the green slot now pissed at both of you, is now looking at a ah, and is oh. climbing its way up. And now the green slot is attention is now just on both of you instead of just the one. It get, it climbs its way up um, and it's going to- um, do, its, do its thing? Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna only let it do its claws. Because I, I think that because it's like crawling, it can sure. only like reach you like that far. It can't like lunge at you to bite. So two claw attacks. Uh, one of them's going to be a 17. That'll miss. The other one's going to be a 25. Yeah, I, I can't do anything about that. Um, you take 13 slashing damage. Uh, immolation. Um, I'm sorry. No, it won't matter because Sanctuary is going to drop anyway right now. I'm going to hit. Oh, yeah, because if you attack, it goes away. Yeah. yeah. So, I've been my actions. Wow. Jacob. Yeah. Kill you. Twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight is gonna hit. Yeah, I rolled a natural one too. So. Sorry, did you say? Sorry, or am seventeen, I and then I'm rolling smite damage. Yeah, you're good. You're good. 11. I was just making sure if I, if you just said it, and I just ignored you. Twenty-eight. <laughs> 28. Twenty-eight damage yeah. to. Uh, sorry, which one? The this this guy here. That guy right shocked there. Me. You just shocked yeah. you. Yeah. Um, twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. 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 Um, he is bloodied. Okay. Um, Demos C. Which one is that? Number, Number one. one. Right in front. That's the only one. Uh, it is going to. That was Demos three. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, that one is just going to attack Immolation uh -huh. twice with the Great Sword. Um, nine and 21. 21 will hit. Okay, that's going to be uh, uh, nine slashing damage. Galvin E, that's four. <coughs> four? Uh, I'm sorry, Gal I'm sorry, Galvin E is seven. I apologize. Seven. Um, that one is going to do two, just going to try to get his charge back. It doesn't get it back. Two shock and grasp on Kazira. Um, that is, he has advantage. 22 and uh, 24. Yep. Uh, it's going to be 14 lightning damage. Lazarus. Okay. I'll give Kazira a nod and I'll right. step into the ethereal plane. <laughs> you I'll disappear into the ethereal plane. Go through this wall. All right. Um, where, yeah, the ethereal plane doesn't look too different um, from Aetherin. There's just a lot going on, but as soon as you appear into it, um, you head inside, you see this bare empty room with a staircase that goes up, and as you make your way up this staircase, you see this chaos going on up here. Wait, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to figure out where the start of the staircase is. It's, I think it's Yeah, here. I think it's that. So, it's so one, I think it's, two, four, five, six, and then you need to go around which I think I'm is at the top. 10 feet. Okay, you guys, you, you uh, are you still in the ethereal plane? Uh, I will action, but uh, that's the end of my turn, I bounce back out. Okay, and you see everything that's going on in here. Oh. The uh, green slot, even though it kind of knows you're there, doesn't seem to be bothered with you. Cause here. Uh, I'm gonna attack the seven, so okay. uh, E. Got yeah. it. Are you all right? No. <laughs> it's like backing up on a telescope. This thing's like. Yeah. If, <laughs> if, if we're if we're talking D and D enemy terms, I'm currently mortal. Oh, why don't you get down from there and uh, get on get on the first floor? Uh, Thirteen. You know. Thirteen. Why don't you Two get hit. out of there? Yeah. No, I, I know it's it's uh, on the it's on the docket. Trust me. 
The Galvin one in front of you? Yeah. Or the fighter one behind you? The one in front of me. Okay, that misses. Okay. I miss both. All right. Um, the Hypnos one is going to target uh, Immolation with yeah. a Psychic Lash. Go ahead and roll a Wisdom Saving Throw. Okay. Its eyes glow silver. He's dumb. I gotta take a chance if I do that. Natural though. 20. Amazing! You take no damage. We'll it's Valen's turn. It'll be interesting. Valen's going to cast Fly on herself, and she's going to disengage and fly all the way up to like where Brynn is. How is she doing both of those things? Hmm? How is she disengaging? She and can't. She's. Fly? You can have a disengage first, provoke opportunity attacks, then fly. Yeah, I'll do that. So concentration is going to be. You're so involved. smart. Um, yeah, so she'll move away. That's two. See if the. Uh, uh, that's two. Two. So, um, two. 16 hits. That one doesn't. She takes four damage. Um, no, she takes nine damage. Uh, then she's going to cast fly and then she's going to go up. Hi. And she's basically next to Bryn. She's going to be in the hole next to her owl. And she's holding out her hand. She's just like, hold on, come on, come on. She's oh. like holding her hand out towards you. Oh. All right, we've got two other options here. No. Okay. okay. And she sees yeah, yeah, yeah. she sees you and she's like, nope. so I, we didn't put, no, no, I didn't, no, 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 okay. No, 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 okay. No, 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 <laughs> there's two different options. Uh, the the Demos D that is behind Kazira is going to get an attack with plus two. 19 and 12. 19 hits. Uh, nine slashing damage. Brent. All right, I'm gonna dodge as my action. Okay. And grab the hand. I can't I, yep. do, I can't move until she does, so. Perfect. Hopefully, the, uh, we'll see how this next turn goes. Mm-hmm. Um, bad. Badly. That's fine, do it. The green slot it. takes its uh, takes its staff, points it outwards, aims very carefully, and you watch as a small red bead flings <gasps> upwards into uh -oh. the air, and then exploding just outside the hole, just enough oh, to cusp inwards um, to infl inflict the owl, Velen, and you <laughs> is a fireball. Roll dexterity saving throw. She's not within sixty feet. I need to see no. the target. Oh, that's probably true. I need to too. see the castle <laughs> casting it. <laughs> That's you know awesome. what? Do you have two? You know what? You can use that dice. Yeah. Well, you might need a revivify. <laughs> I, I might. I may also need down, a more vitality instead. Do so. Three. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. 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 I, I might. I might. I might have something. I might have something. Her snowy owl is fucking gone. <laughs> um, it's got one hit point. Half a hit point. I just messaged you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have no. a plan still. I have a plan. Nope, not how that works. Did it she? It literally says that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I didn't see that part. I thought you were talking about the other part. No, no, I, I know what you're saying. Right, right, right. This uh, is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Did, yeah. Did she drop concentration? We're um, going to find out. I'm going to find out. Uh, Velen fails the deck save. Oh, um, and then she's going to... I'm going to do the concentration yeah. check now. Coffee cake. Nope. Okay, um, so here's what happens. Uh, she's like, come on. She's like, I didn't know, I didn't know if, yeah, and then yeah. they're just both watching. They're like, oh, <clears throat> this explosion goes off. And you just uh, you just feel the heat as it moves offwards. And uh, the you just see Velen fall, and you see Bryn also fall oh, as no. they both take 27 fire damage. Can I make a request? Yeah. If, if Velen was going to fall outside, can I have pulled her in at least so she's not going to fall all the way down and take like, 40 damage to the fucking fall onto the snow. Velen, who is conscious, is going to pull you out. Oh, interesting. Opposite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so sh instead, you as you try to pull her in, you just fall from consciousness. She's going to pull you down as she falls 50 feet. Do I also fall 50 feet then? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is that for me? Is that... Uh, oh, hang on. Thanks. We'll get to it. Okay. Um, so uh, the two of you will fall. I do falling rules differently. Um, you guys will hit the ground um, at the start of the end of your next turn. Um, Galvin Mage uh, C, uh, which is uh, five. Yeah, C is five. Five. Uh, that one's just going to do two shocking grasps on you, um, Immolation, which yeah. is a 22 and a 12. Well, will not hit. Okay, uh, that is um, seven lightning damage. The blue slot is going to turn, jump onto the ground. Um, 
take four bludgeoning damage, and then attack. Um, uh, uh, Did it get hit by the fireball? Lazarus. Um, no, because it was just outside. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't all the way out there because it didn't want to hit the telescope. Um, and since they were just almost out, yeah. um, the uh, it's going to make three attacks on you. Uh, the Edward. bite is a fourteen. Get down. Uh, that hits. The claw is a twenty-seven. Hits. And the second claw is a thirteen. A miss. Okay. Uh, you take twelve piercing damage and twelve slashing damage, for a total of twenty-four. Okay. Um, and you roll a Constitution saving throw. I just. Uh, what's it against exactly? Disease. Okay, I have advantage. Uh, that is a 19. You're good. Um, <clears throat> immolation. Okay. Um, fuck. I still have one hand. On it's one, one hit point for someone. Um, if I can do really two tap. The problem is I am kind of surrounded. What, what, are the, what are the health bars of these people? Um, the one, I think they're all bloodied except for, what's Demos C? That is number one. Number one, that one is not bloodied. Galvin E. This seven. is one. Seven, yeah, those two are not bloodied. The other two are. Bloodied, <laughs> bloodied, so not bloodied, not bloodied. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna make an attack against five and one. Okay, go for it. What happened to the... Whatever. That's fine. Which one is five, Craig? Five. Uh, five is Galvin C. Okay. Um, it was a fifteen against one. Yep. Hit. Uh, and a twenty-six against the other. Yep. Yep. Okay. The first one. This is going to be the Galvin one. The one's yeah. doing the lightning stuff. That is fifteen damage for him. That one's dead. Perfect. Uh, and then. Go ahead and remove that one. Which one? That Sorry. one. Yep. This one? You just go over and <laughs> whack it in half, and it just falls apart. Um, as you go to the other one, seventeen. Seventeen damage, yeah. um, and that's uh, which one is one, Craig? Sorry. Uh, one is Demo C. C seven. Okay. Okay, she's on backup. Still bloodied. Five, ten, fifteen, right? Yep. Yeah. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Okay. Um, and then Demo C, the one that you just hit, is going to go over to Kazira. Um, actually, no, it's going to stay there, and it's going to turn. It's going to do uh, two crossbow bolts, I think it can do. Nope, just one. It'll shoot a crossbow bolt at you as you're running away. Um, it ugh, fucking gets a 22. That'll hit. Six piercing. Um, Galvin E, that's that one right there. It's going to do its shocking things on Kazira again. 14. Nice. And dirty 20. Hit. Uh, that is... Seven lightning damage, Lazarus. Okay, question. Yep. How high from the telescope is it to the ceiling or to the hole? Uh, 20 feet. Yeah. So the telescope goes up 15, which would realistically let you go five and jump out. I see. How much movement would it take to get up on top of it? Um, just like Bryn, half your movement. Um, do, can you, do you have a climbing speed? No. Okay. Uh, just half your uh, half your movement. So oh, sorry, thirty feet of movement to get up on top of it because it's fifteen feet up. Are they ought to square it first. I'm not. Okay. He's over here. One. Two, mm -hmm. three. I'm falling. But. Okay, I'm gonna do this. You could maybe claw your way down. I kind of think I have a thing because I think I can actually get up. I think. <laughs> It'll be cool because they're still falling. You just catch them midair. <laughs> I don't think you can, but um, yeah, I, I kind of. I can't. I wish I could cast a spell, but I can't. Because uh, you need dash. Well, I know I need. I, I can cast. I'm gonna cast a spell. I can't cast two spells. Got it. I'm going to cast a Charlon Stride. So my I'm gonna like kinda kneel Ooh. and my and flame's gonna come out of my 
metal legs, <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> the boosters kick in. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move because it also gives my speed by twenty. Cool. So I'll move without providing opportunity attacks. Plus I'll take a d6 fire damage. That's so I'll cool. I'll scale this <laughs> and then leap out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, tr- I'll try and catch because I also have five more catch? movement. Fine. Brent. Okay. Val- Val's still awake, right? Uh, yeah. I, I can prevent. Is she not? She's has ten hit points. That's She's fine. Fifty. If, feet. if she hits the ground, I can I can revive both of them. Okay. As long um, as they're both unconscious. Okay. I will attempt you, to try and catch Bryn. You. I will let you do it. You. You run forward. You jump up the thing, burning the thing behind it, uh, the slot behind it. As uh, as you rush forward like a rocket out of the out of the hole downwards, and um, just before they begin to plummet, you grab a uh, Bryn. Um, and what I'll let you do is I'll let you instead take the damage for the Perfect. fall. Wall she'll she won't love that okay cool four points of fire damage to this to the to this <laughs> slide that's, that's so cool and it lasts i think like 10 minutes or something <laughs> they blow up and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> just like rocket out of the room that's so sick third third level ranger spell casting is pretty fucking <laughs> under barrage or struggling so cool uh, i'm gonna attack the one in front of me again okay go for it Oh, poop. I don't know if this um, can be caught fire, but we, this would catch fire. It's not. It's made of metal. Thank God. Damn it. <laughs> no, I don't. I, no. Damn it, you. My revenge. <laughs> uh, my revenge and death. We, we, we won't want that slot to, to not want to kill us after we leave. No, hopefully what's going to happen is they're going to be like, you got my telescope. And they're going to bang, okay. bang, bang until one Hell of them dies. Yeah. I don't know. I hope so. Hell you doing yeah. that on the, on the lightning boy in front of you? Yes. Got it. Get him. Get him. Go get him. Yeah, he is not taking any damage. Yeah, I know. I missed him last time. Um, That's right. He'll, he'll, 10, he'll, he'll take some this time. Hell yeah. 10, 14, 18, 22. Is this, is, 22. Is, is, is this your right smite? No. Still not bloody, could, unfortunately, but, but he's looking might. pretty hurt. Hypnos Majin mm. is going to can move I, forward can about... I, can I do Sorry. one of my little smites on it? Your blood smites? Yeah. Yes, he can. Can you remind me what that is? Uh, well, what does your uh, radiant damage, what dice does it use? A d6. A d6. Um, you can roll... Uh, as many as you want. Up to your hit dice. Uh, yep. No, you can you can roll as many d sixes as you want to deal extra damage, but you also take, take the damage. damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About, about this. Four. Um. Not great, but uh. Four. Uh. Ten more. Oh, that's so that, that actually pretty good. I don't remember. I feel Respectable. Like- uh, what's up? Ten. Ten? Ten Ooh. extra damage. Nice. nice. He takes ten Funny damage. Number. He takes ten damage. Very nice. nice. Um, yeah, as you, like, carve into him, you also, like, sort of, like, emulate yeah, the same wound. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the Hypnos Majin is going to go next. It's going to move forward a little bit. It's going to target Kazira with a Psychic Lash. Go ahead and roll a Wisdom save. This one? Oh, God. Okay. I wish I would go like this. Guys. Wisdom? I hate that guy. He's just hanging out. He just walked over. Four. Four? You yeah. take... Uh, 11 psychic damage. Ow, my brain. Uh, oh, it's Valen's turn. Numbers. She's currently falling. Um, <laughs> Cast fly. <sighs> I should not rule it like this, but you know what? I am already, so it's okay. Uh, no, she's not going to cast fly. She is instead going to... Um, Hit the ground. <laughs> uh, yay. And he's <laughs> her brack snaps. She's going to misty step um, down 30 feet oh. to reduce the damage. So she just goes downwards, sense. and she'll fall, and hopefully not See, die. Anytime I ever roll that, it, it, it's like sense. playing with portals. You actually increase your speed. Oh! So she, she hit the ground faster. <laughs> she's like, this will work. Yeah. <laughs> she's in two pieces. We had someone take like a 500 foot fall, and then Missy stepped this way. All it did was just go like smatter him against. Oh the my god! It would just go like it just grinded cool him to the to ground. Rule that. Well, I don't know if it was good. They died, but. <laughs> But that's a, that, that's a generous thing. All right, Demos D is behind you. He's going to uh, roll with not an advantage, but a plus two, 15 and 17. Spencer. Huh? 15 and 17. Both. Both hit. Uh, 18 slashing damage. Um, what did you get one of those adamantine shields for everyone? Boom. Y'all hit the ground. I fall professionally, all right? You take 18 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh, easy. I took more when I fell off of your charts. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we jumped off the... Yeah. Roll I, a death I, safe. I took keep massive secret, damage. Keep it safe. Go ahead and just... If you mark it on your character sheet, I can I can just see it. Um, 
Immolation. Did did Velen hit the ground and survive? Or did she hit the ground and go unconscious? I'll roll her... Oh, sorry, she would have taken 2d6. Come on. She takes 7 damage and is Ooh. alive at 4 health. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we, we love it. Okay. Right. Um, Immolation. Health bars, one more time. Okay. Um, the... Uh, Zero. Go ahead. <laughs> there is Go only ahead. Demos D. Okay. Not bloodied. Yeah. Demos Galvin E, not bloodied. Demos C, bloodied near mortal. Um, and Hypnos, bloodied near mortal. Go squash them. I got these two. I'm very low, too. Okay. Okay. I got. Okay. Still have 40 hit points. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go like yeah, this. Go. Five Beefy. Feet. I'm gonna go right yeah. here. I'm gonna smash. I know. Go for it. Hulk smash. Which one is that? Seven? Is that C or, oh, sorry, is that D? No, is that E? Uh, <laughs> which number is seven? I'm which, so which, sorry. Which letter seven is seven? Only one. Seven e, is E. E, it's the only one. Sorry. Go. No, you're good. I was just confused. Okay, I'm... 23 to, to hit. Hit? I don't know. I, mean, to be honest, I don't know. I, they're both living 17? in... Seventeen? Seventeen? No, 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 sorry, to they're hit. They're just living fine. Seventeen yeah, hits? The second okay. the blue one, uh, the second uh, the blue so one touched the telescope, they went all... So that is 21 damage Ooh. with each other. For the first hit. That's true. Bloodied, near mor so uh, mortal near bloodied. Uh -huh. And then another 20 damage. Dead. Big dead. Big dead. Big dead. Big dead. Really cool. Pudding. Also, when all of these guys die, they they just turn into... They disintegrate into smoke. They just... Like a firework. Um... I think I think she's just gonna back up a little, like right okay. here for the best. All right. Yeah. What do you want? Um, Eight. Oh see, my god. Get in front of Kazira. <laughs> flank him. Um, that one. Sixteen he's and seventeen. This one? Yeah, he's in front of me. Sixteen and seventeen damage. Both hits. Uh, eighteen damage. Shit. Um, Lazarus. It's fine. I can take. Okay. Maybe okay. Okay. Two okay. more hits. Okay. I will cast cure wounds. Okay. Bren. Cast cure wounds. Uh, here's a grand total of six points. She does not awaken. No. Fuck! Kazira. I'm like, uh. Well, wait, I still have a turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stand oh, up. Oh, yeah, you do. And then I'm gonna take. When you look down and cast the spell on her, you, you go down and she her her jaw is slack. She seems alive. Like, she seems conscious, but she's. Her body is. Re like, it's strange. It's like she's rejecting the healing. And oh. you watch as her skin becomes very clammy. And you can see this sort of like, like movement sort of move across it, only very slightly. And her eyes just roll back into the back it, of her head. Uh, it motion tag out with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna use my Charlotte stride that I still have. Okay. Yeah. Oh, concentration. Concentration. Yeah. Uh, you have a coin? No. Damn. Can I flip my coin for you? Oh. Oh. Well, okay. I dropped my. That's right. Thanks. So. Uh, I can get. I can still move one. Damn. Sorry. Oh, I can't. You're like just right, right in the way. One, yeah. two, three. What if you could go under? Even you can move. I have one. I have five feet after the second space. Oh. I can go like I can go like right underneath her. Right, oh, because you I can, stood yeah, up. Yeah, I can be like right there. Yeah. You can you can stand under a creature that's two uh, sizes larger than you. <laughs> oh, cool. Those, okay. So, yeah. And then that's where I'm standing. Under your. Just gooch. don't look up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's impolite. You should. Okay. Uh, I pass my turn. Uh, oh, hang on though. Wait, hang on, little, actually. A little treat. No, I cast a spell. Oh. Fucking spells. Yeah. I'm done. I'm gonna sit quietly. Jacob, does it go to my turn after Lazarus or? One second. Sorry, uh, I'm bothering him. No, you're fine. Oh my god, I have an ability to reduce damage, and I just did it. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a heart rate down. I have to agree. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, sorry? Oh, uh, was it my turn after Lazarus? After or? Lazarus, it is, yeah, it's your turn okay. right now. I'm gonna bop the guy in front of me. Go for it. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll just try to hit him once. Okay. Uh, Which one is that, Craig? Uh, the one in front of him is uh, Demos 1, Fif or C. C, thank 15. you. 15. 15? 15 hits? Okay. Uh, I'll do a, a, a smite on that one as well. Mm, that might kill me. Never mind. Yeah, um, no, no, no. Yeah, you, you need all the hit points. Maybe I'll... Uh, 
Maybe this will just come. Four, oh, seven. I'm coming. It's just... called a blood smite. I, oh. Eleven. I have to call it a right smite. A right smite. Dead. Cool. And I turn around and try to do the same to the other. <laughs> right smite is kind of cool, too. Uh, Shit, come on. Ten does not hit. So. Ten does not hit. Um, that's your turn? Uh, yes. Okay, Hypnos One is going to cast a gesture on you. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Shit. Shit. Thirteen. You succeed. Oh. Similar to uh, to immolation, you receive a vision in your mind, that of your wife. Uh-oh. She hears and she puts her hand on your face. She says, "I suggest you kill immolation." Oh. 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 And you're like, "What the fuck? No!" no. <laughs> um, no. Velen no. You see? is like, "Ah, oh, what's wrong with what's what's wrong with Bryn? <laughs> I don't know." Okay, I don't know what to do. Uh, I hurt. Everything Just hurts. Stay down. <laughs> False life or something. Okay, I have- will. <laughs> okay, I will. She just pulls out a little vial. No, she's wine. Fine. actually she doesn't. She didn't prepare it. She has it, but she oh. can't cast it. Uh, no, she's gonna. Start she's gonna help out. She's gonna come around. She's gonna cast some magic missiles. Please do. Uh, bang, bang, bang. She's gonna do yeah, fucking five of them. This because a whoa, fuck this. No, um, no, let's kill this dude. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fifteen plus five. That guy's dead. Cool. <laughs> Blows him away with magic what's, missiles. What's the we ever had throwing you in here? And yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a combat if Brynn wasn't almost dead. <laughs> Death save. That's true. <laughs> Immolation. Um, Ooh, my turn? Ooh, yep. Fine. It might be okay. better just to river fire after. I'm gonna... I don't know what's happening more. I'm Wait, gonna... uh, I'm with you. Please, <laughs> no. No, that's fine. Here you go. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. go Who's gonna get over that's here good. with Brynn? I'm not kidding. Don't, don't step on me. And, um... I'm serious, man. She's going to drop down to, um... Like as her, you her go knees. over towards her. Right, right. As you go over uh-huh. towards her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hang on. Uh-huh. You oh. lean down. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And you begin to try to hear her heart rate. Yeah. I am... That's a big ear. I make in a little prayer to... My entire, uh, my entire Lothander. body? Lothander. Yeah. Well, Lathander. Look, Lathander's I know you and I are in. always eye to eye about this patience thing, but her jaw unhinges. Oh. Oh. And you watch as a row of teeth fill her mouth. You watch as she just violently begins to seize. Shit. And you watch as her, all of her hair falls out. She begins to stretch oh, unimaginably. No. Her limbs get much longer, form into claws as her entire skin becomes a dark red color. As oh, her no. eyes begin to bulge out as she fully transforms before your eyes into a red slot. Shit. And she's <laughs> Oh boy. Haven't seen many people do this. <laughs> That's what we like tonight's game! Damn. On that! I haven't seen many people do this. <laughs> <laughs> seen very many. Like, maybe none. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. I apologize if you're about to go into a thing right there, but, um. Uh, we, we, will, we will pick that up next time. Holy fuck. I rolled a one. Yeah. Is there? I assume oh. it's like a, it's, a, it's on death proxy thing. <laughs> Depends on the slot, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Blue slot is a chaos phage. What it does is it makes it so she can't regain hit points. Right. So she hits zero. Mm-hmm. She can't come up from zero. But if she stabilizes and she's fine, she's basically in a coma. She mm-hmm. can't regain hit points. And if you remove the disease, like with lay on hands, you could fix it. And so she failed one save. And then I was like, roll death save, it's your turn. And right. you were like, okay, and you were gonna cast Reef Fire, everything's fine. And then Colton looked at me and went, one. And I was like, Dead. oh cool, if, you're a slot. If, you're, <laughs> if, you're, if your maximum hit points hits zero, which does if you're dead, for any reason while you're diseased, you instantly transform into a red slot. Wow, well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> On the stack. And can I tell, those, can I tell them the best part? What? The last line? Uh, no. Okay, you, you need to know that. Thanks, everybody, for joining for tonight's game. Uh, this had a crazy ending that I did not expect. Um, All right, Sarah. I hate to leave it on a sour note uh, like that, but we will be back I might, next I time. Might, I might need you to make some more. You're not, she's not going to draw a slot. <laughs> Am I going to be 
play. We, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know. Is, the game is in stasis. What's what's that card in uh, in in Magic stasis. where you just yeah you, no you just pull you, it, it, like somebody does a board wipe and you play it. It's that white card and you just you don't exist oh, for the turn. Protection. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. That's what we're doing on the game. <laughs> yeah. <Praise> protection. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining. We'll see you guys next time here at Arcane Arcade. Um, uh, uh, don't turn into slots, I guess. Uh, we'll see you guys next we time. We always throw curveballs at Jacob. Jesus fucking Wait. Christ.